own dream house, you can also interact and have fun with friends in it. Let's learn more about home. In the game's World of Wonder page, you will see a newly added home tab. Here, you can browse and visit your friends' homes, recommended homes, homes on the ranking, enter your own home, or go to the home shop. Furthermore, we have added home door plates to the social lobby. From here, you can enter your home or visit other players' homes. In home mode, the building feature is accessible to all players. Each player gets their own island, where they can use items and furniture of various styles to build their dream house on the island. If you find the building process to be too cumbersome, you can purchase blueprints of ready-made designs that you like to instantly recreate it, and make further adjustments to suit your preferences. The home also supports inviting up to four players to build together. Apart from building a house, there are also lots of things to interact with in home, which provide a more immersive experience. First, we have the home butlers. Players start off with both a male and female butler. Not only can you manage various aspects of the home with these butlers, you can also check the messages received from visitors, as well as assign emotes and outfits for them. Stay tuned for more upcoming features. Next, we have the home tree. You can plant a magical home tree in your home, which will earn home coins every day. You can also help your friends collect home coins when you visit their home, and earn some extra commission for yourself. Home coins can be used to purchase items for decorating your home. There are all kinds of fun and interesting items available in home. There are also special animations when you interact with the sofa, play various music instruments, or play on the swing with your friends. You can also interact with other items such as the bathtub to create memorable moments. As such, we've specially prepared the photo wall. You can decorate the photo wall with the photos taken in the game, or upload them from your local device to show the most awesome and special side of yourself. If you want to showcase your unique musical taste in home, you can also set exclusive background music for it. You can do so by placing a music player in your home and have it play any track that you own to create your personal music haven. In home, you can take photos with custom camera angles or templates. Photos taken can be saved to your device or home album to record your unique home memories. We have also added a messenger feature in home. You can release a messenger from your home and also receive the messengers of others to interact with players from around the world. At the same time, you can visit the homes of other players and enjoy features such as leaving messages, sending popularity gifts, collecting home coins, and other social features. Explore the infinite possibilities of home 
In Cheer Park, we have also added the Home Shop. Here, you can purchase items for your home and participate in the Lucky Spin to win items for decorating your home. Eager to start building your own home now? Go and complete the various home missions to earn great home rewards. Or complete matches in Ranked Classic mode for a lucky draw chance for home loot when tallying match results to get more items for your home. That's all for now for the new home gameplay. We'll be releasing more tutorial videos for home soon, so stay tuned. What are you waiting for? Invite your friends now and build your very own home. PUBG Mobile's 6th birthday is just around the corner. A merry 6th anniversary to all friends old and new. In version 3.1, we have lots of new content and updates for players. May you have a wonderful 6th anniversary celebration. In the Sky High Spectacle themed mode, the gigantic Nimbus Island appears on the flight path. If you'd like to begin a mystical journey, then grab a parachute and drop on in.
Nimbus Island is a magnificent city in the sky. The Day Island offers a wide field of view, making it the perfect place to show off your gun skills. The Night Island boasts charming scenery, but veils itself in fog. Extra caution is advised. Eliminate all enemies on the island, harness all the blessings you can from the magic lamps, and collect ample supplies along with an extra respawn card. These are your crucial measures on the road to chicken dinner. Don't fret if you're unable to enter Nimbus Island. You can board the Sky Treasure Ship and unlock crates, or with the aid of the treasure map, find crates that grant extra supplies. The all-new two-seater vehicle, Flying Carpet, is sure to become your trusty accomplice on this adventure. Aside from this, plenty of mystical items will aid you in eliminating your enemies or in pranking your teammates. On this 6th anniversary, the battleground will be full of interesting spots to check out. Treasure lies where fun begins. Hurry and gather your teammates for an adventure. As for classic mode, the Miramar map has been majorly updated in this version. We have integrated two new districts, Truck Stop and Partona. Furthermore, with this update comes a special weather condition, Sandstorm. Players caught in a sandstorm will continuously lose health, so be sure to avoid them. As for firearms, the P90 SMG has received a major revision and will be the first airdrop submachine gun posing a significant threat. The new version of the P90 is available through airdrops, uses unique 5.7 millimeter ammo, has a fast rate of fire, and has very low recoil. It comes with a suppressor and laser sight. The sight can switch between two different magnification levels, but it cannot be equipped with other firearm attachments. Hurry and try out the new P90. Many new maps are coming, including a new blade ball gameplay, where you can now use frying pans to deflect balls back at opponents. New grenade blade balls have been added, so beware of blade balls detonating after the countdown ends. The character switch device has added a new zombie transformation feature. The option to transform into a zombie and infect down players is now available. When editing as a team, teammates editing the same object is no longer a concern. There are still even more improvements to check out that support your creative freedom. An option to retain the equipment from a match has been added, and the match-wide detectable action management system will help you retain your items and progress for an improved gameplay experience. A new smart generator function has been added that invites players to enter any text, and the game will automatically generate a grouped object according to the prompt. Come over to World of Wonder and write what you'd like to say. Enchantopia will continually be updated, and in these updates, players without creator authorization will be able to enter the progress hub, challenge map creation stages, experience the joys of map creation, and will even have a shot at becoming an authorized creator. In the new version, we are also launching a major feature, the all-new home system. In the home system, players can freely build their dream homes and interact with friends. In Cheer Park, we have also added the home shop and create a space that highlights their personality. Home building mode will also support collaborative editing by up to four players. Have fun building a house with your friends. Gather your friends and start building a home together. That's a wrap for the main sixth anniversary content. Update PUBG Mobile for more exciting content to explore. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. See you next time.
Hi everyone! In PUBG Mobile version 3.1, we're releasing a new gameplay feature, Home. In this mode, not only can you build your very own dream house, you can also interact and have fun with friends in it. Let's learn more about Home. In the game's World of Wonder page, you will see a newly added Home tab. Here, you can browse and visit your friends' homes, recommended homes, homes on the ranking, enter your own home, or go to the home shop. Furthermore, we have added home door plates to the social lobby. From here, you can enter your home or visit other players' homes. In home mode, the building feature is accessible to all players. Each player gets their own island, where they can use items and furniture of various styles to build their dream house on the island. If you find the building process to be too cumbersome, you can purchase blueprints of ready-made designs that you like to instantly recreate it, and make further adjustments to suit your preferences. The home also supports inviting up to four players to build together. Apart from building a house, there are also lots of things to interact with in home, which provide a more immersive experience. First, we have the home butlers. Players start off with both a male and female butler. Not only can you manage various aspects of the home with these butlers, you can also check the messages received from visitors, as well as assign emotes and outfits for them. Stay tuned for more upcoming features. Next, we have the home tree. You can plant a magical home tree in your home, which will earn home coins every day. You can also help your friends collect home coins when you visit their home, and earn some extra commission for yourself. Home coins can be used to purchase items for decorating your home. There are all kinds of fun and interesting items available in home. There are also special animations when you interact with the sofa, play various music instruments, or play on the swing with your friends. You can also interact with other items such as the bathtub to create memorable moments. As such, we've specially prepared the photo wall. You can decorate the photo wall with the photos taken in the game, or upload them from your local device to show the most awesome and special side of yourself. If you want to showcase your unique musical taste in home, you can also set exclusive background music for it. You can do so by placing a music player in your home and have it play any track that you own to create your personal music haven. In home, you can take photos with custom camera angles or templates. Photos taken can be saved to your device or home album to record your unique home memories. We have also added a messenger feature in home. You can release a messenger from your home and also receive the messengers of others to interact with players from around the world. At the same time, you can visit the homes of other players and enjoy features such as leaving messages, sending popularity gifts, collecting home coins, and other social features. Explore the infinite possibilities of home. In Cheer Park, we have also added the Home Shop. Here, you can purchase items for your home and participate in the Lucky Spin to win items for decorating your home. Eager to start building your own home now? Go and complete the various home missions to earn great home rewards. Or complete matches in Ranked Classic mode for a lucky draw chance for home loot when tallying match results to get more items for your home. That's all for now for the new home gameplay. We'll be releasing more tutorial videos for home soon, so stay tuned. What are you waiting for? Invite your friends now and build your very own home.
Magandang hapon! This is the PMCL Southeast Asia Spring 2024. My name is Sir Cloud together with for the first time. Wow, I'm so honored to be with Kuku. <laughs> How are you, my man? Hello, Sir Cloud. Welcome to me here in the English broadcast. And I just want to say this is a dream come true to me because uh, I remember back then, 2019, I was just restreaming PMCL on my page on Facebook. And that was when Contra and Choo Choo was uh, casting for PMCO. And now I'm here with the one and only Sir Cloud, one of the best analysts in Pub G Mobile right now. Uh, welcome eh. to me. <laughs> ah, welcome, welcome. Glad to see Makabigan here. Someone who have uh, who have graced the scene, especially in the Philippines for quite a while now. And glad that we are joined together at our virtual desk here. But uh, right. today we will be looking at the last day. And uh, I wonder if there will be any surprises. What do you think? Uh, what do I think? I think the top 16 in the league rankings will remain the same unless a miracle happens to Fearless Esports. Like uh, if they get maybe all of the winner winner chicken dinner support today, or maybe like uh, at least get a lot of kills possible for every each game. But for now, let's talk about Sir Cloud, our maps and point system, which we already explained all throughout the league. This is, by the way, the last day of week number three, the last day of the league stage. And we are now in week number three, day number five. And we're going to start off with San Up. And then we move into three Erangel maps, two Miramar maps afterwards. And then we have the point system over there, uh, the usual point system, 10 points to the winner, winner, chicken, their team. It goes down until zero uh, up to 16th place. And then for every elimination, there's one point. Oh yeah, standard ladies and gentlemen, same same and I believe this will remain in the Grand Finals as well. But what will not remain in the Grand Finals is the bottom four teams. But like what Cuckoo said, could Fearless Esports make the great escape? Today will decide. Today is the day for them. In other words, it is go big or go home. And that is affected of course by the score system that we see on screen. Right, the score system actually is here and you can see here the weekly points, the weekly rankings, league points, league ranking, uh, and also the head start points. Most importantly, we need to understand that uh, these play, uh, these teams are actually fighting for the league rankings and that's what we're talking about here with Sir Cloud. We're in Fearless Esports is currently at 17th place. So they need to get at least maybe um, 11th place maybe or something like that, but again, the other squads will also have their own points. So the best case scenario for Fearless Esports is to get at least uh, the top number one for, for this week. But, you know, that's highly unlikely now since they're currently on the bottom side of the overall rankings. And then the head start points will be the points at the start of the final. So that's very important as well, Sword Cloud, because uh, that would give them a really good head start. That would give them very good advantage when they start the finals on the 29th. Well, these teams will be looking for the advantage. We will be playing A, B, C, D for the first two maps. So Group E will be taking a break. That is a Young New Guy goes Playbook Esports, The Quarter and Exquisite Esports. They'll be sitting out for the first two games. They'll be back for the remaining four games. And the team that might or might not make the great escape fearless esports but let's not also forget their performance is also dependent on whatever happens to ai esports too because if ai esports remain above fearless esports by the end of the day and that just means that fearless esports will still be at the bottom four you are correct and uh, another team would be time to quick esports because they're currently tied up with uh, with ai esports mm. so a lot of a lot of teams, or actually a couple of teams, uh, currently at the 15th and the 16th spot here with tied up at 15 points in the league rankings. But uh, before we talk about that, Sir Cloud, let's talk about here the league price pool. What they're fighting for is a total price pool of 27,900 USD. With the first place getting 4,500 USD, second place will get 2,400 USD, third place will get 1,800 USD, fourth place will get 1,500 USD and 5th to 8th will get 900 USD, 9th to 12th will get 600 USD, 13th to 16th will get 300 USD, and 17th to 20th will get 150 USD. And the best performance team weekly will also get 150 USD. The Terminator weekly will also get 150 USD. And for every winner, winner, chicken dinner, 
they get 100 USD. So therefore, Sir Cloud, nobody's going home with nothing. Yes, everyone will definitely get something. But the team that got the most chicken dinner so far in the league stage is Austria Esports. They are ranking in the big bucks now per match. Every chicken dinner, 100 wow. bucks. You just make the calculation there. <laughs> but uh, speaking about Austria Esports, of course, right now they are number one. But MFG is only eight points behind them. And uh, looking at this uh, overall rankings, uh, Genesis Esports yesterday got their own winner winner chicken dinner. Now they up their rankings now to top number three, Sir Cloud. Uh, you could also see Harame Bro also getting their own yesterday together with Playbook Esports. They're now at fourth and fifth. So there's still a possibility for the Filipino squads to higher their ranking up here in the last day, especially that uh, it's just uh, maybe uh, two games or three games away from uh, Genesis Esports and even MFG. But if you look at the other rankings here, we have Yangon Galacticus tied up with PBE uh, for TTQ, uh, 132 points. Dreddy Sports is 120, SCE with 118. SCKE with 108. So other teams are still fighting for that uh, ranking or positioning in uh, the overall ranking so that they can get a much higher uh, league ranking point so so that they can better their uh, uh, head start points going into the finals. Yes, the head start points will be important for the teams that pretty much have qualified themselves to the grand finals. It just depends on how many head start points will they have. So they will, we will have two narratives to watch uh, today. Right. Who will get the most head start points, number one. Number two, whether FRL can make the big escape. But at last we saw the chart, they are in the same amount of points as AI Esports as of now, that is 69 points. So for them to make that escape, they have to, number one, be above AI Esports. Number two, they have to have like, maybe like a six point gap, or maybe even more than that, depending on how close AI Esports goes. Uh, to gain the ticket to the Grand Finals. You're correct with that. Currently, right now, 69 points, if I'm not mistaken, for uh, Fearless Esports. And then for God 7, 70 points. That's really close. Uh, but then they need more points for now. But for the meantime, let's talk about uh, spending your UC, uh, Sir Cloud, mm. for uh, ex exquisite Bentley models are available right now in-game, covering a wide range of vehicle types. Indulge in the luxury of choice and find your perfect match with Bentley in the game. Uh, oh, I really man. love the one on the left hand side here, mm -hmm. kind of like the rustic uh, color. I uh, would love to have that. So PUBGM, uh, if you can give me some UC, definitely <laughs> I will buy them. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm sure they hear you. I'm sure they hear you. It's a matter of um, whether you know Christmas is close enough or not. but. I guess the Christmas is still far away now, but hey, who knows, right? If Christmas comes early, we won't be complaining. But I, I do agree. I, I've been talking about since about this since it, uh, since it was st uh, started and it's shown to all of us. I do like that same one as well. So, you know, if Cuckoo does get one, I wouldn't mind getting one for myself as well. But I wouldn't mind getting this because this has oh. so much value in it. The RPA six. Right. Yeah, it's so much value for the new RPA6 available right now, guys. Make sure to buy it. The new RPA6 is available from March 17th to May 17th with a total RP perks worth over 80,000 UC and up to 720 UC rebates. So purchase Elite Pass Plus to immediately get an exclusive avatar frame and exclusive victory dance for RPA6, which is a special 6th anniversary version and no upgrade required. Wow, we've been uh, spending so much UC for six years now, Sir Cloud. Yeah, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but th that's the thing about uh, some people out there. They they are like collectors. Like they, every time there's something new, they would get it. Like regardless how much UC they spend. And at this time, as a collector, you will get more value because if you get this, you can get up to a maximum rebate of seven hundred twenty UC. So that's a UC bag for you to roll onto other stuff or maybe upgrade some equipment. You are right with that. And looking at the skin of Groza, Dread Doc, looks like uh, Dread Esports uh, eyes are all all, all on the uh, the Groza there. But anyways, we are now back at it again here, uh, Sir Cloud, Cuckoo TV together with uh, Sir Cloud. And let's talk about what might happen tonight. Uh, what might happen tonight is the, the battle for top number one. If, uh, if I'm not mistaken right now, 
Uh, we're currently tied between Harami Bro and Genesis Esports for a league ranking points for top number one. 38 points for both of them. Currently, right now, uh, Genesis Esports is, you know, higher when it comes to league standings or overall standings, uh, with 182 Harami Bro to 143. So Harami Bro, Harami Bro needs to find their way up in the rankings for tonight in order for them to be uh, the top number one team in uh, the league stage. Yes, and they are just below Genesis Esports. But it is not only about the rankings, it is also about the points. The point difference between the two of them is about 37 points difference. So that is that is quite big. And looking at how GE has been performing too, it's hard to see them dropping points. They might be more motivated or looking forward to try to overtake Austria Esports just for the bragging rights and that extra best weekly team performance. And right now, you can see now the timer uh, Sir Cloud, so we're almost about to start. They are in the spawn area right now, and we're about to fly in to the very first map, which is going to be in Santa. And I'm so excited to cast my first ever English broadcast official tournament here for PUBG Mobile Challengers League Southeast Asia Spring. And you know what? Uh, I do have my eyes on, if we're going to be asked for a prediction here, I do have my eyes set uh, for Playbook Esports to actually win this game. All right, Playbook Esports. Okay, so far this week they managed to get uh, one chicken dinner. Definitely looking for more because they want to be above Harami Bros, which is their closest contender for now. And they want to leave like teams like Young Red Ghost and TTQ behind. But uh, if you ask me personally, I think the best performing Sandhawk team this week is Genesis Esports. They've been really consistent and they even took over the high ground of uh, God of Death 7 at some point scored a chicken dinner. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into our first game of the last day of this week, Sandhawk. Last Sanok for the league stage, Sir Cloud. And I'm so excited to see if, if there's any hot drops in boot camps, no, uh, normally in the boot camp we see two teams. But right now, let's take a look at the teams now dropping in. Uh, Flight Pad comes from the lower side portion on the lower left or ro lower right rather of uh, the Sanok map until uh, just on the south side of Camp Alpha. Uh, yesterday, I saw the match. Uh, Sir Cloud it went to the Camp Alpha area, wherein they you know tried to go for the higher ground, and one of those teams is actually Genesis Esports. Uh, together with Dread and even other squads like uh, God7 and uh, TTQ. But let's see and find out where the circle will go this time around. But uh, you can see now down, down below in Sami, it looks like we're going to have some action there. Oh yeah, it's going to be AI Esports as well as uh, See You Soon. Interesting. Normally, uh, PBE likes to drop there, but uh, this time... It's not going to be them. It's going to be these two teams and AI Esports. Let's remember that AI Esports, um, I mean, they want to be really safe. They can at least be close to FRL. Um, but if they want to, um, or, you know, there, there are two factors to it. Right? It's either they're close to FRL or they're above FRL or uh, they hope that FRL don't gain many points. So if they take this early fight and they lose it, it's a slight risk to them. You're right, and the, the reason why Playbook Esports is not here is because they're one of the groups or one of the play teams in the group E that is not playing with a nade there coming from zero, damaging a few HP on the side of Fearless. And you can see now the battle in Sami, Sir, uh, Sir Cloud, and you can see also one player is actually stuck. It's Lulu Teev here from See You Soon. Oh man, not good news for See You Soon and Lulu Teev now. Uh, his other teammates are behind him, uh, probably still looting, and he wants to surprise his opponent, waiting for the door to open, but nobody is doing that yet. But we also have another early action elsewhere. Austria Esports getting the first knock in this game, and that's going to be Master Riggs from APG. Definitely the first blood to Austria Esports. Yeah, definitely now the first blood that will be confirmed, most likely by Red Bull, who has his DPS now all set. But then again, there's going to be a player over there upstairs from APG. So he needs to be careful now going for the confirmation. There we go. The first blood now goes to Ash, uh, to Red Bull uh, will Astro, with Astro X getting the kill. But uh, on the kill feed, there's going to be another oh. engagement happening. It's going to be Enigma versus God7. And you can see there Coca-Cola FV from the Philippines now going for the revive. But the God, uh, God oh. name coming from XZXY. 
knocking down the two players of Enigma. And now, Jump shot. wow! Oh my goodness, nice shot there coming from X Z X Y, and Caps will now back out because he's down to one HP left. Yeah, one HP, and he's going up against a Vector. I mean, that is not gonna be good. He has to find utilities to kill up himself, but it seems that nothing is on his side. Instead, he picks up his teammate. So now we're back up to two v two. At the same time, look at the elimination feed FRL in action against see you soon. Yeah, this is going to be in Sammy again, as Na will go down. Ooh, Amura goes down as well. Nice shot there, coming from Enigma. And ooh, ooh, with a nice shot from the side. Caps, no more heals needed, Sir Cloud. Who needs heals when you can put on a cap of a performance like that? Nicely done, coming in from the side. His opponent didn't know what hit him. And with that, God of Death 7 eliminated. Now we're back onto the Sahmi area. Looks like FRL, they won the fight, but they also lost three players in the process. Yeah, you are right with that. And it's only going to be Ranzer now for Fearless. And this is not what they wanted. This is basically the last uh, on the list of uh, them uh, surviving in Sanok. And uh, again, for God, God of Dead 7, they're like at the 18th spot with the league rankings. So that's not a good uh, sign as well for God of Death 7. But for the meantime, you can see now inside goes for the spray with the M4. Master Vape goes down. And now we'll most likely go for the confirmation here as uh, you can see AI is far away from them. But there's there's actually two players now on the buggy who actually now left and now is going to go engage with APG. But then again, it's Tofi who will now get some shots on the side. Nades coming from APG as well here, Sir Cloud. Naughty Boy will get some damage and Meow, Sky Meow. Goes for another nade, will not hit Naughty Boy. Naughty Boy's on the corner. I think Sky Meow doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't. Okay, if he steps in, that's it. But he did not. He didn't fall for that. Gets across instead. The Molly! Bring down someone. Oh, okay. Inside is currently down. Sky Meow comes in from the higher ground, but Sky Meow knocked out by Naughty Boy instead. Nice shot shooting by the not so good boy, Naughty Boy. Man, Naughty Boy right now down to very low on HP. He's actually all up against here with APG. Sizak here also will try to go for the shot on the side, but then again, it's going to be Harami Bro going for the third party. Now Federalis will now throw a nade. Will it connect? Yes, it will. No, Whoa. It, will not, it will actually connect from the other side. It's Sizak eliminates APG Esports, and now Harami Bro will just pick up the pieces, the remaining pieces of AI. Will just be two members strong for them. Now the push is real. Ooh. Federales going in with a UMP now with a, with a death. Naughty Boy right now with very low HP as well. No more time to heal. Harami Bro goes for the third party. Successfully eliminates AI. Wow, Harami Bro is really going for it this round. They want to at least get into the top three or at least push down Genesis Esports to be the number one team of the week. And they're starting off real strong. What a good fight they took and great timing as well. They came in just right after that fight finish. And this is what I uh, what I love about uh, Harami Bro. They're really good uh, when it comes to third party situation and even fourth parties. Sometimes they do, uh, but they need to make sure that they control themselves sometimes because sometimes when they try to push in, uh, they die first. And, but that time around, it's going to be uh, all she wrote for uh, AI because it's a 4v2 situation. But uh, then again, uh, here we have Enigma, Caps, and Coca-Cola still alive for them in Camp Bravo. Uh, they need to, uh, you know, be careful as uh, Stranger Esports is just circling around them. Yeah, Stranger Esports gathering information, but I think they will be focusing on to get into the circle instead. It is still stage one, so to truly force the fight, they don't really need to. They can still get into key positions to probably try to block out other teams or at least be in a position that they are comfortable in. Well, right now, we have your Miner for uh, STE. One of the, the players that I'm surprised uh, to actually be good in this uh, tournament, Sir Cloud, because we never seen him play the international stage. But uh, here in PMCL, he's actually doing well, even uh, doing better than the other players of uh, Strangers Esports who, ha who has that experience. Uh, when it comes to international um, tournaments, and uh, he's, uh, I believe, he's always one of those players who uh, who survives last for this team. And mm. let's see if he can make that good impact here 
in the map of Santa. By the way, the circle is now circling around, uh, centering around the area of Quarry. Oh. An unknown, just thrown down. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, he <laughs> SE did not see him. Oh, literally living by his name, unknown, not <laughs> known to STE. Man, that was a very good camouflage there. Not even needed a ghillie suit. They let him go, but Ostia Esports will not as Scotty drives away. But Miner is caught out. Yeah, Miner is caught out. And right now, Scotty will also get some damage from unknown and unknown. Not unknown anymore. He actually uh, goes for the spray now. But then again, it's going to be uh, exit for Scotty. Scotty is down to half HP. He will try to cover himself and go for the kill. But for now, Yaiko will now go for the spray as well. But Newbie will be there to knock down exit on the kill feed. Unknown. They're, they're just being circled around by Stranger Seasports and they're kind of confused on where to actually look. Yeah, and they're still circling around like vouchers. Exit. On his knees, on the outside of this building, Yahiko, just too far away for him to save him. So right now, Exit is used as a hostage, hoping to pull them out of their house. But uh, nope, they're not going to fall for it, and they will take out Exit. Now only left with two players left for MFG. Well, right now, let's see here. Ostia will try to go for the third party. 762 needs to be careful as he's down to just half HP. There we go. He will go for the first aid. Ostia Esports right now is currently at number one. Uh, the thing about Ostia, if they didn't have that bad week number one, they might have been uh, the top number one team in the whole league stage, right, Sir Cloud? Yeah, if the the only the only uh, boo boo I would call it is the week one. <laughs> yeah, and I noticed yeah, that right. a lot of fans they were really concerned about the week one performance. That they came back strongly in week two and week three. But like what you said, right? If their week one was as good as their week two and week three. Potentially, they will be challenging Genesis Esports for the top spot. You're right with that. And I was also surprised with their performance with week number one, as uh, Scotty will try to cook up a nade there. So that's probably just uh, some uh, reflexes happening with uh, Strangers Esports because uh, they know that the, the players from MFG is like far away from them. But if you look at the minimap right now, uh, they're just not really going for the engage. And, and this is because MFG is now down to two. And then uh, yeah. Stranger Seasports still with a three-man strong. So they have numbers they're all advantage all monitoring still. the situation let's now. let's now look on uh, Dread Dread Esports. Esports here. Some of them still on the outside. Uh, okay, actually, play the gatekeeping role against him more, uh, this player, uh, Demios. Because I think he has uh, more impact uh, to the team when he's actually playing. And now Dread Esports making their move and uh, they can still gatekeep 214 Akira from uh, the inside. But it also depends like how far this circle is. Probably we got to get a uh, better visual in a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Mm, 214 Akira still stuck on the outside. But Dread Esports, if they move in, then they will have TTQ or Harame Bros to deal with. Flash Vision will be in the most difficult situation because they have to go up the hill where Harame Bros is currently at. Right, and ooh, Scotty throws in a nade. Will that connect? No, it will not. It will not even damage that guy that is inside that small house. And Scotty just trying to check that rock. That rock check that he did here uh, didn't really do any damage onto MFG. MFG is still alive and really well. Uh, they need to check that house. Yaiko is just proning down inside. Oh. Maybe just drinking coffee, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't mind a cup of coffee at this moment. <laughs> I mean, imagine coffee in the forest. That would be kind of nice. Such right. a campy mood. But he has a Scotty to deal with probably soon. They're just next door. Unknown is on the outside monitoring the situation. But uh, on the outside of this area, there they were a lot of teams last we saw. There was like what? Uh, Flash Vision, there was, uh, there's, we currently have Harame Bros on screen, we probably might have 214 Akira coming in later, and now we have Dread Esports. MM circles around, gathers the information, not sure if we saw the members of uh, Dread Esports. If he doesn't, then he might be surprised, mm. but speaking about surprises, Renza got a surprise from H2R. H2R from 214 Akira, another impact player for the side of 214 Esports Akira. Uh, by the way, Flash Vision is now playing uh, this map. I remember, I remember yesterday, Sir Cloud, that they weren't able to play uh, in the first map. So they're now complete there with Papa J, Arep, uh, Shakir, and Eras. 
Uh, my friend Mr. Tay is not playing as of this very moment, so let's see if he's gonna play in the map of Arangel. But for the meantime, it's a Rame bro right now, just uh, uh, saying that we're here and nobody will, you know, come to our place. And uh, they're also doing that to Dread Esports as they circle around them. But now the Icon will now reveal himself, throwing in a nade onto Miner. Miner will take some minor damage there. But then again, now the, the throws of all of the utilities now onto the side of Strangers Esports. But on the flip side, Sir, uh, Sir Cloud, Arep able to knock down one player of uh, 214 Akira. Yeah, that's a Wako knockdown. But no follow up yet. It could be a long range knock. But we're now focusing back onto Flash Vision. Arep, can he get a second one? Wako crawling to his teammates, and as what we expected, it is a long range knock. 2 1 for Akira. I wonder if they're still on the outside of the circle or they're by the edge of it. This is now the answer by the edge, but they're sharing this edge. We're gonna be see you soon. Kaya trying to go for the spray there as MM goes down. That's Jibna, one of the most improved player from the Philippines now. Uh, being gate kept by Aramu Bro, but since then that the circle actually shifted all the way to quarry area. Aramu Bro needs to actually get away from that edge of that circle and will most likely be there at that compound. Dread Esports will be the ones who will probably gate keep uh, Flash Vision Esports and at the same time, time to quick Esports. And then now with still Ostia alive with four members strong, they can easily go onto that eastern side of that circle, Sir Cloud. Yeah, though the terrain won't help them because Kuari is the one separating them from getting into the circle. And if they want to play through Kuari, it's going to be rather hard. Like, imagine going inside a Kuari and coming back out is one of the most difficult positions to be in. Hopefully, they'll be able to somehow circle around that Kuari area and make themselves into the circle. All right, now Rankid. We call, we call Rankid in the Philippines, hot dog. What? This hot dog guy. Why? <laughs> he, he likes hot dogs. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. He All likes right. to eat hot dogs. <laughs> okay, that's new to me. That's new to me. Right, right. right. I mean, he, he mentioned that in the, the 30 second Southeast Asian games, by the way. But anyways, uh, Demios now able to kill Eras of Flash Vision. And this is what happened now. Uh, after Harami Bro went into the, the middle of the, the circle, uh, Dread Esports now controls the western side circle part and will gatekeep two teams, which is Flash Vision and even TTQ. And this is what's happening now, Sir Cloud. Oh, yes, as TTQ needs to hike up and Dread Esports will be waiting for them. But now this team's in the circle. Yet, Scotty goes down unknown from MFG. We'll secure that point out of him. And the elimination feed is running right now. Austria Esports getting into action as well by Chewy picking up Moin. And Moy right now just crawling like a snake. Let's see if he's going to... Go ahead and bite someone from the side of TTQ, but look at Tolly Landry. I think he, I think Liquid spots him, but Liquid will not go for the spray. He will go for the push with just a QBC on hand. Holy Landry here, oh, oh, just waiting for the right oh. time to show up. I think Liquid now knows oh. where he is. There we go. Oh. With, with throw the Molotov. Surprise, surprise. Now UMP to the face wow. now of TTQ. Nice shot there. Two men down for Holy Landry. And Lanju here will now go for the confirmation kills as they are gatekeeping TTQ. And you can now also add up Flash Vision Esports as they go for the third party. TTQ now gets eliminated, and that's also because of Myth Clan. Oh, here we go! Flash Vision Esports against Dread Esports! If there's that one team I hope to get the chicken dinner before the end of this league stage is Flash Vision Esports. Come on guys, going up to the high ground, Arep on the lower ground gets knocked down by the Mios. Two of his other teammates behind him not able to provide the support needed. Papa J now still caught out on the outside and they're going towards him. Now going towards them is now the key for Dread Esports. They need to clear out this area. But uh, you can see the timer here, Sir Cloud. 15 more seconds left, and then the blue zone will now close in again. They need to decide on whether they will have to eliminate Flash Vision Esports or they will just focus in the circle, like what Harami Bro is now doing together with Myth Clan and also Genesis Esports, but still with a complete squad. Uh, Myth Clan right now is just looking on the side of Genesis here. We have Shroud not really pulling up the trigger. They're actually on really good. Uh, position here with all of those warehouses with them and looks like uh, Dread Esports will Ooh. not go for the elimination there onto Flash Vision. They will go inside the circle now but again one of their players goes down by the way which is Jibna who's actually in rotation with the, the vehicle oh. but then again there goes Demios who actually gets in as well. Moy goes down go, uh, due to fall damage. Oh no. 
Oh no! I guess it was pressured by the shots coming from a multiple angles, like what we can see on the screen on the minimap. There's like four teams in the same area, including Austria Esports, just right in front of Mephclad. But CUSO is coming towards the 214 Akira. 214 Akira managed to get into the circle. They were called the outside before this, and now they have the circle advantage, but they need to defend it against CU soon. One for Akira, a really good position he has here. Rankin will now explode his vehicle just for cover. But see you soon now. Throws in nades, but Moy from the other side of this angle will actually knock down Kaya. Now Lulu T will have no choice but to just leave off his teammate here because the blue zone is also going to hurt a lot. Now there's also Molotov there just right in front of him. He's going to be on a 3v1 situation. Now Dread's focus is on the side of 214 Akira. It's going to be sandwich gameplay right now for them. And now the damage will be dealing, uh, dealt as well from the nades coming from Demios. And now they will try to back out a bit here because look at the circle. It shifted away from them. Oh, that is bad news for these teams. They have to finish out the fight before moving into the circle. <gasps> See you soon, Lulu Tiaf. On the outer side, but on the inner side, it's going to be Dread Esports. They want to pick up all these points. Four points potentially for them to be picked up. But 2 1 4 Akira wants to pick up that one point out of Lulu Tiaf. Oh, Lulu Tiaf fights no. back. Gets the second one, but not the third oh, one. Almost. It almost became a clutch, Cuckoo. Wow, almost three in one. Kind of like my coffee here. But anyways, wow. <laughs> Rankid able to save the day. The hot dog of the Philippines, PUBGM, will save the day for 214 Akira. FFG will get eliminated as well in the blue. And now we have, we have now seven teams remaining in this game. Looking at the circle here, I think... Genesis Esports still has the best position right now, but Demios now with a spray knocks down a Rankid and eliminates Rankid as well with the explosion combination and 214 Akira Ooh. is out. But now they have to face up against a Myth Clan who has this compound together with the circle. It's going to be rather hard for Dread Esports to come in right now. They have one player open up the uh, flank on the left side. Let's see if Myth Clan will scout it up, but nope. At the end of the day, they still went out at number 7 with 5 eliminations. Four teams remain. It's a 4v4, v3, v2 situation. Gooey. Oh, with a need! Just right at that exact oh, position ho. where Shroud is. My goodness, what a throw there. But then, Gooey and Red Bull needs to move. Oh, but the range is from afar. Able to get the headshot onto Red Bull. So they can really cannot go for the push because Harami Bro is looking at them. Oh, but the one that might want to push is going to be Austria Esports. Harmony Bros, interestingly, ranges left behind inside of Kuwari now. It's going to be a mission for him to get out of this. Tries to get the buggy, managed to get onto it. Uh, the, for him to go out, let's see, what sort of route will he take? Will he take a straightforward route or is he going to circle around? And if he circles around up north, Smile will be there. Yeah, the GE has that high ground advantage right now versus Harmony Bro, and looks like range. We'll try to go nearby Smile. That's a really risky play he's doing, but uh, seems like there's cover there, which is the fence of that quarry, but we're not now bombing Harami Bro down below. And uh, it's good that Harami Bro realizes that they need to back out for a bit here. There's still some time and they're inside the circle. We're now going on to stage number eight, which is the final circle of this matchup. And you can see Smile also damage. I think he doesn't have any heals anymore, Sir Cloud. Yeah, he does not. So unless someone passes him one or he's dependent on the uh, remaining health that he has. Uh, for Harame Bros, still inside of Kuari itself. Federales crawls up. Let's see who will he meet. He will be surrounded by the members of Genesis Esports though. So you got to be prepared for that. Wes and the rest of Genesis Esports all focus on to Harame Bros. Oh, and the knockdown there coming from Federales. The Filipino Terminator now. Making oh. themselves known as there you go. That's another elimination come from Dale. And then on the flip side, we have Genesis Esports versus Smith Clan. Ichi right now very low on HP, but Smith Clan is putting mm. in the pressure onto Genesis Esports. Gets eliminated now by Smith Clan. Now we're down to three. Here we go. Three teams left. Smith Clan now the only team with a full squad. Austria Esports only have one player left. That is Chewie on the other side. Army Bros, no, nope, not a pushover team. Nades rain onto them from the side of Myth Clan, but none of them knock down anybody. Dale is crawling across just behind Federalis. Federalis will lead the charge, but Shroud just in front of him. Yeah, just in front of Federalis right now. I think Shroud realizes that there's someone 
who actually uh, is walking and running towards him. But then again, it's range going back out here. Uh, Dewey will be the poison here of these two uh, teams. Now range throws in a nade over there, realizing that there's someone who's going for the gunshot on that side. Oh, but now Shroud spots oh. by Federalis, gets the knockdown. But then again, there's going to be the trade coming from DZ with the AUG. And now DZ will go for the confirmation kill. There you go. Shroud will give information now. Here we go. Side of mid clan and Yo. now crawls his way through with the knockdown onto Joseph. DZ needs to back out. Oh. The, the circle is closing in as well, Sir Cloud. DZ? And now DZ with the DPS. Oh, with the clutch onto Harame, bro. And it's going to be a 1v1 with a great one here. Dewey versus Dewey. Smith Clan. Daisy oh. gets the final oh. kill. And wow, what a win Woo. for Smith Clan. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Sir Cloud for Cambodia. Man, Cuckoo, DZ only had like 50% of health. Dewey had wow. full health. But because he had the shotgun, that helped him a lot to score that chicken dinner. But of course, he still needed to land the shot. And yeah, he just shows that the mechanical prowess that he has to score this chicken dinner. So Murph Clan scores and taking it back home. Now they will join the three-digit club. Wow. That awareness ac actually as well, uh, Sir Cloud, for, uh, for DZ. Uh, able to, you know, uh, just switch right over to where uh, Gooey is for uh, for Ostia. Eventually able to get that winner winner chicken dinner clutch. And you know what? Uh, yes, he has that uh, DBS shotgun. Uh, and uh, with the update that recently happened, DBS has been uh, very low when it comes to damage compared to an S12K. And uh, he did a really good job there, even though with that very low HP. Let's take a look at the, uh, the highlights here, uh, Sir Cloud. As we now see the early stages where in AI versus APG and then got third partied by Harami Bro. Yes, and also when Harami Bros came in, it was a nice, clean, quick one. Something that you would expect from a team that Harami Bros. Like what you also mentioned, when that happened, Harami Bros, they are very good when it comes to third party. So you allow them the opportunity, they will take it well. But there's also another highlight moment. Lulu Tiap almost clutching three members from 2-1 for Akira. It was just too bad that, well, I guess it was just overwhelming. But overall, it was a very good attempt. Very good attempt. And then in the final moments of uh, the game, we have GE got sandwiched by Harami Bro and Myth Clan. DZ was the MVP for me in this very game. He actually was able to eliminate uh, two squads, or actually three squads there. That, that was Genesis Esports and then Harami Bro and then the last member of Ostia. But then again, here's the MVP, the real MVP, <laughs> which is Kaya from See You Soon, Tiger Kill, Enemy. We have uh, him with uh, four eliminations, 925 damage, four knockouts, one assist with 224 heals and survival time of 1738. Uh, wow, considering that uh, See You Soon did not make the top three, they still have a representative up here to claim the MVP, that is Kaya. And this is also his first MVP for this season. But he is no stranger to the PUBG Mobile scene. He has been around for quite a while. So it's glad to see him up here claiming this chicken dinner. Uh, sorry, claiming this MVP. Hopefully, more to come from Gaia himself. Right. If if ever uh, the price will will have MVP per match, right? Ooh, that would be a good, really good suggestion. But for now, it's gonna be winner winner chicken dinner for winner winner chicken dinner. But there we go. Here's here's the stats of Myth Clan, who was able to get the winner winner chicken dinner for match number one here on day number five week three, nine eliminations total. Uh, 1,621 total damage, 6 knockouts, 4 assists, with 345 heals, with 23 minutes of survival time. Uh, this team basically waited until teams uh, came close to them, and that is because they positioned themselves, Sir Cloud, right in the middle, center of the circle. But then, uh, at the last uh, two stages, which is stage 7 and 8, the, the circle actually uh, shifted onto the northern side, where... Uh, Harami Bro and Genesis Esports were at, so they had no choice but to just shift around. And it's actually a, a good thing that they were able to sandwich uh, Genesis Esports and was a, was able to eliminate those two remaining teams, which is Harami Bro and Ostia Esports. Yeah, if it was not if it was not because of Myth Clan, Genesis Esports only needed to focus on the Harami Bros, but because they came in, then yeah, they kind of split the focus of uh, Genesis. But on uh, the overall stats here. 
Looking at the numbers, uh, drive distance very little. I think this is one of the least that we have seen, 92 kilometers. And I guess that's also because it is obviously Sanhok, that's number one. Number two, because the circle also has a quarry in it. And quarry is like, I would put it as quarry, you can kind of cut that out, like a semi-water sort of-ish place because not many teams would want to play there. Hence, right. uh, you wouldn't be driving as much if you kind of cut out that area right and, and that's why uh, range had that uh, buggy on him uh, a, a lot of teams nowadays uh now uses uh, a lot of vehicles in santa like um way back in our time like uh, three years ago maybe or uh, two years ago uh vehicles are not really a meta here in santa but since then uh the the change happened vehicles are now very important for all uh maps specifically for uh, santa Arangel and Miramar. Now the match standings. You can now see Myth able to get 19 total points. Haramid Bro gets 14. Dread Esports gets 10. Ostja only gets 9. 6 for the squad of Genesis Esports and see you soon. 5 for the squads of SCE and uh, Enigma. And then 2 1 for Akira gets 3 together with MFG Esports and AI Esports. And then 2 points for the squads of Fearless Esports, APG God 7. And then 1 point for Flash Vision. And uh, time to quick esports. TTQ gets no points on this one. Uh, it's good to see that Flash Vision esports are getting points here, Sir Cloud. Yeah, because that was that one day. Uh, I believe it was the uh, the day before that they ended the entire day without a single point. So for them to start off like today, at least getting something, you know, we can see uh, some level of improvement by Flash Vision esports. Uh, if they can bring this momentum to the next season, I'll be excited to see what they can come up in the summer season of the PMCL because that's going to be a bigger one as it also includes a slot to the PMWC. But this is the overall standings. Uh, so far at the top, nothing has changed. It is still Austria Esports number one, MFG number two with 199 points, only one point away from the 200 point mark. And then we have the Genesis Esports trailing behind by 13 points. And uh, you can see also here uh, Harame Bro with 157 points. So nothing really much of a change here. Still around 30 plus uh, of uh, of a different, or actually 29 points now of a difference, if I'm not mistaken. If, if my math is correct, Sir Cloud, I'm not really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, we have PBE with uh, 136. Uh, did not play this game because they're uh, part of uh, Group E. Uh, which is uh, also together with Yan Gun Galacticos, the quarter and exquisite esports. Uh, I could see here TTQ now able to get um, 132, and then the others you can see as well, uh, Sir Cloud. But, anyways, now we're back here to the caster's desk, Google TV together with Sir Cloud. Uh, I enjoyed that first map in uh, in Santa because uh, a, a lot may uh, may happen there. Like, uh, Haramibo may, might clutch that uh, Myth Clan. Almost choked it out, and then uh, uh, Gooey with the the I, I told I told you he's the poison of that game. We're in uh, he can poison both Harami Bro and uh, Myth Clan. Unfortunately, the DBS gets to his face, and uh, that one shot, one finish for the side of DZ. Yes, the DBS, despite it being nerfed in this patch, it is still <laughs> a weapon of choice. You know, I. I believe the community is also uh, asking for this, right? Just don't worry about nerfing the DBS. Just put it back in the airdrop because you can't think about it, right? Let's say if the DBS was as strong as before, like before this patch, but you put it in the airdrop, teams might want to prioritize picking up Air airdrops yeah. instead. So the airdrop fight will be really interesting. Yeah, and uh, you can see the, that the airdrop are only looted per game. Uh, you can see it like two to four or three times. But anyways, we're done talking here, Sir Cloud. We're done with match number one. We're going to be moving in to Arangel. So see you soon, guys, on the next one. Major feature, the all-new home system. In the home system, Players can freely build their dream homes and interact with friends. In Cheer Park, we have also added the home shop and create a space that highlights their personality. Home building mode will also support collaborative editing by up to four players. 
Have fun building a house with your friends. Gather your friends and start building a home together. That's a wrap for the main sixth anniversary content. Update PUBG Mobile for more exciting content to explore. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. See you next time. Hi everyone, in PUBG Mobile version 3.1, we're releasing a new gameplay feature, Home. In this mode, not only can you build your very own dream house, you can also interact and have fun with friends in it. Let's learn more about Home. In the game's World of Wonder page, you will see a newly added Home tab. Here, you can browse and visit your friends' homes, recommended homes, homes on the ranking, enter your own home, or go to the home shop. Furthermore, we have added home door plates to the social lobby. From here, you can enter your home or visit other players' homes. In home mode, the building feature is accessible to all players. Each player gets their own island, where they can use items and furniture of various styles to build their dream house on the island. If you find the building process to be too cumbersome, you can purchase blueprints of ready-made designs that you like to instantly recreate it, and make further adjustments to suit your preferences. The home also supports inviting up to four players to build together. Apart from building a house, there are also lots of things to interact with in home, which provide a more immersive experience. First, we have the home butlers. Players start off with both a male and female butler. Not only can you manage various aspects of the home with these butlers, you can also check the messages received from visitors, as well as assign emotes and outfits for them. Stay tuned for more upcoming features. Next, we have the home tree. You can plant a magical home tree in your home, which will earn home coins every day. You can also help your friends collect home coins when you visit their home, and earn some extra commission for yourself. Home coins can be used to purchase items for decorating your home. There are all kinds of fun and interesting items available in home. There are also special animations when you interact with the sofa, play various music instruments, or play on the swing with your friends. You can also interact with other items such as the bathtub to create memorable moments. As such, we've specially prepared the photo wall. You can decorate the photo wall with the photos taken in the game, or upload them from your local device to show the most awesome and special side of yourself. If you want to showcase your unique musical taste in home, you can also set exclusive background music for it. You can do so by placing a music player in your home and have it play any track that you own to create your personal music haven. In home, you can take photos with custom camera angles or templates. Photos taken can be saved to your device or home album to record your unique home memories. We have also added a messenger feature in home. You can release a messenger from your home and also receive the messengers of others to interact with players from around the world. At the same time, you can visit the homes of other players and enjoy features such as leaving messages, sending popularity gifts, collecting home coins, and other social features. Explore the infinite possibilities of home. In Cheer Park, we have also added the Home Shop. Here, you can purchase items for your home and participate in the Lucky Spin to win items for decorating your home. Eager to start building your own home now? Go and complete the various home missions to earn great home rewards. Or complete matches in Ranked Classic mode for a lucky draw chance for home loot when tallying match results to get more items for your home. That's all for now for the new home gameplay. We'll be releasing more tutorial videos for home soon, so stay tuned. What are you waiting for? Invite your friends now and build your very own home.
PUBG Mobile's sixth birthday is just around the corner. A merry sixth anniversary to all friends old and new. In version 3.1, we have lots of new content and updates for players. May you have a wonderful sixth anniversary celebration. In the Sky High Spectacle themed mode, the gigantic Nimbus Island appears on the flight path. If you'd like to begin a mystical journey, then grab a parachute and drop on in. Nimbus Island is a magnificent city in the sky. The Day Island offers a wide field of view, making it the perfect place to show off your gun skills. Welcome back here to the PUBG Mobile Challengers League Southeast Asia Spring 2024. My name is Kuku TV. Together with the one and only Sir Cloud, we are your English casters for day number five, week number three. And we saw match number one in Sanok tonight or uh, earlier on, uh, Sir Cloud, and uh, it was taken by Myth Clan. Well, let's see now the same group again uh, from Ostja down to Flash Vision, Harame Bro down to APG, Genesis down to God of Dead 7, and then MFG down to AI Esports. So basically, uh, the only team or squads that are not here will be Group E. Uh, we have Yangon Galacticos, Playbook Esports, The Quarter, and Exquisite Esports. So if you're a fan of Yangon Galacticos or Playbook Esports, they're not here yet. So if you're looking for them, you have to wait until match number three as we. Go along now with map number two. It's going to be in the map of Erangel. Uh, this means that uh, there will be some open dropping points here, uh, especially for the north uh, eastern side of the map of Erangel. Because I, I do know that uh, Playbook Esports drops around Stalber area and Kemeshki. So that will be open. Uh, Flash Vision might want to take that because uh, I know Flash Vision or sometimes APG, uh, they don't really have a permanent dropping point. Yeah, firstly, apologies for the earlier opening. Uh, forgot to turn on my mic. But yes, uh, early clash points inside of Erango, there are some potentials there. And like what you said, right? Because some of these teams, they don't really have a home to be at. So they have to drop randomly. So when you drop randomly, then potentially you might meet up with another team. Or if they drop like in an open space, then when they tussle for the early vehicles, they might bump into another team too. So that has happened before. And because of that, sometimes teams lose one or two players very early on. They need to be real careful on where they draw. Probably take a slow drop instead. But what is not slow is our Bentley collaboration currently inside of the game. Because you guys can get this and you can outpace your other opponents in style. Yeah, and the four exquisite Bentley models now available in game, Sir Cloud, covering a wide range of vehicle types. Indulge in the luxury of choice and find your perfect match with Bentley in the game. So uh, this is not this is something that is not the same as the the previous collaborations before because it's kind of limited to only like one uh, vehicle. So it, it is uh, UAZ, Dasha, Cooper B, and Murado. And uh, like what we have uh, talked about earlier on, we love that ru rustic style of color on the left-hand side. But we do also have the new RP A6 available right now. New yes. RP A6 is available from March 17 to March or to May 17. So there's a lot of time left for you, with total perks of worth over 80,000 UC and up to 720 UC rebates. Purchase a lead pass plus to immediately get an exclusive avatar frame, an exclusive. Victory Dance for RPA6, which is a special 6th anniversary version and no upgrade required. I think I saw the, the dance already with some of our KOLs here in the Philippines. Mm. Uh, so Shoutouts to Miss Bella Joyce. I saw the dance already. Wow, the, the dance is always the, the fun one, right? Like you, <laughs> you win a fight, you dance. 
on the box right. of your opponent. Yeah, that is one of the best moments that can possibly happen. But un unless you're the one that got knocked and you're the one that got eliminated, then well, then that's not the best moment. But anyway, it's always fun to see this sort of a uh, new. Uh, emotes or dances inside the game, it just colors the game a little bit more, just like how the next map will be colored by all of these teams. Now, Kuku, we only have five more games to go before everything is locked in. Um, at this moment, uh, AI Esports they have overtaken FRL by one point, so that's not looking good for FRL since they really need to create that big gap uh, against AI Esports. Yeah, you are correct with that. Like what I mentioned when uh, we were talking about uh, match number one, Fearless Esports needs to win as many games as possible for tonight. Because if not, then that's gonna be all uh, all uh, all she wrote for them for you know the league. Then they they will not be able to join in to the grand finals uh, right around uh, March 29 to 31. Uh, for Fearless, they need more of that aggressive style of gameplay, in my opinion. In order for them to grab at least those elimination points, even though that they're not getting those winner winner chicken dinners. Yeah, they're at the stage where they have nothing to lose, right? Like, what would be the worst case? You would still be at the bottom four. What would be the best case? Maybe they can make the great escape. But what would be the best of them all is our game, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be our first Irango for our Sunday match. And overall, this is match number two. Still with the same group. Head on to it. By the way, happy Sunday to everyone who's watching right now in the English broadcast. Also watching in the PH broadcast with Paolo B and Queen Toyo. So shout outs to you guys over there. Hopefully you can shout us back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, we have now the flight path here, uh, Sir Cloud. It's coming from the western side part of the upper island of uh, Erangel. Now going to Kameshki. And uh, I talked about the dropping point of Playbook Esports right around Stauber and Kameshki. This is a really good dropping point now if anyone would try to get their dropping point. Oh yeah, Starbuck, Kameshki, normally Playbook Esports likes to go there. But since they are not playing this round, it's going to be vacant. Just like how Sami is. Sami is normally their regular drop spot. But because they're not there, we saw two teams went there. So I wonder if we'll see two teams as well. But speaking about two teams, I do see an overlapping of maybe the same team. See you to an AI Esports again, but this time in Primos. Wow. They challenge each other one more time here. It's going to be in Primos. It's kind of like the same because if you remember, Sami is on the lower po uh, portion or lower left-hand portion of the map in Sanok. And then now in Primos, it's going to be lower left portion of the map as well. So they, we will have a hot drop here. Circle, by the way, is going to uh, the middle portion of Rozok. So this is going to be beneficial uh, to teams like uh, Genesis Esports and APG. But again, the hot drop will happen now. And looks like they're going to just focus on uh, getting those items. Because I, I think it's going to be a long, long day for them in the, the city of Primorks. Yeah, plus it's in the city. Uh, normally, this will take a while. This will be a Mexican standoff among them. But we only got the first knock, but that is from 214 Akira elsewhere. And Newbie is the first one to go out. So, a short enough round for him. Hopefully, he'll be able to come back stronger in the following round. But now, focusing back onto AI Esports. Hopefully, he takes the first shot, but not able to land anything onto Zero. Tofi now gets the, the nade set. Will it connect? Looks like it will. Ooh, almost, actually. As Wako mm. will get damage as well, coming from the PP Bison of Zuki. And TTQ just uh, saying that they don't go to our area. This is our area. 214 Akira normally drops around Milta Power, and, and it's because of that far away drop, uh, flight path rather. Uh, they, will, they will be trying to get vehicles first and will go to their usual spot. But for now, let's go back here to Primorks. See you soon oh. in AI. Ooh. Hold on, Sir Cloud. Davon, oh. I think he doesn't have a, any HP anymore. Yep, he said it's one last tick of health, and that will be a straightforward elimination by Time to Quick Esports. The team that just came out with the chicken dinner from the Sandhawk match, unfortunately, will be playing the rest of the round with not only three players, but two players because Joseph went out to draft Esports. Yeah, and uh, TTQ now needs to heal up as well as Liquid. They don't have really yet those uh, meds in the early stages of the game. Again, this is very aggressive coming from them. Three uh, players already got eliminated in just uh, the stage number one. And then you can now add 
Demios on the kill feed, who will be killed by Edward with the AKM. Now, let's go back to the war in Primorks with the nade almost getting onto Nori Boy, only with a with a very low damage there with a splash. But now let's go back here to Dread and TTQ. A lot of early engagement, and that's because of that flight path, Sir Cloud. Uh, a lot of teams wasn't able to get to their usual spots, so they just went onto vehicles, and uh, it's just the first one to get to a vehicle, and then the first one to get into a, a building who has uh, weapons. Uh, the vehicle, or the one who goes to a vehicle, will be the one who get damaged. And looks like Dread with the shot, only with a red dot headshot onto Jibna Gus with a beautiful spray there, Sir Cloud. Wow, that range with a red dot, man, precision at its best. A TTQ will be happy to pick up that point, and it's. Three early points for time to quick esports. Doing very well this round. They really want to catch up to at least Harami Bros. Um, quite a gap in terms of points, but if they can do well consistently the following rounds, it is possible for them to uh, pull off an upset against the Bros. Yeah, you are right with that one. Well, uh, Harami Bro uh, drops at uh, Pochinki, so they will be quiet for now. They will be able to fully loot themselves, but the thing is they have to rotate all the way to the northern side uh, where uh, Genesis Esports is already there. But now let's go back to Primorks. The John now pushing in uh, Master Vape and uh, Tofi here for AI uh, will be uh, sandwiched by all four members of See You Soon. So uh, the other player who is not in the angle right now of our screens, I'm not sure where he is, but he, he needs to help out. Uh, these two players of AI esports, uh, or else something bad will happen to them. They will get sandwiched. And look at Zero. Has a really good angle there, but he will not be staying upstairs. Kaya now providing presence to AI, but the John will now push with a DBS. Let's see what will happen here, Sir Cloud. Oh, it's not looking good for AI esports. At this moment, AI esports has three players. Okay, Tofi is on the other side, on the outside of this building. Yes, a shotgun with an AK on the other hand. And now everyone from CU soon seems to be focused onto him. Okay, first nade on the Tofi, down to 50% of health. And they are onto him. The John comes in, the John! Immediately locked out, surprised by his opponent. Ooh, Master Vape. Ooh! We'll get the kill, but then again, we'll get knocked down from behind. And that's gonna be it for the second to the last member of AI Esports. Where. Is Naughty Boy. He's Naughty Boy. Went to Quarry by himself. He doesn't care anymore, Sir Cloud. Yeah, he's being naughty there. He didn't join in on the fight. But anyway, it kind of looked at the lost cause because uh, they didn't have enough players. So might as well stay somewhere and try to get position points instead. But for Flash Vision Esports, we got Papa J being shot at by Fearless Esports. Taking a lot of damage there, but should be able to get away. He is safe for now. Yeah, he's safe for now, Papa J, for Flash. I think uh, I think Fearless needs to like do something about their uh, like elimination count. Maybe try to target some of the struggling teams, uh, like what we have here: Flash Vision Esports, APG, or even Enigma, uh, for the side of uh, Fearless. If they really wanted to join in in the grand finals, because you know, uh, like, what if in the grand finals? I mean, they will have those head start points, but what if? It'll be a good day for them for every each day of the finals, right? So uh, that would change the course of uh, of PMCL. Uh, now I remember uh, Sir Cloud, uh, like I think last week, with uh, Boom Esports winning it all, they actually got the most head start points out of them all. So whoever gets the number one spot here, or probably uh, even or either Genesis Esports or Rami Bro, will really have a really good spot in the finals. Oh yeah, yes, you're absolutely right. They got maximum points, and the second place team that was out of Eagle got only eight hit start points. So right. can you imagine, like, <laughs> if they got that maximum hit start points instead, then maybe, maybe out of Eagle would have won it. But that just shows that how important the hit start points are. So even though these teams they are already up there, they're secured into the grand finals, they need to get as many points as possible because you will never know what happens then. You are right with that one. Now, TTQ now goes onto the hillside here, just onto the uh, bridge part area on the eastern side of, or western side rather, of Yasnaya. 
Uh, they are actually scattered. I'm not sure what type of split they're doing right now. It's a 2-1-1 split in my, uh, in my view. But now it's all about rotations, uh, Sir Cloud. They're uh, going to be getting into the zone. Uh, Fearless Esports now. I think he spots one down below there. That's Naughty Boy. That's the last member of AI. So if ever they kill Naughty Boy, it'll be it for AI Esports. Now the circle updates now. Again, centering to the uh, area of Rosok. And you can see how uh, Genesis Esports is focusing onto the uh, northern side just right after that bridge, after Rosok. Uh, they're thinking that uh, if they, they can gatekeep some teams over that side, they can probably get some kills. And uh, this is where uh, Genesis Esports is good, Sir Cloud. They're really good when it comes to uh, mid-range to long-range uh, battles. That's where they get points a lot. And, ooh, Eris goes down on the kill feed. That's unknown. Able to spot Eris and Flash Vision will be now down to three players. Yeah, Flash Vision, three players, but still in the game. As long as you have a players, anything can happen. We have seen it before. One player pull off a insane chicken dinner. That can still happen. Because I'm, I'm still being optimistic here for Flash Vision Esports. I really want to see them getting at least one chicken dinner before the uh, league ends. But uh, now they are going up against MFG. Doing the rotation, MFG very interested to try to secure points out of Flash Vision. Shots onto the two members of Flash Vision and they still manage to get away. Yeah, managed to get away, almost got knocked down there. Shakir, very low on HP. And looking at the med counts here, I think he only has just that one painkiller on him, so doesn't have any much heals now for uh, his squad. Papa J also uh, only has that one painkiller, so he will be probably be getting some meds here coming from his teammates. And they will try to hide for now in the gas station. Uh, Flash Vision Esports needs to get more loots here, in my opinion. They they need more meds because sometimes because something might happen, like they might get pushed by those teams that are surrounding them. Now we can see Ostjen, the number one team right now in the overall rank. Uh, they will uh, improve with their uh, lead ranking points later on by the end of the day. But you can now see Naughty Boy just running past Ostja. This is this is the problem when you're all alone. Uh, Sir Cloud in your squad and then you're fighting against all fif other 15 teams uh, It's really hard to rotate and then get into the middle of the circle and maybe get like that one safe haven of a like a small shack so Naughty Boy will just try to hide into the ruins and we'll try to wait on the next circle Yeah, the next circle will be big because we're still like 50 50 right? It could be the main peninsula. It could be the shooting range area. So depending on where the circle goes, it will force a lot of teams to move. Now the circle just shifted. At least on screen, we can see flash vision esports. They're still safe and sound in the circle. They do have the gas station to be at, but this circle still has a good percentage of a shooting range side or the northern side of the map. It could still go up there, but the chances it will be going back down to the main peninsula. And that's where Genesis Esports, they relocated themselves back onto Rossop. But we do have Austria Esports now that do not have the circle. It's their time to move. And uh, it's always been this way for Austria. They always try to uh, chase that circle, but now APG rented in the apartments here. But uh, here comes a new renter. Stranger, e uh, Stranger Esports now will be needed by Sky Meow. Miner, I'm not sure he's gonna if he's gonna get revived. They they put up a line of smoke there. I mean he got spotted, but uh, he's gonna be dead. He will bleed out before he even gets to his teammate. Oh man, this is bad for Stranger Esports Ooh. now. Oh, but Sky Meow. Oh, 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 oh. Indirectly helped by Enigma from the other side. But now both oh, no, teams. The oh, the, oh, 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 okay. They pop out the oh, smoke. No. They managed to get in. They managed to get in. So that's fine. It's a defensive smoke. Oh yeah, it was a defensive line of smoke, and just right in time, Sir Cloud. You see that? Seven six two got that clutch revive, able to get Miner uh, up, uh, and uh, fortunately, just right in time when the smoke uh, comes out or goes out, uh, the uh, the revive happened already. So just right in time, they were able to get inside the apartment and we'll be able to go for that reset. Now it's actually Scotty going for a spray down from afar onto the side of TTQ. And you can see that uh, it's all about uh, compound gaming here. 
uh, getting uh, their own compounds, staying in the houses, not really much of any engagement because of this type of circle. And you know what? Uh, this type of circle, big chance that TTQ will uh, be uh, one of those teams that will survive until the end of the game. Ah, because they got themselves in a really good position. But sometimes being in that sort of position is also being eyed by other teams. So being defensive enough, uh, it's something that they'll need to be prepared for. Just like what MSG is doing right now. Okay, decent position, but God of Death 7 scouted them out. And if they have enough information, they could probably crash into the compound where Yaka is at. But they don't have the information. They don't know where exactly the other, other members of MSG is at. So if they do crash in, then it's a big risk for them. But instead, because they have the advantage of the knock onto Flash Vision, they go into the gas station instead. And right now, Yatka cooking up the nade. Four more seconds, and then he's gonna throw it. Ooh, there we go. Mewtwo got damage oh. there, but again, that push. Yatka? Oh, behind! They get the knock from behind, Yatka oh. from behind! Dude. Baba J doesn't know! Baba oh. J doesn't know! Oh no, and our rep now oh, for the heal. Yatka with the SAT 97 will not go for the push in. They know the exact position where our rep is. Yatka, though, doesn't. Even realize that he's not aiming at the right spot, but there you go, the save coming from Exit. They were able to eliminate now Flash Fish and Esports and uh, God God Seven. Here's those gunshots, but oh, oh, Harami Bros now in action against Jesus Esports. This is the fight that we want to see. If Harami Bros can overcome Jesus Esports right now, where's from afar blows up the vehicle and Dale immediately gets knocked down. The other two members of Harami Bros stuck underneath the bridge with a man super duper low right now. Federalis pops up the smoke to buy time for his teammate to reset. It's going to be a 2v2 situation now for GE and Harami Bro. It's good that Harami Bro has that cover just right uh, underneath that bridge. And they will be able to probably get those kills that they actually did with uh, with Genesis Esports. As you can see now, Ostia, I think they were, they got eliminate, uh, they got Enigma eliminated on the kill feed there, as QB was the last guy. While we can see Ostia now able to heal up and go for, go for that reset. Two one four Akira also nearby. Holy Landry goes down, coming from that MK twelve from two one four Akira. And uh, now they're don't only they're also they're also down to two as well. So a lot of a lot of teams now down to two players remaining. Uh, it's gonna be a Rami Bro, two one four Akira, and Genesis Esports. Uh, did were they able to get the kill for? Sure. Yeah, not too sure as well. We gotta wait for the uh, the summary to come up. But what we're sure is that Ranzer is knocked down at that high ground all alone. No way for him to be picked up. And Yaka is going to be the one to claim the points. Six elimination points now for MFG. But they need to be prepared for another team because Yaka needed it down. Not knocked out just yet. But that means that somebody is looking at him. Yeah, somebody's looking at it from Fearless. Pozo now cooking up another name. I think he knows where the exact position is, but it's just too far away from him. Pozo now will try another one. Will it be a Kobe? No. I think it's just far too it's way too far it's just a uh, splash damage after splash damage being done and dealt by fearless esports as dread esports gets eliminated by 214 akira and uh by the way dread is actually doing well this week compared to the previous two weeks of uh the the league stage but now you can see also for for genesis they're being engaged by apg anchor pubg Esports now, Attic Boy goes down. Hopefully we can see the, the engagement here as West was able to to knock down all of the players coming coming from APG except for Master Risk who is now going for the revive onto Attic Boy. And now it's gonna be one player remaining for Genesis Esports. West will go for the confirmation kill onto Insight. They they do have four eliminations here in this game, so four points for the squad. What they can do now, Sir Cloud, is they can just try to manage to sustain APG's push and maybe try to hide until the end of the game. Well, I wonder if they can even last to the end of the game because look at this Kuku. The circle actually went up north. So it did not end 
in the main peninsula. It's now in the shooting range area. West fights back. Are they boy gets closer and closer? Are they boy with a Molly in hand? Molly will be tossed behind West. That will not affect him at all. But now West has two players to deal with at the same time. It's gonna be a 1v2. Much moment here for West. Oh no, it will not. APG just eliminated one of the powerhouses. Genesis Esports. And wow, th that was almost for APG to be eliminated by West. A 3v1 almost clutch there with 1 HP on both players. And now you can see the fishes in this in the river. We have uh, Harame Bro, one player is currently down. As TTQ is gatekeeping them from getting onto the other side. Looks like Edward has oh. all eyes on Harame Bro. Harame Bro needs to oh. find... A better angle here to actually get in oh. the zone. They're actually in the zone here, Sir Cloud, but they need to manage to at least oh. get up in oh. the waters of, of uh, the river here in Rozok because uh, they might drown in that waters. TTQ really doing a great oh. job here, keeping the south side of the circle. Man, he missed the opportunity to shoot down the members of Harame Bros because they were inside of the water, but now MM is up on land so he can potentially fight back. But we move over to the left side of the circle. Look at these uh, three teams in this area. But oh, Federales laid it down. Edward, opportunity not taken. And he got countered by Harami Bros. Yeah, nice nade there coming from the Filipino Terminator. As now, one sec gets the kill there onto Arctic Boy. MM now, they will try to get the confirmation kill as uh, they were able to successfully do so. Now, all eyes on them. Uh, TTQ is just right above them. Now Gus is cooking up a nade. And the Naughty Boy is still alive, just swimming in the waters. Not really showing up too much presence here for AI Esports. But his eyes is on the side of Harami Bro. Harami Bro needs to be careful here, uh, Sir Cloud. Oh yeah, Harami Bros. They gotta find a way to survive from underneath the bridge. But uh, speaking about Harami Bros, MM got knocked down. I believe that's a long range shot. But speaking about the shorter range, it's going to be Kaya spraying on the one second. It took him a little bit more than one second, but he still got the knockdown. Now trying to get a second one from the lower oh. ground. Kaya! Two for one from below the hill. And that's a two for one now. The push is real for TTQ. Federales just trying to sustain everything coming from TTQ, but unfortunately, just way too much. A 3v2 situation. And then the revive will happen. I think Naughty Boy has that chance to go for that kill. But now we now switch to Justin Bieber here of God7 as he goes for the spray onto Yatka. And we can also see Opti onto 214, Akira, I think just right behind them. They need to get inside now of the circle because it's now closing in, going to stage number six of the circle. Yeah, what are the uh, star name of the PMCL this season? Mr. Justin Bieber got into the circle. <laughs> And uh, we still, we're still we only at stage 6, Kuku. Can you believe it's stage 6? And we're already at so many players eliminated. This is crazy. But what's even crazier? Osha Esports, we didn't get to see much of them. But they are still surviving. And they do have a couple of members in the circle. And Astro X will follow through. Yeah, and uh, you know what? They have uh, the most... A number of chances of winning in this game now that they were able to get inside the zone and they even got uh, some type of ridge that they can you know handle until the very end of the game they can try to gatekeep uh 214 akira who is uh, you can see opti trying to scout the area where they can try to get in uh, kind of like an open area onto the northern side on the south side though uh ttq can try to take advantage of this one but not uh not before naughty boy will try to make his presence known to try to backstab the players of TTQ. Oh, here we go. Long range by Jui onto the other side by Kaya. It's what he got knocked down by Gus. And uh, Jui still aiming down onto God of Death 7. Kaya eliminated by Gus. That's a point secured here by God of Death 7. They hit to find a way into the circle, but they have no choice but to take the fight against TTQ. They do have the elevation, but they're probably going to avoid that. They don't have the numbers. They're going to focus onto the circle instead. Now God 7 gets in. I think this is Lulu Teev. Ooh, spots by X Z X Y. Now Lulu Teev will now spray down. Ooh, gets the knockdown. Go. Beaver gets the second Let's knockdown. Go. We'll try to run oh. for the third. No. Unfortunately, Sir Cloud. God Seven clutches it out. Lulu Teev. That very amazing play. Unfortunately, will not clutch the third knockdown or the third elimination. 
And now we focus in to six teams. Uh, God7 will be able to go for the revives. Uh, TTQ did not go for the third party. Yeah, it was a close one there. Close call indeed. So many close calls this round, including the uh, Genesis Eswas fights against the APG earlier on. But uh, now focusing back onto the current situation of the game. Gus is keeping an eye on the two members of God of Death 7. Napeka on the right, ZZ on the left. But in, underneath the bridge, we still have Naughty Boy. But Kuku, this time he doesn't have circle. He have to dock himself. <laughs> well, right now, Zuki focusing on God Se Ooh, Liquid smashes that buggy on the God 7. And now with the last Whoa, member left. Oh, Ooh, the smoke. Wait, Ooh, what? He got the knockdown, but the nade coming from Gus successfully defended his teammate there. One for Akira, by the way, got eliminated there in the process. And then Skynin now focuses on MMG. Yatka gets damage, half HP left on him, and they got a really good range, and they get really got good bridges at this very area that where they're at right now. And, and you know what, Sir Cloud? Naughty Boy's still alive. Oh, oh yeah, from underneath the bridge. Still representing <laughs> AIE Sports. Alive, well, and healthy, and obviously they're surviving longer than fearless esports this will give them a good chance to stay away from the bottom four but now circle time stage seven in this and it will shrink to the south side where naughty boy is at but zuki has an idea that he's there yeah it looks like he has an idea it looks like uh, naughty boy uh, pulled the trigger when he was there down below I, that, that's that's the one thing that you need to to know and you must do whenever you're all alone. Don't pull the trigger until the very last moment. And Liquid, I'm not sure what he's doing. Ooh, he's ooh, getting damaged ooh. by the blue zone. He will almost get knocked down by the blue. So he will go ahead and waste some of the, the meds that he has, which is he only has some bandages left for him. And then Gus, just all eyes on Naughty Boy. Naughty Boy will now put up some smokes. Now he realizes where Naughty Boy will pop out. Not everybody needs to be careful on this one, because one, one moment that he actually shows up, Gus will have his aim on him. Yeah, yeah. honestly, it's just a matter of time now. He'll be forced to move anyway. It's just a matter of whether he can find those small little hill or yeah, small little openings for him to like kind of slide into my time for himself. But on the other side, we got Austria Esports. One spray by Skynin. Gets one. He wants to get the second one, but not able to stay there any longer as he's forced to move by the blue. Yeah, and that is it. Blue Zone eats MFG Esports alive. And now we're down to three teams, Ostja, AI, and TTQ. With the advantage on the side of Ostja and TTQ with man advantage here, or man disadvantage rather, for the side of AI Esports. And I think AI will be still be able to get inside the zone, even though that... Uh, two players are has all eyes on Naughty Boy right now, which is we have uh, Liquid and Gus. But eventually, time will tell for Naughty Boy. But uh, Austria will go for the focus on now onto TTQ. So TTQ will have uh, a lot of things to focus on. Uh, they need to also look at the side of Austria now that the, thro uh, the nades are thrown out. That th those are two random nades thrown by Dewey. Which is, uh, he can probably just use it for later on, but it's just probably to scare uh, Zuki off from that rock. And that's the uh, obvious target for now. But let's see if they can land the shot. We still have, uh, this is currently stage 8. We still obviously have stage 9 where the zone will close entirely. But within stage 8, okay, Naughty Boy, this is probably his last hoo-ha. Because no zone at all, no space to play. Unless if you can pull off a surprise onto TTQ, but I kind of doubt so. He seems to be quite complacent uh, with his current position. And TTQ still knows that he's there. Yeah, and Zuki is not able to get the nade onto Naughty Boy. There's going to be a nade coming from Ostia as well. Ostia is just really, really smart with what they're doing right now. They're just waiting for these other teams. To just get inside the zone. They know that uh, I think they know that TTQ is not in, inside the circle. So they, they're just uh, waiting on these rocks that they are using as cover right now. And then you can see uh, Skynin. I think they, he threw a nade onto the uh, the care package there. Just trying to check if there's someone right behind that uh, airdrop. 
but uh, again, there's no nobody there. Now the nades are going to be thrown out by TTQ. A good placement of smoke, by the way, Sir Cloud, for TTQ. They are able to get inside the zone and at the same time throw nades so that Ostia will try to back out themselves. Yeah, and they're just by the edge of the zone. Nazuki, random spray into the poke onto the right, but nobody gets hit by it. Liquid oh no. relocates the vehicle. Probably going to use that as a barricade. Still A-OK -okay as of now. The smoke will blind the sight of Austria Esports unless Skynin can land this one. Nades at the cross. Bam! And uh, nobody went down except for Liquid. Naughty Boy went down as well. So it looks like Austria Esports, they have absolute control of the current situation. Absolute control now of the current situation. The, the, the revives will happen, but no revives for you. Skynin gets a 2 for one there. And another nade to confirm that knockdown. And now it's just only Zuki who will knock down Astro X 2v1 situation now. He will throw a nade onto that care package. Right in, just hiding right behind it. Ooh. But then again, it's going to be Juby oh. who will be on the help side ah. on the north, on the higher ground. And there you go. Ostia gets the winner, winner, chicken dinner, adding more 100 USDs in the bag for them. The team with the most chicken dinners now in the PMCL, Austria Esports. Man, if anyone would watch this game during week one, and uh, and, and and if anyone tell them that um, Austria Esports will perform like this in week two and week three, the person's head will be bitten off. I can tell you that because this is an absolute 180 turn by Austria Esports to all of a sudden perform like this. And this is the performance that the fans would have expected. Like, like if I were a casual viewer on week number one, I would say on week number two and week number three, Austria will, will just be, nah, they won't uh, get a lot of points because of their performance on week number one. But like what you said, 180 degree turn for them, getting the most winner winner chicken dinners in the league now just adding just right now in this match number two but let's look at the highlights here uh sir mox where we see a lot of early engagement due to the fact that the the flight path didn't really uh went to their way and then uh, flash vision got pushed by mfg and then there's the the battle the rival between harami bro and ge and then ge west almost get a 3v1 mm. here and this situation but apg got the best of it yeah apg fought back and uh overall i must say as well like this uh, circle is pretty scammy like it kind of looked like it would be in the main peninsula but it moved on to the shooting range area and that kind of caught a lot of teams off guard that's why we saw a lot of teams eliminated at uh even stage six and when it came to like stage seven onwards there were like so few teams that the game starts to kind of slow down on its pace uh, towards the final stages but uh gotta give it to naughty boy as well i mean he held out on his own for the longest time even though ttq knew he was there and it's good to see that uh, a p90 being used there you can see that uh Austria was able to get the p90 off the uh, the care package Jui, uh Gui here gets the mvp Four match number two with four eliminations, 867 damage, three knockouts, two assists, 195 total heals with survival time of 2745. And Austria Esports, uh, in that game, they were able to secure that uh, gasoline station before that bridge, before they get got into the circle. Uh, they never really uh, got into an, another engagement after, after that. So they just uh, basically uh, gate kept most of the teams who were trying to get into the circle and that that includes uh 214 akira as well uh when they uh gatekeep them and then they were just uh gatekeeping mfg from getting inside the zone as well using those ridge that they had in their own position as well so it's just a matter of uh, being at that right position at that right time sir cloud yeah also esports then not a team that is ultra aggressive you can't think about it like they're like this cool chill team and they know when to come in and when they come in they score a chicken dinner in this round 11 eliminations to come together with it a thousand eight hundred seventy four damage with six knockouts and five total assists and off Obviously, with a maximum survival time of 27 minutes, 47 seconds, 707 total heals for Austria Esports. I remember during week one, they were kind of finding their lineup. They did a couple of substitutions uh, throughout the week, but I think they have found the uh, lineup that is the best composition for them. And when they found that, 
which is the lineup you can see on screen, they never turn back. You're right. Well, Ostia Esports is currently number one, adding more points in the bag for this one. Uh, this means that uh, they're just getting away from all of the other squads right below them, maybe uh, securing that top number one spot for week number three. But anyways, uh, it is still a battle of number one spot in the league rankings, uh, Sir Sir Cloud. We're in, uh, you would see Harami Bro and Genesis Esports, and you, you did see a little bit of that rivalry uh, in that uh, bridge, under that bridge we're in. Uh, it was Harami Bro who actually pushed towards uh, Genesis Esports, and Genesis Esports, they were just too far away from each other. They went on a, uh, on a duo split. Uh, the, the, the other duo was still in Rozok, and then the other duo was right down below that bridge area. And the Rami Brown unfortunately got uh, into a sandwich uh, in that regard. But anyways, uh, here with the overall stats, we have 60 total eliminations, 56 total knockouts, uh, 67.02 total heals, 13 total revives, with so many throws used. Uh, 317 kilometers drive distance, 318 meters longest elimination distance. 13 headshots, 2747 uh, survival time, and three airdrops looted. And uh, I think that one airdrop looted was the last airdrop where uh, that one player of uh, Austria Esports used that P9. I, I want to see someone use that one right at the end game, uh, Sir Cloud. Yeah, you're a fan of a P of a P90, yeah. 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 It's a okay. it's an SMG with a really high uh, rate of fire, so it will really burst down your HP. All right, will be interesting. Hopefully that replaces the DBS in the future. Maybe put the DBS in the airdrop <laughs> and the P90 goes out in the open. But yeah, we can always hope and wish for those kind of changes until it actually happens. But what is actually happening right now is going to be the points. And because GE and Harami Bros, they follow each other, uh, eyes will be on to them. So if I were to look at this, just as Esports, they got four points, Harami Bros, three points. So not too much of a difference, but because GE got that one extra point, they will still remain on top of Harami Bros. But who is stopping Ostia Esports now, Kuku? I don't know. I don't know who's going to stop Ostia. I think they're on a roll. And uh, with this momentum that they have, uh, they must protect themselves until the Grand Finals because uh, they will have a much better team who is right above them, who who has a much better head start points. Uh, would it uh, either be uh, Genesis Esports or Harame Bro? Uh, we'll see and find out if uh, Ostia can continue this. But again, for, uh, for Fearless, they only got four points in this mm. game. So uh, if we talk about the bottom side of the, the rankings, still Fearless not able to get as many points as, as they can in this game. And you can now see the updated overall rankings here. Austria is at number one with 238 points to 11. Well, for the side of MFGGE with 190 points, 164 Harami Bro TTQ with 149 points. PBE with 136. Same goes with Yangon Galacticos. 131 for Dread Esports, 123 for STE and STKE with 120. And you can see that the difference between GE and Arama Bro is still around 30 points. So that's like a game and a half uh, for Arama Bro in order for them to be on top of Genesis Esports. Yeah, and also AI, between AI Esports and Fearless Esports, number 14 and number 17 looks like a gap, but and actual fact is that the the difference is only three points, but it's not only about the three points for fearless esports. It's about getting into page one while AI esports stays at page two, maybe somewhere around the middle pack or the lower half of page two. Then we might see the great escape. But if this is the current state uh, state of things for them, it's gonna be pretty hard for them to be in the grand finals. You're right with that, and uh, unfortunately for. Uh, Fearless Esports, God, God7, EPG Esports, and Flash Vision Esports. Again, the better luck next uh, season for them. If this is going to be the the the, the gameplay that they're going to be showing, especially for Fearless. Fearless has the for me uh, for us has the most uh, or yeah from all of the four teams that I mentioned has the most chance of you know getting into the grand finals. But if they're getting only like single single digit scores every each game, that's uh, not going to be a good idea for them. They need to at least go over that single digit scoreline 
uh, get two digits every each map. Uh, we still do have four matches to go, though, uh, Sir Cloud. We're in uh, Fearless Esports. We'll still have a chance uh, for them to be able to play. I, I think they're gonna they're not gonna play in some of the matches um, uh, for the next few matches to come. So I think they only have I think uh, two or three more uh, games left for today. Yeah. So unless it's big for them, then they probably have to bid goodbye to the Grand Finals. But anyway, we're not gonna bid goodbye yet because we're gonna head on to break. See you guys after this one. very own dream house, you can also interact and have fun with friends in it. Let's learn more about home. In the game's World of Wonder page, you will see a newly added home tab. Here, you can browse and visit your friends' homes, recommended homes, homes on the ranking, enter your own home, or go to the home shop. Furthermore, we have added home door plates to the social lobby. From here, you can enter your home or visit other players' homes. In home mode, the building feature is accessible to all players. Each player gets their own island, where they can use items and furniture of various styles to build their dream house on the island. If you find the building process to be too cumbersome, you can purchase blueprints of ready-made designs that you like to instantly recreate it, and make further adjustments to suit your preferences. The home also supports inviting up to four players to build together. Apart from building a house, there are also lots of things to interact with in home, which provide a more immersive experience. First, we have the home butlers. Players start off with both a male and female butler. Not only can you manage various aspects of the home with these butlers, you can also check the messages received from visitors, as well as assign emotes and outfits for them. Stay tuned for more upcoming features. Next, we have the home tree. You can plant a magical home tree in your home, which will earn home coins every day. You can also help your friends collect home coins when you visit their home, and earn some extra commission for yourself. Home coins can be used to purchase items for decorating your home. There are all kinds of fun and interesting items available in home. There are also special animations when you interact with the sofa, play various music instruments, or play on the swing with your friends. You can also interact with other items such as the bathtub to create memorable moments. As such, we've specially prepared the photo wall. You can decorate the photo wall with the photos taken in the game, or upload them from your local device to show the most awesome and special side of yourself. If you want to showcase your unique musical taste in home, you can also set exclusive background music for it. You can do so by placing a music player in your home and have it play any track that you own to create your personal music haven. In home, you can take photos with custom camera angles or templates. Photos taken can be saved to your device or home album to record your unique home memories. We have also added a messenger feature in home. You can release a messenger from your home and also receive the messengers of others to interact with players from around the world. At the same time, you can visit the homes of other players and enjoy features such as leaving messages, sending popularity gifts, collecting home coins, and other social features. Explore the infinite possibilities of home. In Cheer Park, we have also added the home shop. Here, you can purchase items for your home and participate in the lucky spin to win items for decorating your home. Eager to start building your own home now? Go and complete the various home missions to earn great home rewards, or complete matches in ranked classic mode for a lucky draw chance for home loot when tallying match results to get more items for your home. That's all for now for the new home gameplay. We'll be releasing more tutorial videos for home soon, so stay tuned. What are you waiting for? Invite your friends now and Build your very own home.
PUBG Mobile's sixth birthday is just around the corner. A merry sixth anniversary to all friends old and new. In version 3.1, we have lots of new content and updates for players. May you have a wonderful sixth anniversary celebration. In the sky-high spectacle themed mode, the gigantic Nimbus Island appears on the flight path. If you'd like to begin a mystical journey, then grab a parachute and drop on in. Nimbus Island is a magnificent city in the sky. The day island offers a wide field of view, making it the perfect place to show off your gun skills. The night island boasts charming scenery, but veils itself in fog. Extra caution is advised. Eliminate all enemies on the island. Harness all the blessings you can from the magic lamps and collect ample supplies along with an extra respawn card. These are your crucial measures on the road to chicken dinner. Don't fret if you're unable to enter Nimbus Island. You can board the Sky Treasure Ship and unlock crates, or with the aid of the treasure map, find crates that grant extra supplies. The all-new two-seater vehicle, Flying Carpet, is sure to become your trusty accomplice on this adventure. Aside from this, plenty of mystical items will aid you in eliminating your enemies or in pranking your teammates. On this 6th anniversary, the battleground will be full of interesting spots to check out. Treasure lies where fun begins. Hurry and gather your teammates for an adventure. As for classic mode, the Miramar map has been majorly updated in this version. We have integrated two new districts, Truck Stop and Partona. Furthermore, with this update comes a special weather condition, Sandstorm. Players caught in a sandstorm will continuously lose health, so be sure to avoid them. As for firearms, the P90 SMG has received a major revision and will be the first airdrop submachine gun posing a significant threat. The new version of the P90 is available through airdrops, uses unique 5.7 millimeter ammo, has a fast rate of fire, and has very low recoil. It comes with a suppressor and laser sight. The sight can switch between two different magnification levels, but it cannot be equipped with other firearm attachments. Hurry and try out the new P90. Many new maps are coming, including a new blade ball gameplay, where you can now use flying pans to deflect balls back at opponents. New grenade blade balls have been added, so beware of blade balls detonating after the countdown ends. The character switch device has added a new zombie transformation feature. The option to transform into a zombie and infect downed players is now available. When editing as a team, teammates editing the same object is no longer a concern. There are still even more improvements to check out that support your creative freedom. An option to retain the equipment from a match has been added, and the match-wide detectable action management system will help you retain your items and progress for an improved gameplay experience. A new smart generator function has been added that invites players to enter any text, and the game will automatically generate a grouped object according to the prompt. Come over to World of Wonder and write what you'd like to say. Enchantopia will continually be updated, and in these updates, players without creator authorization will be able to enter the progress hub, challenge map creation stages, experience the joys of map creation, and will even have a shot at becoming an authorized creator. In the new version, we are also launching a major feature, the all-new home system. In the home system, players can freely build their dream homes and interact with friends. In Cheer Park, we have also added the home shop and create a space that highlights their personality. Home building mode will also support collaborative editing by up to four players. Have fun building a house with your friends. Gather your friends and start building a home together. That's a wrap for the main sixth anniversary content. Update PUBG Mobile for more exciting content to explore. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. See you next time.
Hi everyone! In PUBG Mobile version 3.1, we're releasing a new gameplay feature, Home. In this mode, not only can you build your very own dream house, you can also interact and have fun with friends in it. Let's learn more about Home. In the game's World of Wonder page, you will see a newly added Home tab. Here, you can browse and visit your friends' homes, recommended homes, homes on the ranking, enter your own home, or go to the home shop. Furthermore, we have added home door plates to the social lobby. From here, you can enter your home or visit other players' homes. In home mode, the building feature is accessible to all players. Each player gets their own island, where they can use items and furniture of various styles to build their dream house on the island. If you find the building process to be too cumbersome, you can purchase blueprints of ready-made designs that you like to instantly recreate it, and make further adjustments to suit your preferences. The home also supports inviting up to four players to build together. Apart from building a house, there are also lots of things to interact with in home, which provide a more immersive experience. First, we have the home butlers. Players start off with both a male and female butler. Not only can you manage various aspects of the home with these butlers, you can also check the messages received from visitors, as well as assign emotes and outfits for them. Stay tuned for more upcoming features. Next, we have the home tree. You can plant a magical home tree in your home, which will earn home coins every And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the PUBG Mobile Challengers League Southeast Asia Spring 2024. My name is Sir Cloud. Together with my wonderful buddy here, Cuckoo, will be your storytellers for today. And Austria Esports just came out of another chicken dinner. Who's actually going to stop them? I remember uh, Castor Reem from uh, Cambodia uh, posting about this. Like, uh, he's getting additional money <laughs> just because of Austria getting. Uh, winner winner chicken dinner so another cash money <laughs> for for caster reef but anyways let's now talk about uh, the teams who will actually be playing for match number three for tonight and it's going to be group b c d and e this means that group a is not going to be playing uh, sir cloud it's going to be ostja not playing stranger c sports uh dread esports and flash vision esports so it's actually good that they got that winner winner chicken dinner in match number two because uh we will have a long rest after this match it's like a 40 minute break so this means that uh, they're getting additional break coming from that match match number two and then going into match number three so that means we will have a fresh austria esports by the time that uh, they come back man i don't know whether that's good or bad news for the teams but at least for this round they will not be facing up against the giants austria esports so yeah, I mean, it's up for grabs now. Who was called that chicken dinner? The other narrative, of course, is between Harami Bros and Genesis Esports. They are kind of neck to neck with each other for the uh, for number one in the in the overall league. So that is something that we want to see as well. Who will be the king of the three weeks worth of league? Right. And you can also add up MFG Esports there because oh, yeah. if you look at the uh, league ranking points, that is uh, MFG at 7th uh, place in the ranking, so they can even uh, go up the rankings even over Harami Bro or even Genesis Esports maybe. But before we talk about that, let's talk about first this beautiful collaboration that we have. Four exquisite Bentley models are now available in-game, covering a wide range of vehicle types. Indulge in the luxury of choice and find your perfect match with Bentley in the game. And if, I, if, if I'm liking the rustic style on the left-hand side, I'm also loving the, the black uh, color at the back side of the rustic style of color. Uh, you can see that uh, just right behind it. So I, I love those two colors. I'm kind of like a simple uh, when it comes to colors, Sir Cloud. Yeah, simple, liking matcha, you know, simple guy. <laughs> you know, I'm sure a lot of 
you guys or you girls out there like simple guys but uh this is definitely not simple this has a lot in it happening wow. here the new rp a6 in the game right now available only until the 17th of may so it's for a limited amount of time only as just any RP, you don't want to leave it to the last minute to get this RP. You want to get it as early as possible because you're going to complete the missions to gain as many levels as possible, to get the most value out of it. And of course, if you get up to level 100, the Lilac Fitness set will be waiting for you. Right. And uh, what a beautiful Groza skin here, the Dread the Doc uh, Groza skin. Uh, not a lot of Grozas we've seen so far here for uh, PMCL. Uh, but we've seen a few, though. Uh, I've seen uh, Range holding up a uh, Groza, uh, Sir Cloud. But then again, hopefully we can get uh, a P90 skin as well, since that's mm. one of the, the newest guns in the airdrop. And uh, I, I love the burst coming from that P90. The only thing uh, about P90, uh, Sir Cloud, is the bullets. It's very, very limited. You can only get it also from the airdrop. But what if? What if uh, the, the bullets that you get there would be much more uh, compared to the one that we have right now? Like, uh, mm. that would be a good idea, right? Oh, you're throwing out ideas there, you know? And that actually happens in the game one day. You know where it came from. It came from <laughs> here. So Cuckoo is going to pattern that right now. And uh, <laughs> probably when it comes up, you know who's rich then. It's, and it's not Rim. <laughs> <laughs> well... I know Rim is uh, one of the richest casters out there in Cambodia because Austria is giving him some cash money with the chicken dinners that they are getting. Ooh. But uh, we are about to start here, by the way, in match number three. We're going to be back in Erangel. And if you remember the flight path uh, in the map of Erangel earlier uh, in match number two, uh, it came from the uh, western side going to the northern side of Stalper uh, uh, Khameshki. And uh, since Playbook Esports is now back, then uh, that place will be, you know, occupied by uh, by Playbook Esports. But not, but not only Playbook Esports here, Sir Cloud. We also have uh, three additional teams who will be back, and one of those strong teams is Yangon Galacticos. Oh yeah, Yangon Galacticos. Let's not uh, count this team out in the Grand Finals too, because they came out with a surprise during Week 1, catching up to Playbook Esports. And if they can do something like that, they can probably pull off something big in the grand finals too but that will be a story for another day right now the fly path is pretty similar like before it covers the same areas like it starts off from the left to the right it ends in the Pofka. and with playbook esports like what you mentioned they are making their debut today they will have an easy access to starboard kameshki and they need all of the remaining games that, that they have for tonight uh, sir cloud that is because they would love to you know increase their ranking uh, here in the overall uh, standings and then increasing their league ranking so that they would have a much better head start points in the grand finals and, and let's see if uh, they can actually do that with uh, with playbook esports you can now see also uh see you soon dropping at the uh the lower uh, portion of georgia pole apartments uh not really uh, as the same as what we saw earlier but oh there we go there's a first knockdown coming from the quarter Wow, okay. We haven't even seen the circle, but we already got our first blood. And it is the John that got eliminated by Fern. But circle-wise, it's going to be a kind circle, I would say. Somewhere centered around the area of Gaka. Unless if this circle somehow goes to military base, then it's probably the biggest scam of the day. <laughs> well, for me, with this type of circle, the best area to stay would be at the gasoline station. Uh, right before the, the bridge, uh, before you go into Subsnapka. Ah. Uh, that's probably the best area for me in this type of circle, uh, where you can have um, a little bit of allowance uh, if, say, for example, the circle would go up north onto the areas of Gatka. Uh, but here we have God7 right at Severni. Now looting up, we have Bieber and Amura. Uh, by the way, you call... Fern, Fern here in the English broadcast. At the Tagalog broadcast, we call him Fern G. Fern G? Yeah. Okay, we gotta fact check that, right? I call him, <laughs> yeah, we call him Fern. Unless if his G comes with a capital G, then we'll probably debate about right. it. But... Kind of like, like my friend, Vince G, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, he commented on your poster, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. Just saying. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not, uh, I'm not the one who made the poster. It was my editor oh. who made the poster. So. Wow! Someone's got an editor. 
<laughs> I could use one of those. Not gonna lie, it it saves a lot of time. Saves right? a lot of time, right? <laughs> yep, yep. Editing takes a lot of work. So shout out to all the editors out there, especially the editors on this broadcast. You know, to come up with those assets that you can oh, see yeah. on screen. It takes a it takes a lot. Yeah, it takes a lot. So shout out to our uh, our prod team as well, who make sure that we see all of the best. Uh, engagements, all the best action here in PMCL. Re pretty quiet, though, in stage number one. Not really much of any engagements. Uh, compared to earlier, we saw the pre uh engagement between AI and uh, See You Soon. Uh, this time around, there was only one uh, coming from See You Soon and uh, The Quarter. The Quarter, by the way, uh, they, they, uh, this is their debut uh, match for tonight. Uh, did not play in the first two matches, and now you can see Playbook Esports as well. One of those teams coming from uh, the PMSL last year was now uh, playing together with uh, Genesis Esports here in uh, PMCL. Uh, their lineup change kind of, in my opinion, messed up the, the chemistry, but uh, provided more firepower, in my opinion, because um, Michi came from uh, West Point Mamba, if you remember that team, yep. uh, Sir Cloud. And then uh, Jaro also came from West Point Mamba. Uh, those are two players who has really good firepower uh, compared to their lineup previously, where where in they I, I think I believe they have range and Migs, so range is now with the army bro, and then Migs uh, still playing. Uh, unfortunately, they were not able to qualify in the PMNC. Uh, now with built different esports, um, I, I hope to see him uh, in the PMCL one day. By the way, uh, yeah, there there's a lot of good talent, right? But yeah, the reality is that there's only limited amount of space. So for them to qualify onto the stage, well, it's best if they could do it themselves. If not, well, I guess you join other teams. And you did point out something very interesting about West Point Mamba, right? Um, in the previous uh, PMPSC wildcard, they were amazing. Yeah, they were amazing. Like uh, even uh, Federales came from there. And now look at where all their players are. They're all playing with uh, these amazing teams as well. So it just shows that the potential that they had that time. But you know. It, there could only be one winner at the end of the day. So it was just too bad for them. But yeah. if they had like multiple slots at that time, I'm sure West Point Mamba would be one of them to qualify to PMSL. Yeah. And unfortunately, though, for West Point Mamba, they uh, don't do PUBGM anymore. Oh. Uh, they, or the team, the, the like all the players switch on to build different esports now. So, I mean, they, they, got the, they got the players, like two out of uh, the four members. Which is Mix and Emma's. Uh, unfortunately, I saw them play the uh, offline in the Mall of Asia, uh, in the Mall of Asia uh, here in the Philippines, and oh. they they were like, like unfortunately not able to qualify. Like they only needed a few points, and they were really sad. Like I, I saw the, their faces. Uh, player players like DJ, Mix, and Emma's, and uh, I think the other guys Jai. Well. They, they will they will bounce back later on maybe in the next uh, PMCL maybe next year but for now let's focus on Federales and uh, Jarrell who actually came from West Point Mamba they, they, they are really good fraggers like uh, if you if you remember West Point Mamba sir cloud mm -hmm. all all members of West Point Mamba are really good fraggers and they they, they, they like have competition within the team. Oh yeah I remember that uh, back then during the league stage of the uh... Uh, PMPRC wildcard, they were amazing. Like they were one of the top teams. But when it came to the grand finals, uh, it looked like they ran out of gas. So it was just an unfortunate situation for them. And that gave obviously uh, Genesis Esports the uh, second uh, trophy in the PMPRC wildcard. Also an amazing team, not gonna lie. And uh, the sole representative, or even the first representative from Myanmar to actually make it on the PMGC. That is how crazy Genesis Esports and the, the rise of uh, Genesis in total uh, last year. But uh, I'm also glad to see players like Federalis actually um, getting new opportunities, especially with Harame Bros. And he came up as the top eliminator in the PMNC Philippines. Uh, I always see him as the, that one guy that has a lot of potential. And I'm glad that he has the stage to show it. Oh, and uh, there's going to be uh, some action here on the kill feed. That's Myth versus Exquisite. Exquisite, this is their first time playing as well for today. As uh, now the nades are coming in to the side of Exquisite Blanks. Uh, he's actually one of the OG players. Uh, 
in the PUBG and PH scene. Currently down right now. Shroud is also out, by the way. And UI will just uh, make his presence known here by uh, on the side of DZ. Devon is actually chasing uh, UI, but uh, you can see that uh, there are very scattered around the area here as looks like uh, Blanks won't be able to get saved here anymore as Joseph is just observing him and making sure that he gets the, the elimination. Again, these are very important points uh, for the side of Myth Clan as well. Uh, same goes to Exquisite Esports, which is, which is right now uh, not really going for the save because uh, Myth Clan is like roaming around the area. Look at the mini map here, Sir Cloud. Yeah, they're circling around, not ha not finding a house yet to uh, stop. But looks like Myth Clan they have found one, but PBE is there, and uh, Mr. Hot Dog is sharing the same area <laughs> with them. One nade onto the top floor that should be able to knock down Davan, but Davan moves himself to the back room. He's okay for now. More boy has backup, and they will go in all the way. And I love how Monboy waited for the backup first before he actually went for the push. But now it looks like uh, the delay will be happening because of that Molotov. Nice placement. Mm. Ooh, Nate coming from Monboy. Knocking down Devon upstairs. And looks like Devon will be left by his teammates. And look at the minimap. They just left him all alone here at this house. And PBE will confirm the kill. Myth Clan, who actually just uh, got their own uh, winner winner chicken dinner earlier. But now. Look at Smile, cooking up a nade, cancelling out the nade. Now it's going to be all up against oh, God7. Go. Ooh, oh. the shotgun wow. on him. Oh. Smile got first down. But it's going to be Itchy oh. who will go down as well. From behind though, Smile goes down, coming from KS. Oh, that's what happens when you have multiple teams in the same area. And now Wes will need to save his teammate. But before that, he needs to win the fight against Amura. Amura now super duper low. West low as well. And he got the knockdown. But the fight's not over yet. The nade will knock down Wes. Smile being taken out. Genesis Eastmore is losing the plot. Oh my G. Genesis now down to one. Now God7 will have to go for the revive. And the Galacticos will just steal all of the, the, the kills here. The God7 already had made. Murnat just not go nearby to this area now as God7 will now get uh, molotov by Loki. Range on the kill feed though will go down. And Cute Loki is slowly but surely really careful on his uh, moves here. Not really go going closer Ooh. to uh, the players of God7. Now Romeo Boy spots Murnat. Murnat here will most likely survive. But now the nades are going to be thrown by both sides. Bam. Will disconnect. Ooh, almost hits uh, Loki down. And then Amura will have to get some help coming from Beaver. But now Loki gets the nade on to the side of God7. We'll get the elimination as well. As uh, this is happening, there's also some uh, players getting killed on the kill feed. It's Myth going up against Explicit. Oh, they even evaded that one nade, but they couldn't evade the shots coming in from WTZ. Now Chaos is the only one left from God of Death 7. They're charging onto him with potential health left and with a UMP. God of Death 7 will be taken out at number 16 with three elimination points. Oh, and this is bad for them, especially that uh, they're not really inside the top 16. Uh, or should we call it, Sir Cloud, the Sweet 16 mm. for uh, all of those teams here who's going to be in the grand finals? As uh, I can now see uh, Yang and Galacticos <gasps> just making their presence known. Uh, at the start of their first ever game in the in today's matchups. But right now, we're looking at PBE going up against Exquisite Esports Super Pickles now. Looking up a fake nade. Oh, with the sh shot onto the face of Playbook Esports. And they are now out. Wow. Take it out by Super Pickles. And he's still able to save Yue in the process. Same time, the circle. You call it all right, right? One of your favorite spots in the circle is the gas station just above that bridge. And now it is the center point of the current stage of the circle. Whoever is there will need to defend, but they will get the next stage of the circle for sure. For sure. But right, right now, you can see Fearless on this compound. This is a really good compound to be on, but uh, uh, it's hard for you to defend it. Especially there's too many houses and even the warehouse there is very big for you to you know sustain but uh harami bro right now on that hillside we'll just wait for uh, someone from fearless to get out of this area most likely though uh the circle will shift away from this uh, uh spot 
as we are now counting down a minute and 40 seconds left to go before the circle will shift away from this area. Now Master Risk now goes for the spray down with his car L. Not going to be able to get the knockdown, but will take damage onto the vehicle of Super Pickles. Yeah, so managed to get away. But whoop, oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, whoop, baby, whoop. G, nope. Somebody got to get their license checked there. <laughs> well, ooh. Uh, there's a knockdown over there on the kill feed. Uh, it's, it is now 314 Akira versus Enigma Koopa. Goes for the finish of that DBS and now will go for the revive with QB. And 214 Akira cannot really go for a follow up because there's another man down for them. And now Fern now goes for, say, Cloud. And now there's another nade now being oh. cooked up by Loki. Double TZ now goes down. A nade follow up wow. coming from the corner. And what a nade coming from Loki, able to knock down Fern. And now Young Gugani goes only two players left, but they will secure that elimination point. Loki is here, Mr. MVP from Young Gugani goes, evaded that nade. And now needs to be careful because someone else is going to come in from the other side. Spray Ooh. coming from Loki, he's too bad to get that one. What a spray by Loki. Loki just showing him who's the boss right now. Romeo Boy still alive for them. So he still has some help here as Romeo Boy, ooh, almost got naded there. Very low on HP. Now Kilo using the blue zone ah. as his advantage, but no, it's gotta be Popeye. Will use his muscles and technique to be able to get Loki down. But now Popeye, oh, ooh, with the DBS versus the S12K. The S12K wins it all. But then again, look at the mini maps, Sir Cloud. Someone's looking for Romeo Boy. It is MFG waiting for him to get inside his zone. And Popeye might have the muscles, but he probably forgot to eat his spinach. <laughs> and he went down that way. Well, same goes for 2 1 4. Akira eliminated. But Kuku, this circle, my goodness, is so compact. Like, there's still a lot of water in it. But interesting enough, AI Esports, somehow, they are playing this round very, very safe. And they are, like, in the water. I believe they should be swimming. Yeah, they are swimming right now in the waters of Subsnovka. And this is where I actually told you earlier that the circle or the best area to stay in would be at the gasoline station. And this is where the circle is centering now. It looks like uh, Super Pickles will just hide this right on the rock, uh, rocks here, just right beside another squad member of another team. And Pickles, I thought he, he was stuck there uh, for a second. But anyways, DZ is there for Myth Clan. Uh, this is bad for uh, Exquisite, especially if someone will try to occupy that space on the northern side of the circle. And this is bad for Zyzak. Where is he going to go now? He's not able to defend himself. The other members of AI Esports not spotted out yet. But uh, maybe it's a matter of time. We need to wait and see. But for TTQ, their position on top of this lighthouse is great as well. Just look at the amount of information that they can get with the teams around them. Yeah, look at look at the the area that they're in right now, Sir Cloud. It's the highest point of this very location. This is the lighthouse area, by the way. As you can now, ooh, Gus almost got knocked down there, coming from a spray. I, I'm pretty sure that's coming from uh, Enigma. And still, update here coming from Bro and uh, Fearless. Still gatekeeping Fearless. They know where to actually stay. Our, our, our further out is now cooking up a nade. It looks like Fearless will now come closer to the side of Arama Bro, but Arama Bro really good with their positioning here. Just uh, gatekeeping them, using the vehicles as cover as well, and also smokes in order for them to be able to cover oh. themselves up. But, ooh, that nade almost got the Pozo hit there on top oh, of his head. Pozo almost going oh. down as well, coming from a different angle. And this is MFG, Sir Cloud, going for the third party. MFG. Gotta remember this name. They could pull out something big in the Grand Finals later on. Now they're looking for elimination points. Other members of FRL, probably Harame Bros too. But luckily enough, the hill is blocking the site. And speaking about Harame Bros, looks like it's going to be a fight against Fearless Esports. Right now, Federalis is now cooking up a nade. He's just wanting that right timing for that nade to be onto the face of Fearless. But now it looks like he had enough. And uh, he says, let's just go inside... Uh, or probably we'll just reposition onto another angle here as nades are being thrown for both angles. Oh, Ooh. what a throw there coming from MM. Just right at where the spot where the player of Fearless Esports was at. 
And then Ranzer now just circling around. Caps gets the knockdown on the kill feed. And this is what I'm telling you about earlier, Sir Cloud. If Enigma gets to that northern side, it's it's going to be really, really bad for Exquisite Esports. Uh, but it's also bad for Fearless Esports now with Harmony Bros. Not going to let them go. They want the points in the back because they know that they have the chance to chase up to Genesis Esports. And the Rales will pick up the point out of Phoebe Harris. And that's going to be the loot. And Fearless Esports have been eliminated by Harami Bro. Circle time. And it shifts onto the open area just Ooh. beside Ferry Pier. And uh, you know what? Fearless is still alive. Uh, Ranzer oh. able to survive oh. just to get inside that. I think it's a wooden shack where he's in right now. And uh, MFG didn't really went for that mm. third party because the circle has shifted downwards. So they just uh, left uh, Harami Bro to eliminate the, the two other players of uh, Fearless Esports. And now, Yatka going for the nade. Ranzer just barely surviving here with all of those smokes surrounding him. And this gives him uh, the uh, benefit here, wherein players from MFG cannot really hit him with the, the Fragonix. Like, he cannot get in the house where he's in right now. Oh, look at the movement by Harami Bro straight into the middle of the circle. But Federal is currently knocked down by Liquid. They have to fight against TTQ. Dale! Knocked down as well. Shot from behind. Liquid comes in to win the fight against the Rabbit Bros. Eliminated just like that. They forced themselves into the middle of the circle. Not too bad because there's no other space to play with. But TTQ was ready for them. That was a crash and burn gameplay coming from Harami Bros. Where, uh, where right now we have your en Enigma. Going in together with APG, but APG is waiting for them in this area. This is the gasoline station that I'm talking about. Now Caps, the last guy, and now they're gone. Enigma is out with only two eliminations. APG now with four, and they can manage to get inside a circle after this. My, my, Cuckoo. This feels like almost a deja vu from the previous round. We're at stage five, but only seven teams left. In the previous round, <laughs> when we went stage six, there were like about six teams left. So we're getting close to that number now. And that number could probably be the same because we still have about a minute and a half more before we see that next stage. Exquisite, on the other hand, the last we saw them, they had two players and they still have UA and Super Pickles. This time, they're going to play it safely underneath the bridge. Underneath the bridge right now is UI, just proning down on the ground. I'm not sure why Gus is not able to spot him as of this yet. Maybe uh, he's not able to hear the footsteps. But look at uh, Zyzak, able to spot Super Pickles just swimming like a shark on that other side of that bridge. And now Zyzak just looking for Super Pickles. But Super Pickles, really smart. He will just not swim anymore. He will just uh, hide behind that pillar of that bridge. And it will just wait on to the next circle. 30 seconds left, Sir Cloud, before we uh, shift on to the next stage, which is stage number six. And uh, this is the best thing that Exquisite can do now. They really can't do anything about this. They just need to wait to wait for the next circle as Mernat is actually alive. Uh, I'm so surprised that Mernat is not mm. yet dead. Oh, yeah. Somehow he managed to stay alive now. But uh, for how long more, right? This will be the question. But as long as they can stay above Genesis Esports and the fact that he's the representative of GE now, uh, they, can they can still maintain the gap against them. So let's see what will happen now because Circle shifted up north where MFG is at. Now MFG, full squad, we know that they have a lot of firepower. They have the power of the Circle now. They are looking really strong and the strong contender for the chicken dinner. You are right with that, and uh, what control of Circle is what they're uh, showing right now. Able to control Western and the Northern side of the zone, but now on the kill feed, able to get Ooh, the... Ooh, wow! nice nade! Coming from UI, able to get Vape down. And now another nade confirming the skill. UI, beautiful play there. Coming from Exquisite Esports now, after this, they can now go to the Circle and... There, there won't be anyone who will be defending them. And, ooh, oh, but APG now crash and burns. MFG was waiting for them inside, and mm. then AI now gets spotted by Mernat and Genesis Esports. Actually, he, he wasn't able to get the kill. It was someone else. Oh, it was stolen away? What? Yeah, I thought he got it. It was stolen away. <laughs> oh, man. Heartbroken. Just like my first date. 
but oh, no. oh. <laughs> to see you soon. Will not want to break their own hearts now. They want to try and take this fight against MFG. MFG shooting back and Zero had to stay away. Well, let's see. Zero now will try to go for the reset. And he's actually using the buggy as well uh, to scout much better view here for him. Now throwing up the the, the nays here coming from TTQ. Uh, they know where to throw it away, but uh, they don't know where Super Pickles is currently at right now. They're just waiting for the right time to push in, and now it looks like they're going to push in together. Super Pickles and a UI. These two players coming from Exquisite Esports. These are very young players, by the way, Sir Cloud. And now you can see them pushing up the tempo. It's going to be the difference maker here will be Gus, who will be defending us. Ooh, actually, Zuki is right nearby as well. Ooh, it's going to be risky here for Exquisite Esports. They're Oof. in a very bad disadvantage here. Yeah, they're trying to flush out uh, Exquisite, and Yue is kind of low! Burned down by Zuki with the molly. Now Super Pickles is the only man standing, but Zuki! Shot from where? From MFG! It was Exit that shot him down! And again, the third party is, is just giving TTQ a hard time on going for a, a follow-up push. Oh, now it oh, actually we went out of the way and Liquid goes down, unfortunately. And now Exquisite will be able to go for that reset, and at the same time, will have much more advantage compared to TTQ and Super Pickles will not put up a lot of smokes even though that there's already smokes here and we'll go for that revive. We're down to four by the way. MFG, see you soon, Exquisite and TTQ still alive here. But you know what, Sir Cloud? MFG has the most numbers of, of players still left standing here. So they will have the most number or more, more chances of winning in this game. Yeah, absolutely right. It is now MFG's game to lose. And even this stage of the circle is uh, favoring towards MFG. So now MFG, they only need to control the circle. They'll be pretty good. And while they do that, they could probably take those long range shots to steal away eliminations. And you're right with that one. As you can see, Exit, look at the gun behind him. It's the MG3 LMG weapon will be activated very soon. And he's actually looking at Exquisite Esports rather than the player from uh, TTQ. It's kind of like a blind spot, by the way. Uh, if you if you look at uh, TTQ right now, there's so many trees just blocking the way and not giving uh, any much info uh, for the last guy of TTQ. But you can see that uh, you're just making sure that no one else is uh, left right behind that blue zone. Uh, look, look at the spread of MFG, Sir Cloud. This is just total control of that northern side of the circle. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like nobody can come close to MFG's area up north there. We still have stage 8 though. If they get stage 8, then that's pretty much it. They can close up the game. But now UA, speaking about closing up, he's been closed up by Zero from CU. So that's the oh, no. and the pickle now. One last stick of health. The vehicle blown up in front of him, but he's still alive. But for how long now? He's on the outside of the circle. The zone is closing onto him. The zone is closing in, 45 seconds left to go before we show you the last circle, which is going to be stage number 8. That's Lulu Team now. Circles around, exit, spots the player from TTQ. And Super Pickles down to 1 HP left, and that is it. Unknown gets him down. Explicit Esports will be left oh, down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And then Lulu Team with 1 HP left will be able to survive this. Good thing there was a player from afar, which was Zero. Going for a support there, but then again, it's gonna be Mewtwo now. We'll cook up a nade. Very low on HP. Zero. Oh, Will oh, he actually oh, Mewtwo? connect Mewtwo? with that nade? Mewtwo? Yo! There you go. That's gonna be it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner for the side of MFG Esports. Mad MFG chicken dinner this time. Just after Austria Esports. And if we recap yesterday, out of the six games, five games, Chicken Dinner was taken away by the top three teams. Today, so far, it's looking like the top three team dominance again. Yes, you are right with that, Sir Cloud. And you can see MFG Esports uh, from, uh, I think, stage number five. The moment that the circle shifted uh, down to that area, uh, you can see that MFG Esports will have full advantage because it's going to be 
uh, a lot of teams who will try to get into position on the eastern side of that circle, which actually happened, wherein uh, TTQ and Exquisite Esports tried their best to, you know, survive in that uh, area. But then again, it was MFG who uh, managed to get that winner, winner, chicken dinner, able to defeat the final guy with a final frag grenade onto See You Soon. And uh, congratulations again uh, to the side of uh, MFG Esports getting their winner, winner, chicken dinner for tonight. Now, let's not forget as well, MFG and Austria Esports, their points are not too far. So with MFG scoring this chicken dinner, potentially they might overtake Austria Esports. But before we head on to that, we will check out the best moments from the previous round. MFG with the 10 eliminations. And this circle started off looking like an okay-ish circle until it pulled all the way down south. Yeah, you're right with that, Sir Cloud. I thought it was going to the gasoline station, which is, I said, was the best area to stay where uh, APG got pushed here by Enigma. Uh, APG uh, went for the circle, but it was a crash and burn moment for them. And then this was a beautiful nade coming from UI with a follow up nade to finish him off. And then it was just all about MFG controlling the northern side, controlling that much higher ground advantage. And then Zero with very low on HP left. He had no choice but to just heal up because if Mewtwo will, you know, come closer, he will die anyways. And he died with that explosion at the end. And the MVP is exit with four eliminations, 927 total damage, four total knockouts, five total assists, 116 heals, and with 2537 survival time. And if you noticed here, Sir Cloud, they didn't really went into a lot of uh, engagement with uh, the teams. They went onto the uh, far west northwestern side of that circle. So they basically avoided um so much of that engagement they even not opted in to like go for the third party when harami bro and peerless went at it yeah that's right they kind of like stayed away from a lot of those big fights until towards that very very end unless if it's a long range then yeah they'll take the shots and they got a couple of eliminations uh, by that uh, sort of method and exit also to point out that this is not his first mvp he has gotten a couple of mvps before for mfg so great work that exit still very consistent for the team but as a team they managed to get the 10 eliminations and with the chicken dinner there's going to be 20 points on top of that it's a thousand five hundred fifty four damage this out seven knockouts for the team nine assists 400 heal at a survival time of maximum 25 minutes 51 seconds MFG Esports adding more points to the bag. Uh, and uh, and like what you said, uh, Sir Cloud, uh, their score between them and Austria Esports are very close. So they can probably manage to come closer now. And if they're going to have a much better game or like the same game as what they have right now on the next game, then most likely they probably will uh, go over Austria Esports. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a possibility. Uh, that that will happen but Austria will you'll probably say nah well we're not gonna let you do that we will be back eventually in the other few games I mean we, we just didn't play in this game but here are the overall uh, overall stats here uh, 60 eliminations uh, 53 total knockouts 50 83 total heals 9 total revives 238 throws used 325 drive distance of kilometers uh, 3 to 81 meters of longest distance elimination, 7 headshots, 25-51 survival time, and 2 airdrops looted. And uh, like what I mentioned earlier, uh, Sir Cloud, uh, if you add more bullets probably to a P90, maybe airdrops looted will be more than 2 or maybe more than 3 because that's the the norm that we're, we're dealing with here in PMCL. Hopefully soon, right? Yeah, hopefully soon that we see some of the changes that we kind of put out here right like you want a p90 on the outside i want the dbs on the inside just like a lot of other people uh, we're still <laughs> waiting for that to happen we're still waiting for that to happen but we're also uh, i'm also kind of waiting for the return of the candy i wonder if that will happen oh. anytime soon but uh, what's happening right now is everyone in this round they got something for themselves yeah, you're right. And you can see there, um, 10 eliminations for MFG, so total of 20. Exquisite, even though that uh, they didn't really end up as uh, uh, top three, they ended up at top number four. 
They, only, they actually got much higher points compared to See You Soon and TTQ. Uh, Yangon got 7, 5 for AI, APG got 5 as well, GE got 4, uh, Bro got 2. So the, the rivalry between uh, GE and Harami Bro, uh, still with GE, still uh, a much higher points for, for them. Uh, you can see also 2 1 for uh, Kira, only with one point here together with Myth Clan. Myth Clan uh, got their really good uh, you know, games earlier on, but eventually died down. So the, cons consist the consistency is not there uh, for Myth Clan. But we are going to be back here in the caster scene, Kuku TV, together with Sir Cloud. And we're done with three matches for tonight. We're basically left with three more one Erangel, two Miramars left. Uh, three weeks of uh, non-stop PUBG Mobile action, by the way. Uh, what are your thoughts here, uh, Sir Cloud, before we actually go on a long break? I think today, from what we've seen so far, is that teams are starting to be a lot more aggressive. That's why we see like by stage 5, stage 6, there are so little teams left. So I think that's also factored in by the fact that some teams are desperate for points to um, gain the placements that they want, that they target, to have the uh, best amount of starting points in the Grand final. So that's why they're just going all out for it. Yeah, and uh, you can see the, the top teams really just holding their ground in every each game. Uh, I didn't really thought that Murnot would survive like until that very moment. Uh, usually with like one player left in their uh, team, Usually you would see them just dying um, in rotations, like going into the circle, but uh, uh, not able to actually survive. And uh, there was one moment that uh, uh, the, ki the kill was stolen by a different uh, squad from afar. So unfortunately for Genesis Esports, not able to add more points to, the, to their name. But uh, eventually for, uh, for all the, the first three matches that we have, uh, it, it benefits more of... Uh, of the other regions, but not for the PH region, in my opinion. The PH region has been struggling uh, compared to the first two weeks of uh, PMCL. Yeah, but I guess if there's any silver lining to it is that at least they are in the Grand Finals. So that is yeah. where it all matters, right? So in the Grand Finals, that is where uh, we will see the best of the best of all these teams. Of course, everyone wants to be the champion and there's only one trophy to be taken away. No any other extra slots for any other stage except for next season where we will have a slot to the uh, PMWC. Right. right, I'm so excited with that. The, the PUBG Mobile World Cup that will happen in the, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in Riyadh. So uh, we'll know, we'll know uh, that time uh, in season two if uh, who will be able uh, to get that slot. But anyways, we're going to go on a long break here. This is Kuku TV together with Sir Cloud and we'll be right back. Abilities of home. In Cheer Park, we have also added the home shop. Here, you can purchase items for your home and participate in the lucky spin to win items for decorating your home. Eager to start building your own home now? Go and complete the various home missions to earn great home rewards. Or complete matches in ranked classic mode for a lucky draw chance for home loot when tallying match results to get more items for your home. That's all for now for the new home gameplay. We'll be releasing more tutorial videos for home soon, so stay tuned. What are you waiting for? Invite your friends now and build Build your very own home.
T-Mobile's sixth birthday is just around the corner. A merry sixth anniversary to all friends old and new. In version 3.1, we have lots of new content and updates for players. May you have a wonderful sixth anniversary celebration. In the sky-high spectacle themed mode, the gigantic Nimbus Island appears on the flight path. If you'd like to begin a mystical journey, then grab a parachute and drop on in. Nimbus Island is a magnificent city in the sky. The day island offers a wide field of view, making it the perfect place to show off your gun skills. The night island boasts charming scenery, but veils itself in fog. Extra caution is advised. Eliminate all enemies on the island. Harness all the blessings you can from the magic lamps and collect ample supplies along with an extra respawn card. These are your crucial measures on the road to chicken dinner. Don't fret if you're unable to enter Nimbus Island. You can board the Sky Treasure Ship and unlock crates, or with the aid of the treasure map, find crates that grant extra supplies. The all-new two-seater vehicle, Flying Carpet, is sure to become your trusty accomplice on this adventure. Aside from this, plenty of mystical items will aid you in eliminating your enemies or in pranking your teammates. On this 6th anniversary, the battleground will be full of interesting spots to check out. Treasure lies where fun begins. Hurry and gather your teammates for an adventure. As for classic mode, the Miramar map has been majorly updated in this version. We have integrated two new districts, Truck Stop and Partona. Furthermore, with this update comes a special weather condition, Sandstorm. Players caught in a sandstorm will continuously lose health, so be sure to avoid them. As for firearms, the P90 SMG has received a major revision and will be the first airdrop submachine gun posing a significant threat. The new version of the P90 is available through airdrops, uses unique 5.7 millimeter ammo, has a fast rate of fire, and has very low recoil. It comes with a suppressor and laser sight. The sight can switch between two different magnification levels, but it cannot be equipped with other firearm attachments. Hurry and try out the new P90. Many new maps are coming, including a new blade ball gameplay, where you can now use flying pans to deflect balls back at opponents. New grenade blade balls have been added, so beware of blade balls detonating after the countdown ends. The character switch device has added a new zombie transformation feature. The option to transform into a zombie and infect downed players is now available. When editing as a team, teammates editing the same object is no longer a concern. There are still even more improvements to check out that support your creative freedom. An option to retain the equipment from a match has been added, and the match-wide detectable action management system will help you retain your items and progress for an improved gameplay experience. A new smart generator function has been added that invites players to enter any text, and the game will automatically generate a grouped object according to the prompt. Come over to World of Wonder and write what you'd like to say. Enchantopia will continually be updated, and in these updates, players without creator authorization will be able to enter the progress hub, challenge map creation stages, experience the joys of map creation, and will even have a shot at becoming an authorized creator. In the new version, we are also launching a major feature, the all new home system. In the home system, players can freely build their dream homes and interact with friends. In Cheer Park, we have also added the home shop and create a space that highlights their personality. Home building mode will also support collaborative editing by up to four players. Have fun building a house with your friends. Gather your friends and start building a home together. That's a wrap for the main sixth anniversary content. Update PUBG Mobile for more exciting content to explore. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. See you next time.
Hi everyone! In PUBG Mobile version 3.1, we're releasing a new gameplay feature, Home. In this mode, not only can you build your very own dream house, you can also interact and have fun with friends in it. Let's learn more about Home. In the game's World of Wonder page, you will see a newly added Home tab. Here, you can browse and visit your friends' homes, recommended homes, homes on the ranking, enter your own home, or go to the home shop. Furthermore, we have added home door plates to the social lobby. From here, you can enter your home or visit other players' homes. In home mode, the building feature is accessible to all players. Each player gets their own island, where they can use items and furniture of various styles to build their dream house on the island. If you find the building process to be too cumbersome, you can purchase blueprints of ready-made designs that you like to instantly recreate it, and make further adjustments to suit your preferences. The home also supports inviting up to four players to build together. Apart from building a house, there are also lots of things to interact with in home, which provide a more immersive experience. First, we have the home butlers. Players start off with both a male and female butler. Not only can you manage various aspects of the home with these butlers, you can also check the messages received from visitors, as well as assign emotes and outfits for them. Stay tuned for more upcoming features. Next, we have the home tree. You can plant a magical home tree in your home, which will earn home coins every day. You can also help your friends collect home coins when you visit their home, and earn some extra commission for yourself. Home coins can be used to purchase items for decorating your home. There are all kinds of fun and interesting items available in home. There are also special animations when you interact with the sofa, play various music instruments, or play on the swing with your friends. You can also interact with other items such as the bathtub to create memorable moments. As such, we've specially prepared the photo wall. You can decorate the photo wall with the photos taken in the game, or upload them from your local device to show the most awesome and special side of yourself. If you want to showcase your unique musical taste in home, you can also set exclusive background music for it. You can do so by placing a music player in your home and have it play any track that you own to create your personal music haven. In home, you can take photos with custom camera angles or templates. Photos taken can be saved to your device or home album to record your unique home memories. We have also added a messenger feature in home. You can release a messenger from your home and also receive the messengers of others to interact with players from around the world. At the same time, you can visit the homes of other players and enjoy features such as leaving messages, sending popularity gifts, collecting home coins, and other social features. Explore the infinite possibilities of home. In Cheer Park, we have also added the Home Shop. Here, you can purchase items for your home and participate in the Lucky Spin to win items for decorating your home. Eager to start building your own home now? Go and complete the various home missions to earn great home rewards. Or complete matches in Ranked Classic mode for a lucky draw chance for home loot when tallying match results to get more items for your home. That's all for now for the new home gameplay. We'll be releasing more tutorial videos for home soon, so stay tuned. What are you waiting for? Invite your friends now and build your very own home.
T-Mobile's sixth birthday is just around the corner. A merry sixth anniversary to all friends old and new. In version 3.1, we have lots of new content and updates for players. May you have a wonderful sixth anniversary celebration. In the sky-high spectacle themed mode, the gigantic Nimbus Island appears on the flight path. If you'd like to begin a mystical journey, then grab a parachute and drop on in. Nimbus Island is a magnificent city in the sky. The Day Island offers a wide field of view, making it the perfect place to show off your gun skills. The Night Island boasts charming scenery, but veils itself in fog. Extra caution is advised. Eliminate all enemies on the island. Harness all the blessings you can from the magic lamps and collect ample supplies along with an extra respawn card. These are your crucial measures on the road to chicken dinner. Don't fret if you're unable to enter Nimbus Island. You can board the Sky Treasure Ship and unlock crates, or with the aid of the treasure map, find crates that grant extra supplies. The all-new two-seater vehicle, Flying Carpet, is sure to become your trusty accomplice on this adventure. Aside from this, plenty of mystical items will aid you in eliminating your enemies or in pranking your teammates. On this sixth anniversary, the battleground will be full of interesting spots to check out. Treasure lies where fun begins. Hurry and gather your teammates for an adventure. As for classic mode, the Miramar map has been majorly updated in this version. We have integrated two new districts, Truck Stop and Partona. Furthermore, with this update comes a special weather condition, Sandstorm. Players caught in a sandstorm will continuously lose health, so be sure to avoid them. As for firearms, the P90 SMG has received a major revision and will be the first airdrop submachine gun posing a significant threat. The new version of the P90 is available through airdrops, uses unique 5.7 millimeter ammo, has a fast rate of fire, and has very low recoil. It comes with a suppressor and laser sight. The sight can switch between two different magnification levels, but it cannot be equipped with other firearm attachments. Hurry and try out the new P90. Many new maps are coming, including a new blade ball gameplay, where you can now use flying pans to deflect balls back at opponents. New grenade blade balls have been added, so beware of blade balls detonating after the countdown ends. The character switch device has added a new zombie transformation feature. The option to transform into a zombie and infect downed players is now available. When editing as a team, teammates editing the same object is no longer a concern. There are still even more improvements to check out that support your creative freedom. An option to retain the equipment from a match has been added, and the match-wide detectable action management system will help you retain your items and progress for an improved gameplay experience. A new smart generator function has been added that invites players to enter any text, and the game will automatically generate a grouped object according to the prompt. Come over to World of Wonder and write what you'd like to say. Enchantopia will continually be updated, and in these updates, players without creator authorization will be able to enter the progress hub, challenge map creation stages, experience the joys of map creation, and will even have a shot at becoming an authorized creator. In the new version, we are also launching a major feature, the all-new home system. In the home system, players can freely build their dream homes and interact with friends. In Cheer Park, we have also added the home shop and create a space that highlights their personality. Home building mode will also support collaborative editing by up to four players. Have fun building a house with your friends. Gather your friends and start building a home together. That's a wrap for the main sixth anniversary content. Update PUBG Mobile for more exciting content to explore. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. See you next time.
Hi everyone! In PUBG Mobile version 3.1, we're releasing a new gameplay feature, Ho. Oh, in this mode, not only can you build your very own dream house, you can also interact and have fun with friends in it. Let's learn more about Ho. In the game's World of Wonder page, you will see a newly added home tab. Here, you can browse and visit your friends' homes, recommended homes, homes on the ranking, enter your own home, or go to the home shop. Furthermore, we have added home door plates to the social lobby. From here, you can enter your home or visit other players' homes. In home mode, the building feature is accessible to all players. Each player gets their own island, where they can use items and furniture of various styles to build their dream house on the island. If you find the building process to be too cumbersome, you can purchase blueprints of ready-made designs that you like to instantly recreate it, and make further adjustments to suit your preferences. The home also supports inviting up to four players to build together. Apart from building a house, there are also lots of things to interact with in home, which provide a more immersive experience. First, we have the home butlers. Players start off with both a male and female butler. Not only can you manage various aspects of the home with these butlers, you can also check the messages received from visitors, as well as assign emotes and outfits for them. Stay tuned for more upcoming features. Next, we have the home tree. You can plant a magical home tree in your home, which will earn home coins every day. You can also help your friends collect home coins when you visit their home, and earn some extra commission for yourself. Home coins can be used to purchase items for decorating your home. There are all kinds of fun and interesting items available in home. There are also special animations when you interact with the sofa, play various music instruments, or play on the swing with your friends. You can also interact with other items such as the bathtub to create memorable moments. As such, we've specially prepared the photo wall. You can decorate the photo wall with the photos taken in the game, or upload them from your local device to show the most awesome and special side of yourself. If you want to showcase your unique musical taste in home, you can also set exclusive background music for it. You can do so by placing a music player in your home and have it play any track that you own to create your personal music haven. In home, you can take photos with custom camera angles or templates. Photos taken can be saved to your device or home album to record your unique home memories. We have also added a messenger feature in home. You can release a messenger from your home and also receive the messengers of others to interact with players from around the world. At the same time, you can visit the homes of other players and enjoy features such as leaving messages, sending popularity gifts, collecting home coins, and other social features. Explore the infinite possibilities of home In Cheer Park, we have also added the Home Shop. Here, you can purchase items for your home and participate in the Lucky Spin to win items for decorating your home. Eager to start building your own home now? Go and complete the various home missions to earn great home rewards. Or complete matches in Ranked Classic mode for a lucky draw chance for home loot when tallying match results to get more items for your home. That's all for now for the new home gameplay. We'll be releasing more tutorial videos for home soon, so stay tuned. What are you waiting for? Invite your friends now and build your very own home.
T-Mobile's sixth birthday is just around the corner. A merry sixth anniversary to all friends old and new. In version 3.1, we have lots of new content and updates for players. May you have a wonderful sixth anniversary celebration. In the Sky High Spectacle themed mode, the gigantic Nimbus Island appears on the flight path. If you'd like to begin a mystical journey, then grab a parachute and drop on in. Nimbus Island is a magnificent city in the sky. The Day Island offers a wide field of view, making it the perfect place to show off your gun skills. The Night Island boasts charming scenery, but veils itself in fog. Extra caution is advised. Eliminate all enemies on the island, harness all the blessings you can from the magic lamps, and collect ample supplies along with an extra respawn card. These are your crucial measures on the road to chicken dinner. Don't fret if you're unable to enter Nimbus Island. You can board the Sky Treasure Ship and unlock crates, or with the aid of the treasure map, find crates that grant extra supplies. The all-new two-seater vehicle, Flying Carpet, is sure to become your trusty accomplice on this adventure. Aside from this, plenty of mystical items will aid you in eliminating your enemies or in pranking your teammates. On this sixth anniversary, the battleground will be full of interesting spots to check out. Treasure lies where fun begins. Hurry and gather your teammates for an adventure. As for classic mode, the Miramar map has been majorly updated in this version. We have integrated two new districts, Truck Stop and Partona. Furthermore, with this update comes a special weather condition, Sandstorm. Players caught in a sandstorm will continuously lose health, so be sure to avoid them. As for firearms, the P90 SMG has received a major revision and will be the first airdrop submachine gun posing a significant threat. The new version of the P90 is available through airdrops, uses unique 5.7mm ammo, has a fast rate of fire, and has very low recoil. It comes with a suppressor and laser sight. The sight can switch between two different magnification levels, but it cannot be equipped with other firearm attachments. Hurry and try out the new P90! Many new maps are coming, including a new blade ball gameplay where you can now use flying pans to deflect balls back at opponents. New grenade blade balls have been added, so beware of blade balls detonating after the countdown ends. The character switch device has added a new zombie transformation feature. The option to transform into a zombie and infect downed players is now available. When editing as a team, teammates editing the same object is no longer a concern. There are still even more improvements to check out that support your creative freedom. An option to retain the equipment from a match has been added, and the match-wide detectable action management system will help you retain your items and progress for an improved gameplay experience. A new smart generator function has been added that invites players to enter any text, and the game will automatically generate a grouped object according to the prompt. Come over to World of Wonder and write what you'd like to say. Enchantopia will continually be updated, and in these updates, players without creator authorization will be able to enter the progress hub, challenge map creation stages, experience the joys of map creation, and will even have a shot at becoming an authorized creator. In the new version, we are also launching a major feature, the all new home system. In the home system, players can freely build their dream homes and interact with friends. In Cheer Park, we have also added the home shop, and create a space that highlights their personality. Home building mode will also support collaborative editing by up to four players. Have fun building a house with your friends. Gather your friends and start building a home together. That's a wrap for the main sixth anniversary content. Update PUBG Mobile for more exciting content to explore. Winner winner, chicken dinner. See you next time.
Hi everyone! In PUBG Mobile version 3.1, we're releasing a new gameplay feature, Home. In this mode, not only can you build your very own dream house, you can also interact and have fun with friends in it. Let's learn more about Home. In the game's World of Wonder page, you will see a newly added Home tab. Here, you can browse and visit your friends' homes, recommended homes, homes on the ranking, enter your own home, or go to the home shop. Furthermore, we have added home door plates to the social lobby. From here, you can enter your home or visit other players' homes. In home mode, the building feature is accessible to all players. Each player gets their own island, where they can use items and furniture of various styles to build their dream house on the island. If you find the building process to be too cumbersome, you can purchase blueprints of ready-made designs that you like to instantly recreate it, and make further adjustments to suit your preferences. The home also supports inviting up to four players to build together. Apart from building a house, there are also lots of things to interact with in home, which provide a more immersive experience. First, we have the home butlers. Players start off with both a male and female butler. Not only can you manage various aspects of the home with these butlers, you can also check the messages received from visitors, as well as assign emotes and outfits for them. Stay tuned for more upcoming features. Next, we have the home tree. You can plant a magical home tree in your home, which will earn home coins every day. You can also help your friends collect home coins when you visit their home, and earn some extra commission for yourself. Home coins can be used to purchase items for decorating your home. There are all kinds of fun and interesting items available in home. There are also special animations when you interact with the sofa, play various music instruments, or play on the swing with your friends. You can also interact with other items such as the bathtub to create memorable moments. As such, we've specially prepared the photo wall. You can decorate the photo wall with the photos taken in the game, or upload them from your local device to show the most awesome and special side of yourself. If you want to showcase your unique musical taste in home, you can also set exclusive background music for it. You can do so by placing a music player in your home and have it play any track that you own to create your personal music haven. In home, you can take photos with custom camera angles or templates. Photos taken can be saved to your device or home album to record your unique home memories. We have also added a messenger feature in home. You can release a messenger from your home and also receive the messengers of others to interact with players from around the world. At the same time, you can visit the homes of other players and enjoy features such as leaving messages, sending popularity gifts, collecting home coins, and other social features. Explore the infinite possibilities of home And welcome back here to the PUBG Mobile Challengers League Southeast Asia Spring of 2024. My name is Kuku TV, together with the one and only Sir Cloud. And we are back for three more action or three more action packed maps. We have one more Erangel and two more of Miramars. And we've seen uh, Myth Clan, we've seen uh, Ostja, and now we've seen MFG get their own winner, winner chicken dinner. Will it be the time? for the PH region to get their own in the last three maps to come. Oh, yes, that is actually a good point there. So far, we got it from Cambodia, from Myanmar, and for Myth Clan, uh, from Cambodia as well. So yeah, Philippines, and also the Singapore region. Get one for themselves today. But anyway, this will be the groups that will be playing in the following round, A, B, C, and E. So Group D, the team that just caught the chicken dinner, MFG Esports, will be waiting on the sidelines. See you soon, X Tiger KE will be taking a break as well. Same goes for Time to Quick Esports and AI Esports. Other than that, we still have the big boys here, Austria Esports, Harami Bros among the names. Yeah, and we also have Genesis Esports as well and uh, Playbook Esports, who will still be playing 
for groups A, B, C, and E. Uh, one thing also to note on uh, this group that we have right now, all PH teams will be playing compared to the first uh, three maps uh, that we just had. We're in uh, some of the few uh, PH teams did not play all together. So all seven teams from the, the PH squads, I'm, re I'm really rooting from the PH uh, region to get their own winner winner chicken dinner. Also rooting for uh, e either Flash Vision or APG Esports to get their own. Uh, I think uh, Arame Bro will try to bounce back, uh, especially that uh, they had a really good position up north. It's just that when they uh, crashed into the area where uh, TTQ was at, uh, they basically crashed and burned. They ba they basically just got eliminated really quick after they uh, they crashed their vehicle onto the the buildings of where uh, TTQ was at. Yeah, they went straight into the middle. And they took that house across the lighthouse and TTQ was prepared for it. But uh, normally in that kind of circle with that sort of timing, it's very likely that someone's at the compound. So I guess they were just, you know, just just trying, just trying, right? Like just go in the middle, don't think too much. It's just like how you guys shouldn't think too much when it comes to getting this Bentley collaboration. You can transform either your UAZ, your Dacia, Coop RB, or even your Mirado into one of these gorgeous looking Bentleys. Yeah, and the four exquisite Bentley models are now available in game, covering a wide range of vehicle types. Indulge in luxury of choice and find your perfect match with Bentley in the game. Uh, and when you talk about uh, crashing and burning, uh, well, why would you crash and burn one of these beautiful cars, right, Sir Cloud? Oh yeah, it is so beautiful that uh, you would definitely want to take care of it like your second or maybe with your first wife. I mean, depends on how you see it <laughs> or depends on how you want to declare it in case, you know, um, you get kicked out of the house or something. But it is a gorgeous piece of vehicle here. Not gonna lie. I wish I had one in real life, but if I can't, oh. well, the opportunity is to get one inside the game. But speaking of opportunities, it is still up and running. The new RPA6 is available right now. Yeah, and the new RPA6 is available from March 17th to May 17th with a total RP perks worth over 80,000 UC and up to 720 UC rebates. Purchase Elite Pass Plus to immediately get an exclusive avatar frame and exclusive victory dance for RPA6, which is a special 6th anniversary version and no upgrade required. I actually saw another dance, uh, I think it was two days ago, from another uh, KOL from uh, the Philippines, uh, from uh, Kentot Gaming. Uh, and uh, that was a funny dance that he just did. Uh, you can check out check out all of the all of these dances on all of our uh, KOLs for uh, for PUBG Mobile Philippines. Also, uh, Sir Cloud, uh, one of the the cutest one would be for Bella Joyce if you know her. Oh, I want to cute in what way? But I guess we'll leave <laughs> that story for later. But yes, yes, yes. That that just shows that how much value you can get out of the RP, right? Like you get so many things. You get all those different dances. You get the skins. You get the uh, broadcast message. I mean, there's just so much value to the RP. And just like how much value these teams are bringing to the tournament at this point. So much happened. Uh, all types of gameplays. Uh, you got the nades. You got the runovers. You got the long range, short range uh, shots. Everything is in this. This PMCL is one of the best so far that we have seen. Yeah, you're right. And one thing that I want to add to PMCL right now uh, is the use of AKM. I noticed this on uh, the recent grand finals of uh, PMSL. A lot of players are using the AKM. Uh, that 762 gun. Uh, really damages uh, a lot of uh, the HP of, uh, of uh, your opponent. So if you are able to, you know, control that recoil, maybe uh, you can definitely be like Rosemary or be like Yummy. You know what I mean? Uh, these are like the top tier level of players that I'm talking about. But right now we're we're down to just the the last minute here. So this means that the players are all in the spawn island, ready to fly away to the land. The OG map is what we call it. The OG map of Erangel. This is where we actually all, we were all born together when we first played PUBG. Yeah, yeah it's the first map that you play when you start the game. If you have not touched Erangel for whatever reason, you probably haven't played <laughs> the game at all. So this is your chance to 
enjoy the game just like how these players enjoy themselves and they give us a good showing in this tournament but uh, if I were to recap again as well uh, so so far today out of the uh, three maps that we have played the two maps chicken dinner was taken by a, one of the top three teams yesterday out of the six maps five of them were taken by the top three teams so are we on the way to having the same record again well, let's see and find out. Sir Cloud might might as well be. It will be uh, Harame Bro, Playbook Esports, Genesis Esports. Who knows? But we're now gonna come in and fly in to match number four. This is actually the last map of Erangel all throughout the league as we get closer to the grand finals next week. But now let's see how the flight path will go in this game as we now move closer here. At school, or actually not move closer, but move far away uh, from school. Now, there we go. The uh, flight path comes from the northern side, from Zarki, just right on the northern side of North George Pole, right straight down to Subsnovka military base. I'm kind of thinking of the, the circle going onto uh, the Milta Power area. What do you think, Sir Cloud? Ooh, I, on, I personally am a fan of military base circles. I'm an evil guy that way. But if it tucks itself to the corner, uh, just by by Milta Power and maybe even further to that corner, that will be something that I won't be complaining of. <laughs> right. Well, let's see and find out where the circle will actually pop out. But uh, this time around, since then, that we don't have MFG, see you soon. Time to quicken AI. Uh, that means that we won't probably see like early engagement because uh, if you remember from uh, the past uh, few games that we had. Uh, we had uh, AI, and then we have CU soon uh, going at it in the early stages. But look at this. We have Ostia and uh, SCE. Most likely SCE will oh. most likely go to uh, to Novo, and there you go. This is what I asked for, Sir Cloud. Ask, ask for it, and I'll try to receive it. Wow. Cuckoo TV, the profit circle. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very interesting. <laughs> Although the chances are kind of low, but as long as the area is within the first circle, it, anything can happen. It could still go there. Uh, and if it does, then, well, we're going to enjoy it. But I don't think the players will enjoy that kind of circle that much. Right, because uh, the flight pad is going uh, from the uh, left side part of the map. Uh, this means that uh, the only ones who are be will be happy with this one will be uh, teams who will be dropping around shelter, prison, mansion, Lipovka, or even in the Milta Power area, which is uh, 214 Akira is one of those teams. Uh, you know what, Sir Cloud, I just want to share you this. Uh, when me and Aya were casting the, the PH broadcast in the first two weeks, we were like doing a prediction of where the circle will go. Ooh. And that's probably why I was able to predict where the circle will go for this one. Wow, you have, him, you have uh, two weeks of uh, hit start practice. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. We're, we're playing that game with the viewers as well. Like uh, we were like, comment down below where the circle will go. <laughs> that That's a good way to fish out engagement. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but between you and Aya, who's the better guesser? The viewers. The viewers? <laughs> wow. We're, I mean, we were that, not good with predicting it. I mean, that's like a thousand people over the two of you, right? So the odds are stacked up <laughs> against. So to be fair. Yeah, to be fair. But there were times that Aya would, you know, predict the circle. But uh, I learned from the first two weeks, and that's why I was able to at least get uh, this circle for now. Uh, you can see God7 here at Severny. I remember this place a lot of times because if you remember, way back in 2021, I was an analyst for Blacklist International. This is oh, where yeah. we dropped. Oh, yeah, yes. I remember now. I remember now. Yeah, so tell me more about that later. Ooh. As we uh, look at our first uh, blood in this game, so Renzo will pick that up, and it's Papa J. Um, unfortunate again for Flash Vision Esports. I I genuinely want to see them score that chicken dinner before the league ends, but if they keep getting eliminated or at least one or two plays eliminated this early, it's always hard. Right, right, and you know what? There was a bet that was made by a viewer. On the PH broadcast, if Flash Vision wins, he will do something. I, I got the receipt. Oh, so wow. If Flash Vision will you know, try at least for the last day of the league, then maybe that guy will do that uh, thing that he uh, promised. I, I can't remember what was that uh, promise that he was saying. 
but uh, but it was uh, an exciting one because a lot of viewers were like commenting down below uh, on that comment where and if the 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 team wins, Black Vision wins, we'll do something about it. But ooh, oh, baby Harry gets the spray down on Shakir, but oh oh no, is gonna be it for Shakir? Got spotted and got trapped. In that one side of that uh, tree, mm. there we go. Last version now down to two. Okay, I just want to be clear, right? When you say win, means winning a chicken dinner or win the entire league or what's the no, win? the right? chicken dinner. Chicken dinner, okay, okay. All right. Um, so I'm rooting now, double, triple rooting for Flash Vision to score that chicken dinner. Come on. I don't know what the challenge is, but whatever it is, I'm interested to find out. Yeah, I will post it if it happens, but if oh. not... I won't. <laughs> so, sounds like it's not safe for work. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, you can say that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So check out the social media of Kuku TV, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to find out what that challenge if, is. If Flash Vision wins. <laughs> Okay, but we're still curious to find out though. So you guys check oh, okay. out Kuku TV and give him a follow at the same time. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. <laughs> also, give a, give a follow to uh, Sir Cloud and also to PUBG Mobile. Uh, Philippines Bay, together with PUBG Mobile, Philippines Esports. Since I'm from the Philippines region, by the way, uh, we have uh, Playbook Esports now looking at Fearless Esports. And this is what's always been happening to Fearless. When they go into engagement, when they try to be aggressive, someone else will, will be the party pooper and will try to, you know, box in Fearless and they get eliminated early in the game. Mm, yeah, but uh, speaking about early elimination, it could be for one member of FRL, but they're fighting back. Okay, 1v1 now, Renza, Molly, or oh, this will force Ryman to move. Oh, but the Molly, a little bit too close, but it doesn't matter. Renza still got it. And this is what I'm talking about, the AKM being utilized by Renza. Uh, that's one thing I noticed from the PMSL guys over there. They use a lot of uh, the AKMs. I mean, they use the usual, which is uh, DBS, S12Ks, UMP, and uh, the M4. But those high-ranked teams like uh, Alter Ego and uh, Boom Esports, and sometimes Geek Fam, they try to use uh, AKMs. Mm. I'm not sure if it's kind of like a secret meta, Sir Cloud. Mm, probably of the because of the damage output, right? right. But uh, of course, the trade-off is. If there's always high damage, there's always higher recoil. But the fight between a PBE and FRL is not over yet. As we can see here, one of the members of PBE tries to land that shot. He only needs to land one shot, but not able to. So that opportunity drove past by. Unfortunately, that was Michi from top of that hill. And Michi was one of those uh, West Point Mamba guys who actually got... Uh, he even got like a much higher kill count. Uh, compared to Federalis at one point in the previous PM DLC log card. But right now you can see Michi still chasing uh, players from uh, Fearless Esports. But Ranzer got now a rich here in the hill. Oh, oh. He use, there we go. Almost knocking down Michi. Michi, good thing he was able to get out of the way. Ooh. And we'll be able to get some cover and we'll go for the heal. And now this is going to be the backup now coming from uh, Playbook Esports on the minimap. Uh, I believe this is going to be uh, Jarrell or someone else. From Playbook Esports. It's actually Monboy who is very low on HP. He's trying to heal up as well. Same goes with Michi. I'm not sure if they are on low med count already. Mm. Which is, uh, you can see Ranzer just using all of those uh, bandages. Uh, we call it uh, in the Philippines the wet wipes. They just. The uh, what? Uh, the, what? <laughs> <laughs> the wet wipes? Yeah, we, we call it the wet wipes, the bandages. Oh, okay. Isn't that what you use for babies? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm they just wipe away new. the blood. <laughs> they wipe away the damage from all of those bullets. But now Jarrell goes for the cook of the nade. Kobe on to Ranzer. Will it connect? No. He actually overthrows the nade. But he's actually surrounded by PBE now. Oh man, this fight is going to end in the blue. Michi, look at him. That's not even the first aid. It's Jarrell from the high ground. We'll land the final blow and fail us esports. Eliminated number 16, but he got a couple of points out of this fight. But will Jarrell be able to survive this? Okay, three first aids. He can share it with Mon Boy. That's fine. But the circle is very far away. Yeah, yeah. And this is stage number two now, going to stage three in just 10 more seconds left. So 
a lot of meds that needs to be uh, used up here for playbook esports. And by the time that they get in uh, to the circle, they might be gatekept by the teams already that is already situated in their own positions inside the zone. But look at uh, Fed uh, Federalis here for Harami Bro, and uh, the guys from Harami Bro are now able to get a spot here at shelter. God Seven will be at the other side of that shelter area. And look at the minimap. Uh, a lot of teams now in this area of shelter. So they really can't move at all. I mean, they can try to get inside uh, this uh, shelter area, but it's really dangerous inside. Oh, but it's dangerous now for 762 because the Nygma has arrived. We can see the movement here from Scotty. So he's coming to back up his teammate. But he has to make it quick because right now, Cavs! Oh, Ooh, what a defensive nade! That was a friendly nade, Sir Cloud. Unfortunately for... Oh. Uh, Enigma. Now it's going to be STP. The vector will oh, be oh, used. The oh, first oh, that. oh, unfortunately, that's not much any bullets left for that vector. Koopa very low on HP. Miner able to get Koopa down. And it's going to be newbie for STE versus QB. Two of the OGs in the PH scene of PUBGM now going at it at this very house. The nade now going to be thrown out to newbie. QB won't be able to get Newbie down, but Newbie will just wait on the second floor with the S1897. Yeah, they're actually uh, fighting in two different houses at the same time. Now Newbie second floor, QB, oh, smartly close the door just in time. He will be able to evade that nade, but now the door open to the Ooh. right. One shot in the face by Newbie to take out Enigma, and Enigma, no points for them in this round. Enigma, unfortunately, they weren't able to eliminate Stranger Seasports. And look, look at look at the, the trade. There's no trade at all for Enigma. All four members of Stranger Seasports are left standing. And Miner getting the two eliminations. So, again, Miner is the difference maker, in my opinion. He's the difference maker for Stranger Seasports. Uh, and this is the first time he played in this very level, Sir Cloud. Wow. And uh, uh, very impressive, if you ask me immediately showing what he's able to do and you know sometimes these players in this season if they continue to perform like that who knows they'll be picked up by another team next season i'm sure that's not what his teammates want to hear but <laughs> yeah uh it is what it is it is what it is well i'm pretty sure newbie will make sure that he will gatekeep anyone uh to get his uh you know comrade minor from going into another <laughs> team <laughs> i know newbie New newbie will most likely uh, keep his uh, his brothers. But anyways, on the eastern side, though, Sir Cloud, there's going to be two teams going at it. We have Genesis Esports and 214 Akira. And 214 Akira came from Milta Power now on the eastern side, right at the edge. And oh. Umer not gets the nade onto H2R. Wow, that's a long race there. But the counter came from 2Pro to knock him down. He's not out just yet. His teammates will need to come and follow up quickly. Rankit has arrived, but oh, wait a second, Rankit is still trying to navigate through the smoke, getting himself into the circle. But is he going to continue on the fight? He definitely will. They don't want to let go H2R yet. Right now, let's see and find out. Smile will put up some smokes. Now, 2-1-4 up here will go for the push. Smile, ooh, gets one down. Can he get second one? This Smile! Rankin will actually be taken down, and now Wako cannot really help out his teammates, even though he has that DMR weapon mini 14 not really effective as of this very moment too many ridges too many covers for Genesis Esports oh 2 one for Akira fighting back but they only have Wako now and he's still going in for it okay yes looks like he will he wants to take the flank or is he getting away okay he will go for the survive instead yeah they're maybe fighting in the comms right now like uh, Ratchet would say hey Come right at us, and then Wako would just say, ah, "Never mind. I'll just have to go inside and just survive for another day." Uh, I mean, uh, like placement points is is there, but it's not the same as the one we had before, Sir Cloud. We're in. Uh, if you get like top number two, you will get like around sixteen oh. or something like that, right? It's much lower uh, compared to the uh, the previous point system that we have now. So I would I would definitely agree with Rankid if if I were the if I were the, the coach or analyst of the, the team, I'll just say like, hey, just push in. Why not? Maybe you can clutch it, right? Yeah, and it will make a good highlight. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. And post but... it on your TikTok. Oh, 
bam, you got it absolutely right. I haven't time though, but you know, maybe after all this is done, I'll catch up again. And just like some of these teams wanting to catch up on the points, and look who got the circle! Harami Bros! Yeah, and also Ostia, who has a really good compound to use on, and that's outside. And they can most likely gatekeep uh, PVE and uh, Strangers. Uh, who's on the bottom side of the circle. Up in the north, there's just too many teams right now, Sir Cloud. Look at that. It's just colorful on the northern side. Uh, most likely TQ will be the first one to get in on the uh, northwestern side now. On the uh, left-hand side. Oh! Flash mission flying high! Oh! Did, did you see that? Oh, man. But they got away, they got away with it, they got... This is actually the second time we saw a flying car by Flash Vision. I'm pretty sure somebody oh, no. needs to get their license checked, but oh, smoked up vehicle, they have to abandon ship, Captain! And good thing they were able to abandon that uh, Murado. But that was so high of, uh, of an elevation that they did there with that Murado. I mean, Murado is one of the fastest cars here in PUBGN, but... Uh, that was really dangerous, is what they did there. The, the last two players of Flash Fish and Esports, and I'll still go back to that what if, what if they win a winner, winner, chicken dinner uh, tonight. <laughs> there's still a possibility, there's still two Mirror Mars map left, and then we, we still have this map, where, which is they're still with two players remaining. Yeah, never say never, they say. But uh, for Playbook Esports, oh, Michi went down to Austria Esports, but uh, he's still not out yet. Nope. Spoke too soon. Astro X will secure that point. But we have Fred Esports now. We have more on screen. And more! He shot from the side and splat! Onto the ground! Immediately taken now! And he was just too far away from his teammates, Sir Cloud. And Dread will not be able to defend him or maybe support him with whatever he's doing there. So unfortunately for Dread, they're now going to be down to only three players remaining. Now let's look at the farm area. We're in uh, PBE. Uh... Fortunately, he was able to get at least two players in uh, this uh, circle. But then again, Ostia, again, one of the, the, the teams that are really so aggressive by the time at the uh, late game. And we're almost there, which is on the fifth stage of our circle with just one minute left before we close it out. Astro X just looking at that distance. Mon Boy just uh, not really pulling that trigger. He could... Uh, you can you can easily just knock down Astro X earlier on when he actually went out of the the warehouse, right? Yeah, there was that opportunity, but I don't know. Maybe uh, because they don't have uh, everyone on their side, so that's why they are playing a little bit safe. But for Exquisite, they're not really playing safe. They're scouting, gathering information, and uh, deciding on their next uh, move. And that move could be the fight. Here against the corner, who has the high ground. But look at the minimap, Cuckoo! Yangun Galacticos has arrived! Yeah, here comes a new challenger. It's gonna be Yangun Galacticos going at the backside of Exquisite. But again! With the ram of that vehicle, Exquisite is was able to take down two. Or take down one for Yangun Galacticos. And WTZ is currently down as well. Say Cloud. Sir Cloud, what do you think of your uh, kid here? We call it your kid. Oh. Say Cloud. Oh, hello, my child. My child <laughs> needs first aids and he does not. Daddy doesn't have any. So, see you later, my child, in the next game. Well, that's what we call him in the, in the <laughs> game. But, anyways, we now have Fern pushing in. This is the time for TQ to push in because they see on the kill feed that there were some few players of Exquisite who got knocked down, and there you go, Nathan. Gets the headshot on the burn. Nice defense there being shown by Nathan. Now we'll go for the heal up. And then the top will get closer to him. And we'll put more smokes for him to get covered. Oh man, this fight is going to be insane now. 10 more seconds until the zone starts to close. The top has literally the top to play with. Right now his teammate is down. Nathan, waiting for the right moment. Tosses the nail onto the other side. Will his nade land? Blanks! Tosses his own nade as well. Ooh. Everyone's just raining out to each other for Blanks! That was a close one. Down to 40% health. Another, another nade one. onto him. Gonna get away! Blanks! <gasps> he raided it just in time. Oh my goodness. That was so nerve wracking. For the side, all of exquisite. But then you can see the top able to spot Nathan. Gets the damage done. But again, the circle has shifted already away from this area. We're now down to stage number five. 
And Blanks has an aid, throws onto the side of TQ, explodes just right beside Fern. They will not take any damage for now. Again, they will have to focus on the circle now and at the same time focus at the, the backside we're in. Uh, you can see that uh, Exquisite Esports is not getting inside right away. They're just holding their ground there. Blanks gets taken down by the top now. Nathan tries to get a trade, but he wasn't able to actually get that knockdown. And now it's going to be Yue to get a with Nathan. It's a 4v2 situation. They have ma man disadvantage here, Sir Cloud. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta be careful of the other teams around them as well. Flash vision behind. God of Death 7, somewhere else. Eliminator number 11 and 3 elimination points. But for the quarter, they're still not gonna let this one go. Instead, they are going in for it. But the top contingency plan moves into the inner part of the circle. And uh, as we say that, uh, APG Esports is now gone. We're now down to 9 teams remaining. We are in stage number 5. This is kind of different compared to the uh, two other Erangel maps that we had, Sir Cloud, because if you remember earlier, we were like down to six and down to seven. Kind of really hard uh, to see the, the players with all of these type of ridges and hillsides. And now you can see now that the, the knockdowns are happening onto the side of Exquisite Esports, though we have played with Esports now is eliminated. If you're looking at the screen right now, it is STE gatekeeping Ostja and Harami Bro joining in the party. Wow, Harami Bros. Has a good vision onto Ostia Esports with Astro X now down on his knees. 762 right in the cross now, MM, but that tree is just not helping him. But Skadi is currently down, Miner is together with him. The pickup might happen anytime soon. But in the meantime, MM tries to puncture the vehicle. Yeah, disabling that 2 bar B will not be able to be used anymore by uh, 762. Now the, the circle actually uh, focuses on Arame Bro. There we go. Ooh. The shift happens and they got the circle. Yeah, they can actually gatekeep with this fortress. This is the best situation for them. The best moment for them to pick up elimination points. But speaking about elimination points, newbie is down. Flash the vision. Mios is down as well. Flash vision in action. Flash vision still alive with two. You can see there the knockdowns coming from Jebna of Dread. Now 762, I think uh, he has enough smoke for him to like run away from this area. Seven smokes. Can make a line of smoke now. Ooh, but explosion happened. Uh, and he gets knocked down and he will get eaten alive by the blue zone as well. And now with seven seconds left, there's gonna be no way for him to be revived. But wait, wait, hurry up. Oh, really oh, oh. Right here for Flash Vision, but the push is now real for Ostja. They're now putting in the pressure for Stranger C Sports. And then the nade will be coming from the side of SCE. Miner throws in that nade. Scotty still knocked down. Oh, Red Bull Miner now to the left, to the left. And Miner not spotted yet by Red Bull. Red Bull. Just spraying in. Oh. Random spot. Oh, Red and Miner Bull. Miner gets the knockdown. Oh. Looks like this could be a comeback here, but he has to fight oh. against Skyden and Skyden. The gold medalist for Cambodia will not lose the fight. I call him the golden boy, but we have now Flash Mission Esports TQ eliminates one. It's going to be just Eras for the side of Flash Vision Esports from Singapore as Dread gets eliminated and Eras gets some eliminations there for Flash. Let's see if Flash can get inside now, as uh, this is the best thing that he can do here, to get onto the left-hand side instead of going up on that hill. And then uh, Flash Vision can, you know, still be alive here, just make sure that they're quiet and try to poison them from behind while, you can see on the minimap, oh. Genesis Esports is now planning to get inside the circle. Oh, look at this, this nade, this nade. If he lands out to save, that could be his opening, but he kept the nade like, back. Uh, the save, he probably heard the pin. Oh, he's looking towards the direction. He has a clue that someone's down there, but no clear shot yet. At the same time, look at the elimination fee. Looks like Harami Bros in action with Ostia Esports. Whoop! And he actually spots now Eras, I, I think. And uh, the nade now being cooked as Ostia Red Bull goes down. This is Harami Bro. Uh, like what you said, uh, they can hold on to this fort. Oh, nade coming from range knocks down. Astro oh. at the finish coming from the Filipino Terminator. Federalis completes the elimination onto Ostia Esports. Not gonna lie, I'm a big fan of Federalis. And he's showing why he deserves the support of the fans. Right now, 
Federal is still holding it strongly in this compound. As long as they still have the circle, this will be their fortress. But now a lot of the other teams currently in the circle. We might need to wait for the next phase of the circle for us to see more action. Right now we're down to three. Flash Vision left with one. It's a 4v4v1 situation. Uh, looking at the uh, circle though, it will change in one second more. There you go. It will actually benefit uh, Harami Bro. Oh. Harami Bro has uh, the edge of that uh, circle. Uh, it, it, it is where the blue zone is the, 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 the slowest when it actually closes. So uh, Genesis Esports, I mean, there's one player who is inside. I'm not sure who it is. I, I think it's uh, Smile, who is right inside that zone and now being yep. uh, accompanied by his teammate. So it's a duo split is what they're doing right now. They need to be careful on this one. They must be smart with their decisions. As you can now see, Smile was going to pop up some smokes, trying to defend himself onto that side where uh, Eraz from Flash Vision is currently at. Ah, but it's just too bad for Eraz. He does not have the circle at all. And he needs to come down from that hill. The moment he does that, he would expose himself to Genesis Esports. And I think Smile has somewhat of a clue that he's there. So he's keeping an eye on that high ground. Uh, I don't know how long more can Eros last now. Well, Smile using the buggy for much better vision here. Really, really smart player from uh, Genesis City Sports. I think Genesis... Ooh, actually now Dale spots Eras. Now Eras will most likely die there. There we go. MM gets that final kill onto Flash Vision. It is now a 4v4. The rivalry, Sir Cloud, is happening Ooh, now. This is it. The two teams that can potentially overtake each other. Right now, it's going to go down to the wire. Genesis Esports with 12 eliminations. Looking strong this time, but Harami Bros with the Fortress got themselves 7 eliminations and they took out one of the top teams, Ocha Esports. And right now, the rooftop boys. We have uh, Harami Bro. Federalis looking on both sides. I think he must focus only on one, because he's on, he's on the left hand side of the 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 compound there, or the right side rather. And the the, the split coming from Genesis Esports is uh, very very smart here. As you can see, West now just right behind that rock. Top same goes with him on this side. Um, if if stage eight, if this circle would go to Harami Bro, then Harami Bro would win it. But if not. It might go to Genesis Esports, and Ooh. there we go. This is bad for Harami, bro. Yeah, they have to come out of the compound. At Genesis Esports, they have a spread. So they can shoot from different angles. That's going to be the difficult thing for Har Harami, bros. Right, and you can see as well, Federalis looking at the backside. Most likely, Federalis will try to at least use the clock here. 26 seconds left to go. Uh, range and uh, I think uh, Dale and MM will be the ones to get inside first, and then there's two players right above the the roof, uh, which will be uh, Range and uh, Federales. But look look at what uh, Dale is doing. He's trying to get on, on top of that uh, dog shack, and looks like he cannot do anything right now. And looks like Dale is inside the circle. I think right. Yeah, it looks like it, and that's probably the furthest that he can go. Or the closest they can go to be in the circle. As we can see a GE, okay, Ichi opening up the flank. All he needs is Harame Bros to move a little bit forward and he'll get a good clear shot. Okay, there you go. Harame Bros, they do still have the smoke to cover the tracks, but for how long? The smoke will dissipate itself soon. For how long? That's the question. As the smokes now are just popping out from the side of Harame Bros. This is what they need. They need all of the smokes. They need all of the covers as, as many as possible here in this final moments of this game number four for week number three, day number five. Let's see. Dale already got into the uh, the mission that he had earlier. Looks like we're going to see two of them on, on top of this. And they have much better vantage point compared mm. to Genesis Esports right now. Yeah, I'm surprised they could still find that little space to play with this compound, to play with that rooftop. But surely, the next stage, this is where the circle will close entirely. The blue will be on top of the first as MM went down to Ichi. That is one down, three more to go. Information gameplay now coming from Genesis Esports now. Nice smoke there, thrown by Federalis. Ooh, with the knockdown. 
And then now we're down to a 3v3 situation, Sir Cloud. Who will win this rivalry? Genesis Esports versus Harare Bro. Nades are going to be thrown out from both sides. But Federalis will go down in our range. And actually, MM is going to get revived by Dale. While range will just try to pack all of the nades coming from Genesis oh. Esports. It's kind of like a mini red oh. zone right now. Oh man, this is insane right now. Rage made a whole lot of it because his teammates are back up. He has to hold the line for MM. MM has Ooh. revived, but Rage went down. Ooh. Now he's there for the trigger to back to West. West on his knees. Now down to the 2v2, ladies and gentlemen. Now he has Spal in front, but Dale in front. MM has to support the nade. Launch onto Dale. Dale has to be careful. The nade onto Dale. Dale is super low right now. Dale coming out with his nade. And now he's in front, but it's going to be murdered. 1v1, Murnan, he has no space. Is he gonna go in for it? He's out in the open right now. And then throws it down, and then now Trey Chance. Oh. And who got the ticket there? Who got it? Genesis. It is Genesis Esports. Genesis gets the win in that rivalry matchup between them and Harame Bro. What a way to end that match number four, Sir Cloud. It goes down to two to 3v3, down to 2v2, then to 1v1. Amazing. Man, that was the best chicken dinner for arguably this week. Arguably this week. But uh, wow, like what you say, right? The trade was like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And at some point, I thought to myself that, oh, Harami Bros, they have to leave the compound. They don't have space anymore. They'll be out in an open. But no, they somehow managed to find space. They somehow managed to find that tree in front of them. And uh, and uh, they, they use a vehicle as a barricade as well. So great work there by Harami Bros to last that long and put up a good fight against the Genesis Esports. But it, man, honestly, it could have been anyone's game. Yeah, it could anybody. It could be anybody's game in that uh, moment. But uh, again, it was just a clutch moment coming from Genesis Esports. As we look into the highlights here, we're in uh, SCE obliterated Enigma, and then two one four Akira. Even though that they got numbers advantage, Genesis Esports was able to sustain every single one of them. And then this was when Eras tries to get. To the circle and was able to survive first before the quarter actually uh, survived for the third spot and then here's the final moments we're in they spotted eras and it's a 4v4 situation it's just that haramimbo probably didn't have uh so many smokes left in my opinion because uh, they needed so many smokes in this type of situation we're in uh, there's not many much of any cover that they can have Oh man, MVP this time. Smile from Genesis Esports. Seven eliminations, 1,268 damage by himself. Five knockouts, two assists, and only 99 heals. So he uh, roughly only used one first aid throughout the entire match. Wow. This guy is super duper consistent. I personally give him the award for the 2023 Clutch of the Year during wow. the PMSL. And he's still showing that he can still perform. Yeah, and this was a clutch moment as well versus uh, their their rival in the, the top number one for the league rankings, which is Arame Bro. And uh, Arame Bro, unfortunately, not able to get that winner, winner, chicken. Th that's that's actually big if Arame Bro would be able to get that winner, winner, chicken dinner, Surf Cloud, because that would make them closer uh, to the overall rankings for this week. Uh, to uh, Genesis Esports, and that would leave them to just like probably one game behind uh, Genesis Esports. Now, with the stats overall for the team, 16 eliminations, so that's a total of 26 points is what they got here. Wow, three uh, 3,390 total damage, 12 knockouts, five assists, 483 heals with 2849 survival time. This was a banger of a of a matchup. Uh, Sir Cloud, I would love to see another one coming from these two teams. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But now this makes me wonder, right? With the uh, chicken dinner that Genesis Esports got, like how close are they with the number one? Like how close are they with Austria Esports? Uh, the last time before we went on to the break, we didn't get to see the overall 
numbers it was not shown to us so i don't know is that deliberately not shown to us or <laughs> how but whatever it is now the question is have they done enough to overtake austria esports but before we put maybe get onto that later we check out the overall stats from this round all right we have uh, 59 total eliminations 64 knockouts 9637 heals 19 total revives 324 throws used 372 kilometers of drive distance, 359 meters of longest distance elimination, 16 headshots, 2849 survival time, and four airdrops looted. A lot of level 3 vests and helmets were cracked for this game, Sir Cloud. Mm. Uh, that's a lot uh, for, for this game, uh, even more than uh, what we had before. I think it was only two, uh, mm. if I'm not mistaken, for the airdrops looted. Uh, for the previous game but this is the final Erangel map that we're going to be seeing because we're going to be switching our gears towards the hottest biggest map in the PUBG mobile competitive scene right now it is going to be Miramar oh yeah we're going to switch things up for the final two games but before we go there we check out the current standings from this round and a GE with 26 points at number one we knew about that earlier Harame Bros 15 points but look at this this is one of the if not the most points collected by flash vision in a single round great wow. job great job for flash vision esports and uh like again like what i mentioned i'm still rooting for these guys to get a win win at least like one mm -hmm. winner winner chicken dinner probably in the the final two matches i'm not really sure if they're going to be playing on both uh last two matches but uh, hopefully we'll see them and one of those uh, highlights where they get that winner, winner, chicken dinner. But looking at uh, 214 Akira, APG, and uh, Enigma, they weren't able to get any on this game. One thing that I uh, would note on this one, Sir Cloud, Enigma, one of the invited teams from the PH region, really struggling in this week. Yeah, it feels a bit off for them. But uh, at least for week one, week two, they were pretty okay. So... Um, I guess we'll look forward to their performance in the Grand Finals. But right now, we are shown the overall standings. Austria Esports is still on the throne at number one. 15 points behind them is MFG. And Genesis Esports, who got the chicken dinner, is 26 points as of now from the throne. Uh, but I guess uh, between Genesis Esports... Uh, I guess for Genesis Esports, it's more between them and Harami Bros. Because if they score higher than Harami Bros by the end of today, the overall standings, then they would gain more points as a starting point in the Grand Finals as compared to Harami Bros. Yeah, you're right with that, Sir Cloud. Th that is probably the, the story of this uh, day. And then uh, the same goes with Fearless Esports if they're able to least get as many points as possible but we're down down to only last two games for fearless esports i'm probably sure that they won't be able to you know get as many of those the points that they needed in order for them to get into the grand final so the main story now would be shifted onto whoever takes that number one spot in the league rankings will it be genesis esports or will harami bro get probably at least one out of the two uh, maps here in Miramar with win and win a chicken dinner. Yeah, based on the numbers, I would say that perhaps the next round we will determine it. Unless both teams goes out with without anything, then ah oh man. But yeah, it's st they still need the two rounds. They still need a good two rounds, and they also kind of need a GE to not really perform too. So yeah, there are two factors here that need that needs to be considered now. Of course, they're going to control how GE is going to perform, but what's going to be important is that they need to be able to control how they perform in the next game and they need to do their best and gain as many points as possible. And uh, another thing that we can take note of this, uh, that um, the prize pool, uh, whoever gets the number one spot uh, will have 4,500 USD and then the other one will only get 2,400. So that's a big difference when it comes to the prize pool. But we're going to be right back here, Kuku TV together with Sir Cloud. We'll be right back.
caught in a sandstorm will continuously lose health, so be sure to avoid them. As for firearms, the B90 SMG has received a major revision and will be the first airdrop submachine gun posing a significant threat. The new version of the P90 is available through airdrops, uses unique 5.7mm ammo, has a fast rate of fire, and has very low recoil. It comes with a suppressor and laser sight. The sight can switch between two different magnification levels, but it cannot be equipped with other firearm attachments. Hurry and try out the new P90! Many new maps are coming, including a new blade ball gameplay, where you can now use frying pans to deflect balls back at opponents. New grenade blade balls have been added, so beware of blade balls detonating after the countdown ends. The character switch device has added a new zombie transformation feature. The option to transform into a zombie and infect downed players is now available. When editing as a team, teammates editing the same object is no longer a concern. There are still even more improvements to check out that support your creative freedom. An option to retain the equipment from a match has been added, and the match-wide detectable action management system will help you retain your items and progress for an improved gameplay experience. A new smart generator function has been added that invites players to enter any text, and the game will automatically generate a grouped object according to the prompt. Come over to World of Wonder and write what you'd like to say. Enchantopia will continually be updated, and in these updates, players without creator authorization will be able to enter the progress hub, challenge map creation stages, experience the joys of map creation, and will even have a shot at becoming an authorized creator. In the new version, we are also launching a major feature, the all-new home system. In the home system, players can freely build their dream homes and interact with friends. In Cheer Park, we have also added the home shop and create a space that highlights their personality. Home building mode will also support collaborative editing by up to four players. Have fun building a house with your friends. Gather your friends and start building a home together. That's a wrap for the main 6th anniversary content. Update PUBG Mobile for more exciting content to explore. Winner winner, chicken dinner. See you next time. Hi everyone, in PUBG Mobile version 3.1, we're releasing a new gameplay feature, Home. In this mode, not only can you build your very own dream house, you can also interact and have fun with friends in it. Let's learn more about Home. In the game's World of Wonder page, you will see a newly added Home tab. Here, you can browse and visit your friends' homes, recommended homes, homes on the ranking, enter your own home, or go to the home shop. Furthermore, we have added home door plates to the social lobby. From here, you can enter your home or visit other players' homes. In home mode, the building feature is accessible to all players. Each player gets their own island, where they can use items and furniture of various styles to build their dream house on the island. If you find the building process to be too cumbersome, you can purchase blueprints of ready-made designs that you like to instantly recreate it, and make further adjustments to suit your preferences. The home also supports inviting up to four players to build together. Apart from building a house, there are also lots of things to interact with in home, which provide a more immersive experience. First, we have the home butlers. Players start off with both a male and female butler. Not only can you manage various aspects of the home with these butlers, you can also check the messages received from visitors, as well as assign emotes and outfits for them. Stay tuned for more upcoming features. 
Next, we have the home tree. You can plant a magical home tree in your home, which will earn home coins every day. You can also help your friends collect home coins when you visit their home and earn some extra commission for yourself. Home coins can be used to purchase items for decorating your home. There are all kinds of fun and interesting items available in home. There are also special animations when you interact with the sofa, play various music instruments, or play on the swing with your friends. You can also interact with other items such as the bathtub to create memorable moments. As such, we've specially prepared the photo wall. You can decorate the photo wall with the photos taken in the game, or upload them from your local device to show the most awesome and special side of yourself. If you want to showcase your unique musical taste in home, you can also set exclusive background music for it. You can do so by placing a music player in your home and have it play any track that you own to create your personal music haven. In home, you can take photos with custom camera angles or templates. Photos taken can be saved to your device or home album to record your unique home memories. We have also added a messenger feature in home. You can release a messenger from your home and also receive the messengers of others to interact with players from around the world. At the same time, you can visit the homes of other players and enjoy features such as leaving messages, sending popularity gifts, collecting home coins, and other social features. Explore the infinite possibilities of home In Cheer Park, we have also added the home shop. Here, you can purchase items for your home and participate in the lucky spin to win items for decorating your home. Eager to start building your own home now? Go and complete the various home missions to earn great home rewards. Or complete matches in ranked classic mode for a lucky draw chance for home loot when tallying match results to get more items for your home. That's all for now for the new home gameplay. We'll be releasing more tutorial videos for home soon, so stay tuned. What are you waiting for? Invite your friends now and build your very own home.
And we're done with the Erango maps. Now we'll be moving on to Marama. This is the PUBG Mobile Challenges League Southeast Asia Spring 2024. We're your storytellers. My name is Sir Cloud, together with my copy guard, Kuku. <laughs> and I can't wait to get into a new map because, well, anything can happen. Yeah, anything can happen here in Miramar, especially that the, the randomness of the circle in Miramar will definitely hurt all of those teams who usually goes to the middle of the circle. So sometimes that happens. So that's why, if you notice, Sir Cloud, uh, some of the teams in Miramar would rather focus on the sides instead of the middle but for the meantime let's talk about which teams are playing in this matchup group c will not be playing this means that genesis esports 214 akira fearless esports and god of death 7 will not be playing this means that this is arame bro's chance to win it all and get closer to genesis esports right Yes, though with the gap that they have, they have to bring it back home big. And in the final round, they also have to make it back home, uh, bring it back home big. And also hoping that Genesis Esports uh, do not uh, gain many points. So that is going to be uh, quite a quite a mission here for Harami Bros. But we'll take it step by step. We'll take it step by step. But this round is probably going to be the start of it. But with the also have the other heavy hitters here. Austria Esports has played this round. MFG is also played this round. So it's not going to be an easy feat. But Harami Bros, they are no pushover team. Yeah, they're not a pushover team. Uh, this can also be the, the, the chance for Playbook Esports to bounce back. We haven't seen yet uh, Playbook Esports uh, being in like the final moments of the game uh, in the previous matchups that we had uh, seems like they're focused on getting into the blue, getting into engagements in, outside the circle uh, better to, you know, uh, focus more on getting inside the zone than ra uh, rather than uh, like fighting outside the zone which if you see the, the, the teams who actually survives in the game most they focus first inside the zone to just engage later on. But for the meantime, we have here the newest collaboration of PUBG M X Bentley. The four ex exquisite Bentley models are now available in game, covering a wide range of vehicle types. Indulge in the luxury of choice and find your perfect match with Bentley in the game. So guys, if you're watching uh, the English broadcast right now, if you do have your own Bentley skin already, comment down below and you know might as well we can probably tell uh, shout out your name right yeah tell us which is your favorite out of the nine models that we can see here which is your favorite both of us i think we agree that the the the, the rusty one it, it yeah. looks really really cool but if i were to have a second choice other than the rusty one i kind of like that uh suv looking it does have some uh, some shades by the side uh the one just right behind the the front facing white color uh bentley so if i were All to right. check one out other than the uh, rusty one i'll pick that yeah it has like a shade of green blue and red if yeah I'm mistaken. so yeah my favorite color is green by the way oh so yeah i can also go with that because it has green uh, shade of it but speaking of uh, uh other things to spend in pub g mobile we do have the newest rp a6 available right now this new rp a6 is available from now until may 17th with a total rp perks worth over 80,000 uc and up to 720 uc rebates purchase elite pass plus to immediately get an exclusive avatar frame and an exclusive victory dance for rp a6 which is a special sixth anniversary version and no upgrade required and yes. if Flash Vision wins a winner winner chicken dinner, might as well you can see me and Sir Cloud dance the the new the new special sixth anniversary version dance, right? Oh wow, yes, yes, Flash Vision. Okay. Uh they are going to play the next two games. So I'm just gonna put oh. it out there, right? So there's two more chances for Flash Vision to at least get a chicken dinner this season. So I am just for the narrative's sake and i also want everyone to enjoy getting their poster up there on top of production has made the effort to prepare the assets so <laughs> might as well give them a reason to use it and everyone's happy right right and all of those uh, side bets 
out in the the comment section, especially in the PH broadcast. I know that they're really wanting as well um, Flash Fusion Esports to win. Me as well. I would I would bet myself to you know dance the sixth anniversary dance if Flash Fusion wins. You you'll expect that from me. You know I'll also post the receipt that I uh, <laughs> got earlier. <laughs> yeah, it's it's now locked and loaded on the broadcast. Okay, if they do score that, it's no turning back. Right, you're right with that. But anyways, let's talk about how they can win in Miramar. Um, we've seen uh, Miramar as uh, such a random map where in uh, circles would you know randomly pop up. The shifts are really random as well. Uh, the other thing is that uh, it's very random as well for teams to win uh, in these type of maps. So uh, a lot of chances for all of the uh, the teams who are playing in this match right now. I would say if we're, we get a chance to, you know, predict who can win this one, I would go with Exquisite Esports. They've, they've been really quiet for a while now, in my opinion. Exquisite, uh, I'm pretty sure Lufa Boy uh, would probably play in this matchup. I hope so, because uh, he's one of those uh, impact players of Exquisite Esports. Yeah, it's been a while since we last saw them getting a chicken dinner. I believe uh, the last one was like at least week two. So this week they have not scored anyone yet. Um, if I were to have a pick, okay, other than Flash Vision, of course. Okay, Flash Vision is a definite golden up there. Yes, I would want them to get the chicken dinner. But if I were to get a second pick, I'll probably go for uh, Yaku Galacticos because uh, they've been always showing up. It's just that... They haven't been able to wrap things up this week. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of like uh, they focus themselves more on uh, getting those eliminations rather than being inside the zone. Like what the Playbook Esports is doing, and, and that's probably why the the scores of those two teams that we mentioned uh, are kind of like the same. So for uh, Yanger Galacticos and uh, Playbook Esports, maybe you you gotta change the style of your gameplay. Maybe try to be a little bit uh, more passive, like uh, kind of like uh, Stranger Sea Sports is doing. They're kind of like uh, passive at first, and then try to be uh, aggressive by the time stage number five onwards would happen. But right now, ten more seconds to go, and we're gonna fly in to the hottest map in the game, which is gonna be Miramar. And let's see now what will happen here as we fly in now to the map. Oh, we're about to reveal our second last flight path of the league stage, and then. We're going to go on to a final game again inside of Marama. Then everything will be locked in. Who gets what prize pool, uh, starting points in the Grand Finals, everything will be down to this final two games. So we did talk about some of those teams that we want to see do well and also some of the narratives, including Harami Bros. This will be the round that will be critical for Harami Bros if they want to overtake Genesis Esports. Yeah, you're right. And if you look back, the score, if I'm not mistaken, they need only 24 points to get on top of uh, Genesis Esports. And that's a, a big uh, amount of scores to actually uh, to get here in this uh, map of uh, Miramar, which is, uh, I would see Harami Bro sometimes, I would see them sometimes struggling in this very map. So let's see and find out if they have all of their focus in this game in order for, for them to get the number one spot in the league, which is, uh, I already explained before we actually went on break, uh, Sir Cloud, that that's a big amount of money that's going to be uh, cut off from them if they don't get the number one spot in the league. Uh, oh, like, yeah. Uh, from 4,500 down to just uh, 2,400 USD, right? Yeah, that's a difference of 2,000 US dollars. That is. That is huge, that is huge. So that is also a big motivator for the team to do well to the end. Well, let's see if any surprises will come. Uh, I wouldn't mind, honestly, if our army rose calls the chicken dinner with a lot of eliminations just to keep the final round a little bit more interesting. And yeah, look at the circle. It's kind of like uh, uh, if you go in the Philippines, you know, the fish ball, right? The fish ball? Yeah. Uh, have you eaten that in the Philippines? No? Uh, no, I was... Every time I go there, <laughs> the locals always want to feed me balut for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> well, it's uh, one of the, deli the delicacies that we have for like uh, overseas peeps. Mm. You know, if uh, someone would go here from a different country, 
Uh, yep. But uh, one of the sweet foods that we have is called fish ball. So the the flight path earlier, together with the circle, kind of looked like a uh, fish ball. Oh man, sounds like a good midnight snack. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is actually. It's kind of like an all day snack, to be honest. <laughs> oh man, making me hungry now. Just like what Oja Esports is feeling right now, they're feeling hungry for points. They want to make sure they stay away from MFG. Oh, they're gonna make sure that they secure this first point for themselves by taking out Scotty. And uh, that is going to be the start for Oja Esports. And looking over at the uh, summary, Enigma has one player down as well. Yeah, Enigma has been struggling all week long. But uh, looks like they they will be able to get the revive. Uh, looking at Shazam and Koopa. By the way, Shazam is one of those uh, OG players as well for PUBG MPH Pro Scene. Uh, mm. He was uh, like an MVP before. Uh, I don't know if you remember uh, Berserker PH uh, team. Ah, yes. Yeah, it was uh, the team of QB as well. So it's kind of like the same the lineup, but a different, uh, you know, banner, uh, which is Enigma. And uh, looking at them right now, they're able to regroup. They're able to reset. Shazam uh, got damaged, though, with uh, very low HP, like uh, around 40%. Now let's uh, look at Junkyard. Look at uh, the new Junkyard, by the way. Ah, it's not really a Junkyard anymore. <laughs> I, I, I kind of prefer the old Junkyard because it's, yeah. uh, it's a little bit more messy. It's, uh, it takes a little bit more effort to navigate. But uh, just like Jipta, it will take effort for you to take out members of APG. But it was started off with Arctic Boy now on his knees. And that was a really good, uh, you know, wait out for Jibna. Waited at the right time and then able to, you know, back out. APG won't be able to go for the revive and then he gets an M762. Uh, by the way, this this is one of the guns that was buffed because uh, the recoil control for uh, for M762 got better. Ah, so expect it to be a potential weapon of choice as the team start to discover obviously we didn't get to see that during the uh, pmsl grand finals because they were used still using the uh, previous patch right but uh, i guess maybe over time maybe in the grand finals of the pmcl we'll get to see Ooh. that can be used more often once the players discover how to make it efficient for themselves you're right with that uh, same goes with ace 32 those were uh, buff. But right now, Jivna using the, the M762 really well, able to get damage done on two players of APG. But he needs help. Moy right now getting closer to his teammate now than Mills. With the M16 from afar, just single shots onto APG. Meds are being used up for the side of MPG, though they're not able to get those knockdowns. The oh. nade now coming from Moy. Another one will be cooked here. Will it connect? No, it will not. But Meow, Sky Meow rather. Very low in HP, doesn't have any heals anymore. This is the time for them to push now. As I think Lanju is now getting closer, almost getting knocked down. Oh. Ooh, nice. Nice free Sky fire coming from Jibna. And then another knockdown onto Master Rick. So mm. only one more member left for APG Esports. Yep, and that is inside the last man standing. Going up against the entire squad of Dread Esports. It's looking uh, pretty tough here for APG this round. But let's see if we can pull off an insane clutch for us to highlight. Well, he has to do the business first against Dread Esports. Now, they are just below him. They show himself. Inside, we'll get the first knock. Inside, can he get the second one? But it's just too much for him to handle. APG out. APG out. One team from Singapore is out. Uh, by the way, Flash Vision only has three members left oh, remaining. No. And uh, the, A the UAZs of uh, Dread are kind of stuck right now. But uh, this is a bad sign for the Singaporean teams as it uh, looks like they're being targeted by uh, these uh, other squads or regions. And uh, I'm not really sure if they're being targeted because sometimes APG and Flash Vision Esports just goes to, you know, the same dropping points as what the others have, right? Hmm. Yeah, we have seen that uh, time and time again. For some reason, they always uh, bump into teams very, very early. APG, uh, Flash Vision, Flash Vision even more often. So I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what's the uh, the game plan of Flash Vision because that happens uh, one too many times. 
uh, something for them to uh, fix in the next season. How are they going to fix right. it? Maybe like through a coach, uh, through an analyst. I don't know, but some work needs to be done uh, to avoid those uh, very early eliminations. Oh, and uh, there's going to be another elimination there onto Meth Clan. That is Exquisite Esports, able to get one out. In the blue right now is uh, See You Soon Tiger Kill Enemy. Just right at Chumasera. And uh, you can see Exquisite also going for the rotation. Th this is a, a long rotation, by the way, for uh, See You Soon Tiger Kill Enemy because uh, they're at the lower left portion of the map. And then remember, the circle is on the upper right-hand side of the map, so uh, it's going to be a long ways out for them to rotate all the way from the south to the north. Uh, Exquisite already had uh, to uh, rotate all the way now to the inside now of the circle, and I think they found a place to stay now, and maybe we'll try to find a, another place to stay for them to have much more of uh, space in that circle. Ooh, oh, but there we go, Eras! Introduces himself with the UMP, gets Lanju down and out. Nice angle by Eras. And now with that elimination, that will also alert the other members of Dread Esports. They seem to be looking for revenge. So, looks like the defense is going to continue for Flash Vision. Flash Vision. This is a good sign for them. They were able to eliminate one. The thing is, I mean, uh, I know Dread is a very smart team. They may probably not go for the kill here but they will try to challenge this because they know that uh, flash vision is here they, they've seen the name on the kill feed already and now it looks like boy pushes in at the right spot there blind spot for the other members of flash vision esports they cannot really help out for now but eventually they will as Moy now will try to investigate Ooh, as eris goes down because of that name coming mm. from jimna now only one left. That is a rip from the Tiger. He gets a knockdown to the Demios, but not able to secure the elimination just yet. Jipna will come towards him. A nade sent over to Arep. Arep! Oh, that's so much damage onto him. And he has no first aids. No first aids. Just the, the drinks and the painkillers is what he has. And probably some bandages or what we call the wet wipes in the PH broadcast. Ah. But anyways. <laughs> I'm going to uh, call uh, the uh, med kit the diapers after this. If <laughs> we, we call the bandages the, 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 We call the med kit the, la the laptop. The, the what? The laptop? <laughs> oh, man. That has totally nothing to do with healing. <laughs> At least the wet wipes get like, okay, I can wipe the blood off my skin or whatever, but the laptop? Right. We call it the laptop. <laughs> oh, man. In the page broadcast, there's so many things that you can say there. So much Anyhow. Oh, but right now, push oh. is real for Flash Vision. Shakir goes down, but again, Arep tries to go for the kill, though, for, for the finish. But they can't, because Moy is there. Now the throw of the... Oh! Nice shot there from Arep. And now, eliminates Moy in the process. And it's going to be a 1v1 between him and the Mios. And the Mios is actually going for the wet wipes now as save is going for the third party from afar. Oh! There you go, Jibna. Mm. Now eliminates the last member of Flash Vision. Unfortunately, they got <sighs> eliminated. No heroics from Arip this time, but hopefully in the next round, one more game to go for Flash Vision Esports to get a chicken dinner in the PMCL this time. But after the fight is uh, over, now the quarter is interested to follow up. And again, this is really good decision. They know to, uh, to read the kill feed. They, they've probably seen that the... Uh, oh, nice shot there. Jumping shot with a DBS right inside a church or the chapel in Miramar. And now Jibna will just have to pray every single prayer that he knows. Because he's mm. going to go down as Fern eliminates Dread Esports out at 14. Yeah, he had no ut healing utilities. No wet wipes, no laptop. So <laughs> nothing much you can do. Uh, in that sort of situation. But the circle shifted away from the church anyway. So after that fight, they still need to move. Okay, who's in the circle? Hmm. MFG is in it, so that's going to be interesting. Harami Bros as well by the edge. So Harami Bros on the left side of the circle, they'll be able to farm eliminations. Uh, I'm not a fan of the position of Harami Bro. As you can see there on the left hand side, someone got knocked down. I think that was TTQ versus. Um... 
Enigma, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, you can see that the circle is right over there. Uh, a lot of teams will have a hard time, especially on the northern side part of the circle. Uh, there's like a like a downslope hill where Harami Bro is currently at. It's hard to like go upstairs if like there's someone, someone's already there on top. Like look at that, uh, Sir Cloud. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, Harami Bro has that uh, compound right down below there, but if in any case there will be someone over there already on top, oh, they'll have a hard time. Ooh, nice shot there from Koopa. Those burst fire shots from the M16. And then Caps goes for the spray with the S uh, Scar Light. Not gonna hit anybody, but they can actually confirm the kill now. As Caps, ooh, got hit there. So many sprays coming from TQ. And they're still on the outside of the circle. The zone is closing now. Popeyes will get knocked by Edward. And uh, Koopa will get Popeye. Okay, looks like it's a three-way war here. Three different teams in the same area monitoring each other. And now Caps tries to get as close as possible to eliminate the other members of uh, the quarter. Shazam follows up and he is going to lead the charge. Ooh, and the, the nade coming from Caps. Not able to hit the players of TQ using the small shack as cover. Ooh, but the oh. nade actually gets him down. Now it's a two. V2 situation, or 2v1 situation rather, with Enigma having more members still left standing. Koopa now putting up some smokes, and this is in order for him to at least reset and be able to at least revive his teammate Shazam, and the quarter is now done, and that's because of Arami Bro. Yeah, Federellas had to come in, but it's MM that got the elimination point. And Caps are knocked out by Zuki from TTQ. Now we can see Harami Bros, they're making their move up onto the edge of the circle. They want the points for themselves now, and Enigma could be their next target. And yes, they will all in onto them. And uh, again, this is how good they are when going on third parties. They're able to eliminate uh, TQ. They must be careful though, because I think there's someone right behind them. This is, uh, I think, Yangpun Galacticos from behind as uh, Zuki, able to spot QB. From Enigma, Enigma will most likely be able to revive. Ooh, no, I uh, will not say anymore because another member goes down for Enigma and TTQ. They can go for the push here. It is uh, still at stage number four. They can probably still manage that blue zone and maybe pack it. But looks like uh, they are now pushing in, Sir Cloud. The nades are coming in from Zuki. Three nades got thrown out. The revive is happening from Sir Zam. It looks like, will the nade actually hit them? Nope, it will not yet for now. As these nades are just coming in all the way from that side. And then the third party <laughs> comes in from Yangon Galactus and Enigma. Just down to one member left, Shazam. Oh, Ooh, with that explosion, Gus able to finish off Enigma. Yeah, and I can understand why TTQ is so aggressive. And so wanting those points because they can potentially overtake Harami Bros if you look at the numbers. And uh, circle-wise, looks like TTQ, they do not have the circle. Oh man, crossing the road is going to be a problem for them, especially when you have Harami Bros in front. Well, right now, you can see uh, Stranger Seasports also inside that zone. One thing I love about uh, Stranger Seasports, they really know how to predict the circle, even if in Miramar. They're able to. And they're now inside the zone as well as uh, Yangon, Galacticos, Harami Bro, and Myth. And then there's also a team down down below. I think that was uh, 214. Uh, no, not, that's not 214. But it's another team or squad that is right down on the south side of the circle. But right now, MM sprays down TT team. Ooh, almost exploding that vehicle where they're at. And now Edward will oh, join the wow. front. And Edward goes down. Oh, and then whoa. the explosion happens now. Harami Bro just obliterating TTQ right now. Yeah, taking out their closest contenders, but Sizak is there to steal the points away. Waiting for the elimination fee. Federalis gets two. And it uh, looks like even Master Vape got one for himself. My goodness. And as much yeah. as Harami Bros did the work, AIE Sports took a share of it. That is right. That is uh, two, two for two for both uh, teams. And then uh, we have uh, Super Pickles gets the knockdown onto Kaya. But looking at the screen, we have PBE versus MFG. Now the nades are going to be thrown out. Ooh. 
Oh. And, uh, gets some damage done there onto Unknown. That was just a random throw coming from PBE, but now Jarrell gets closer. He spots one there, and now all eyes on exit for PBE. And here we go, Jarrell with his own nade sent across. And exit, like what you said, tries to get close, but the moment he heard that nade, he's shooing, he's, he got shooed back. But it looks like they go with the strategy of playing in the inner part of the circle to try to lock out Playbook Esports. The good news for Playbook Esports is that majority of their players are in the circle. Only one player behind as a support, but it's a matter of time before he joins in. And right now, Harami Bro got one player down. This is Federalis. This is bad for Harami Bro as Master Rape now goes in. And then now sees ooh, with that spray, with that scar L. Not gonna happen any, anymore for Harami Bro. And then there's gonna be two members left for them, Range and Dale. Range now throws in a nade, but there's gonna be a nade coming from AI as well. Eliminated is Yangon Galacticus, and there you go. One member goes down as well for the side of Arame Bro. Sizak, I think he spots Dale down, and looks like mm. all eyes is gonna be on Dale, getting oh. more information, and that's it for Harami Bro. Man, we got the numbers later to see how close they are. But um I think with the numbers, they only got three eliminations after all that action for Harami Bro. So I don't think they'll be able to overtake uh, Genesis Esports. Yeah, unfortunately for the Harami Bro fans out there, I know that you are uh, a lot, of, a lot of commenters here in our broadcast for Harami Bro. They will not be able to get the number one spot in the league rankings. For the meantime, we still have uh, Ostia MFG PVE. STE, SDKE, Exquisite, Myth, and AI. Eight teams remaining, Sir Cloud. We're down to stage number five. Just two minutes and a half left before we go on to stage five. And you can see here PBE also utilizing uh, a Groza, which we, which we seldom really see now uh, in the game or in this tournament. Uh, let's see how he will actually use that for later on. But for now, it's going to be Exquisite Ease Awards. This is actually the team that I was telling you about uh, earlier on i thought it was i thought it was a 214 akira but no it's it is uh, exquisite esports and look at Nathan, it's right on top of the red rocks uh, pbe just uh, controlling uh on the northern side together with ai still a lot of space for all of these teams that's why there's not much of any engagement that is happening but we, we see there an elimination we see you soon coming from exquisite esports and look at the position of Super Pickles. Overlooking See You Soon. And See You Soon. Don't know how they're going to get out of this. They're still on the outside of the circle. Planks. Blind shot into the smoke. But Super Pickles, now he knows exactly where they are. Just putting out another blind shot into the smoke in case he hits anyone there. But uh, not in the sight yet. But uh, the zone will do its work soon. And that's where See You Soon will show himself. I really don't like this circle, Sir Cloud. So many ridges, so many hillsides, a lot of cover for everyone else. But Miner gets vape with that frag grenade and STE. Adding more points in their name with five eliminations already. Ruby goes for the knockdown as well. And this is AI who actually got six eliminations in, in the bag. They can try to go for the push here, Sir Cloud. But they are really careful with their gameplay because PBE might go for the third party. Oh, but look at this. Red Bull, the MVP for Ossia Esports, taken out by Yaka. So now Ossia Esports, they lost one of the key players. Yaka, knocked out by Momboy, Mr. Hot Dog. Miner looking for some of his own, but Ooh. doesn't nail to the other side. He landed it on the trophy. Cooking up the other nade. He sends it across. That nade will not connect, but it's okay. He got the first knock. Now he still has that advantage. Oh, and he's trying to get that nade inside. And there you go. Bam. Tofi goes down and out, and four eliminations are ready for Miner. This is what I'm talking about for Miner. Mm. He's always there. He's fragging out. He's the he, he's the firepower for Stranger Sea Sports as Zizak from behind. Jarrell gets the kill there as the sandwich just happened there between PBE and uh, Stranger Sea Sports. AI is now down and out. Seven teams uh, remaining. In this matchup, we are on stage number five, but we are closing in again in 20 seconds. Well, the number will continue to shrink because we just lost a Super Pickles in this game. 
Eliminated Skynet looking for one of his own. On the other side, Mewtwo gets away behind this hill. Skynet lobs the nade across, but not going to be able to land it. No vision, so he decides to just stay put, stay chill, focus on the loot, and come back later. Well, let's see and find out what's going to happen next as Blanks now cooks up a nade. Will it connect to see you soon? No, it will not for now. And by the way, Blanks doesn't have any helmets anymore. So any any bullet coming to the head of Blanks, that would really hurt a lot. But for now, looks like it's going to be PBE versus Austria now. Uh, the top teams are fighting for position here. Same goes to MFG. MFG only has one player left, and he's just hiding in the middle of the circle. Astro X not really committing himself to get closer to PBE, even though if you look at the, the spot where he is right now, he has more advantage compared to Playbook Esports. Mm, yes, uh, for Playbook Esports right now, they are definitely are quite difficult, not gonna lie. But Austria Esports is the one to try to lock them out. However, Austria Esports, they don't have us against Playbook Esports. Only Astro X and Joey right now are still active and they are being pushed back by Playbook Esports. Astro X holding the line down, but there's two in front of him. He has to win this fight, Michi, hiding behind the vehicle. The Nate sent the cross, but Michi evaded it. Michi, with SOK now, up close and personal, Ostja gets eliminated by Playbook Esports. Mm. Playbook now is dominating with seven elimination points. Well, Playbook Esports looking really good, but now we want to see you soon. Getting a knockdown onto Planks. It's going to be the John as he resets himself. Nathan arrives on this high ground. Three players from SDE in front of him, spraying on the Ooh. newbie, but across, it's 762 providing the cover fire. And STE able to get those kills. Now, see you soon. Now throws in a nade, that's zero. Whoa, Ooh. and that's a beautiful nade coming from a zero. Able to knock down newbie who was just hiding. I think it was right behind that uh, care package, and there we go, the finish, the follow-up needs coming from them, just killing every single one of the players of STE now. STE, Minor is actually to camp on eight. Ooh, he oh. actually went into an accident, oh, no. and then there's going to be a Molotov, and the damage is done. He's burned alive. Miner throws in another one. He does have one more frag grenade left. Can he actually do this? going to be STE. Yes, uh, Shizu versus SDE. No. Spray down after no. spray down, but it's going to be three players all up against him. Where is the other guy? Four strangers, eSports. Where? Yeah. 762 running away, man. I mean, he was playing the support role before, so now he has the responsibility of surviving as long as possible. But the bad news for him is that he don't have the circles, rather far away. Popped up the smoke, and now he will try to make that move. Probably going to come in from the north side in. And 762 for STE. Unfortunately, he will be all alone. Now Got get spotted by See You Soon. Good thing about it, there's so many Ridge in this circle right now. Myth Clan has been really quiet. They have the circle all throughout uh, the whole game, I think. From stage number four until now, it's stage number seven. And they're all uh, with the three man standing as well. Uh, the their challenge will probably be uh, this squad, which is PBE, who has seven eliminations already. Uh, there's someone right, just right beside one boy. This is Mewtwo, who has never moved any muscle as of, uh, as of this very moment, not even moved any anything. It's amazing that he can still stay alive, stay invisible at this stage. With so many teams around him, Momboy just across my Momboy has no clue he's there. So as long as he stays quiet, he should be okay. Now we still got stage 8, so potentially he might still get the next circle. Unless Playboy Esports come past by him. And I think I might take it out. Okay, Michi, 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 oh, Michi, we'll surely see him now! And Michi spots me too there. No! There you go, that's the S12K. He just shrink to sh uh, he shredded to pieces and now... Uh, PBE can probably take the middle portion of the circle and what they need to do is just make sure that they defend uh, See you soon will be coming from the uh, bottom side of the circle Which has a much higher ground advantage. So they still need to be careful here 
uh, in my opinion, Myth Clan has uh, a lot of uh, chances of surviving this because they have so many covers to actually use. Yeah, I mean, they still have the whole compound for themselves, so this is pretty much their uh, fortress. But the bad thing about having such a big compound is that there are other entry points for teams to come in. But if you look at like the realistic position of everyone, uh, Myth Clan just needs to take care of CU soon and PBE. Yeah, 762 will be there, but he won't be too big of a factor because he's all alone. Ooh, and I think that was a nade coming from Zero, damaging Mitchie. What the what PB can do here is to focus on the uh, the upper side hill, which is on the south side of the circle. So most likely they finish off see you soon first, and then focus on Myth Clan. Oh yeah, but see you soon now. Focusing on to playbook esports, and Michi can't move away. Took a lot of damage there for the shots from zero, and now he's going to send a nade across, hoping to land a knockdown to Michi and Michi. Ooh. What a nade again by Zero! Beautiful nade coming from Zero. This man has been throwing bombs after bombs and it connects every single time. Devon takes out Mitchie now. PBE is down to two. All they need to do is defend. They don't really have to push it out. Just throw in all of the nades there. And look at that. Myth Clan now oh. opens up. They actually went out of the compound now and takes out players from see you soon pbe now realizes that there's another squad coming in and this is joseph who actually came out of that compound able to get some elimination now shroud hooking up a nate will this one connect to zero <laughs> overthrows that nate another nate coming from jarrell one boy gets hit jarrell now throws in another one Ooh. Ooh. good thing he has that cover yeah, that uh, blown up vehicle. Nate after Nate, toss on to Zero. Right now, Zero is having a taste of his own medicine. But uh, lucky for him, none of the Nate's actually hit on top. But oh, oh! His health was super duper low. He was healing up and immediately went back up. Oh, it's good that he was healing up now. 762 is eliminated. Stranger Esports is out. Maybe Jarrell gets Lulu Teev down. But again, unfortunately, he did that support. Or it's actually a third party coming from the clan, able to get the knockdown onto PvE. PvE can go for the reset while this is happening as he gets spotted down below that SUV. Now Mon Boy, the last member for PvE, and that's gonna be it. Myth Clan gets another one for today. Yeah, Myth Clan, two chicken dinners today. And they want as many starting points as possible for the grand finals, not dropping the ball to the very end myth clan wow but if you kind of think about it based on their position you did point out well uh they had that compound they had the circle they all they needed to do is just come out of the compound and they will still have that elevation against the other teams and they can also come in later because the two teams pbe and another team they were busy fighting each other and probably it's kind of like the same as what they did in uh, where they got the winner winner chicken dinner first. They just waited and waited and waited until uh, they got the circle. Uh, if you remember way back in Sano, uh, they were in that uh, two warehouses. Uh, they were able to get the circle until uh, it went up. So it's kind of like the same uh, with, uh, with this one, but kind of different because they went out of the way. They went out of the, the compound. They actually uh, went with that advantage that they have, which is the numbers. And here are the highlights. We're in. We saw the third party coming from TQ onto the side of Dread, where they eliminated uh, Flash Vision Esports. And then uh, the Enigma struggles continues, and uh, explosions coming from uh, Harami Bro as well. Harami Bro, uh, I thought that they they had the, they had momentum, and then all of a sudden AI. Uh, arrived in the scene and then they eliminated Harami Bro. Yeah, but the good thing for Harami Bro is that they came out of that house uh, in the valley. Instead, they took the high ground at some point. So that was a good position by them. And uh, this is where towards the end, uh, we can see here, See You Soon was actually uh, raining nades down onto STE. A lot of very good nades here. And I guess the most memorable one is uh, Zero. He not only did that once, but at least twice. Yeah, you're right with that. And then this is what happened now. 
Uh, this was a good decision coming from uh, Myth Clan. Uh, like they were inside that compound right in that middle of the zone and then eventually you saw two players going out from that compound going onto the higher ground onto the western side and now looking at the ah. MVP of the match it is zero the man of the the, um, the talk of the game <laughs> especially with the, the throws he's he's done with the the frag grenades one elimination 678 damage two knockouts two assists with 442 heals, 2751 survival time. Those two knockdowns came from that two nades that he threw away in this mm. match. Yeah, the undisputed grenade of this round zero. Who has been in the scene for quite a while? So nice to see him again up here. I've been counting. He this is his second MVP award in the PMCL this season. And yeah, it only for him, you know, they, there should be like this grenade stat just because of how awesome it is, the way he uses nades in this round. Yeah, we're hopefully there will be some, you know, stats uh, that would, uh, you know, give uh, like awards for, you know, throwing nades or the grenade gear. But here are the stats now for the winner, winner, chicken dinner team, five elimination, six, nine, uh, six total damage with two total knockouts, three assists. 125 heals and 27.52 survival time, and uh, I actually got uh, I actually got pinged or DM'd by the coach of uh, of APG Esports. So later on, I will read it off and maybe share it to you on match number six or cloud. Hmm. I wonder what's behind the message. Okay, okay, we'll anticipate that. That also means that for you guys out there to stay tuned to the final match and after the final match maybe for Cuckoo to reveal what is uh, sent to him by her? Hmm, I think I know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shout okay. out to, Ms. Uh, to Sis Jenny. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Gotta leave a name drop there. But yeah, yeah. Our overall stats. Wow, 19 headshots. This is on the higher side. Yeah, it is on the higher side. Uh, 60 eliminations, 60 knockouts, 7379 heals, 14 total revives, 217 throws used, 335 drive distance, 356 meters uh, for the longest distance elimination, 19 headshots, uh, much better compared to the last one, uh, 2752 survival time, and four airdrops looted. Those airdrops are really important nowadays if, uh, if you look at it. Uh, four from the last uh, last match, and then four on this match, and they're able to you know utilize some airdrop weapons as well, like the MG threes, uh, sometimes the Groza, and then in the the first uh, Arangel, if I'm not mistaken, um, the P90 was used. Mm. So looks like uh, airdrop weapons are coming back in the in the meta, right? Yeah, and so maybe that's a sign for us to put back the uh, DBS in the airdrop. Just saying, just say, just put it out there. But Rift actually each has the same amount of points with Playbook Esports, both 15 points. Interesting. Uh, Stranger Esports, 12 points, and uh, See You Soon with 10 points, so that's the double digit club. And then you got AI Esports with 7 points. Now, with AI Esports getting 7 points, and uh, FRL is not playing this round, I guess, yeah, we already know the answer. So it's locked in right now. I believe yeah. that AI Esports is on to the Grand Finals and unfortunately, FRL will need to bid goodbye. Unfortunately for the four teams that we uh, mentioned earlier, uh, this is uh, Fearless, and then we have um, God of Death 7, APG Esports, and Flash Vision Esports. Unfortunately for them, uh, their points for their league ranking uh, is not enough for them to uh, get to the grand finals, but hopefully they can uh, do better on the next season. But for now, let's uh, talk about the overall rankings. Ostja still on top with 248 points, 236 for the side of MFG GE uh, with mm. 220 points, 184 Harami Bro. TTQ has 162, 158 for PBE, 145 for Yan Gun Galacticos, 142 for Dread, the SDKE with 141. STE with 141 as well, 131 for Myth Clan, SQS with 123, 93 for 214 Akira, AI with 90 points, 88 for TQ, God7 with 81, Fearless with 80, 74 for Enigma, 
APG with 68 and Flash Vision Esports with 32 points. So that is our overall rankings after our second to the last match in the league. Yeah, and between uh, GE and Harami Bros, the difference now is 40 points. So it will not change anything between the two of them for the final match. And I think we can also declare that GE will be the uh, league winners for the mm. season. But right. between the number one and number two, uh, Austria and NFG, that is still interchangeable in the final game. You're right. You're right with that one. Um, I'm not so sure as well who will be the top number three in the league rankings because it's kind of close between uh, Yangon Galacticos and uh, Playbook Esports. Uh, like, if I'm not mistaken, two points away is uh, Playbook 34 to 32. So. Uh, that that is one thing as well that we need to uh, to take a look at in the overall. If uh, if Yangon Galacticos would uh, be higher than uh, PBE after this uh, day, then most likely uh, Yangon Galacticos will take that third spot in the league ranking points. Wow! So the final round still matters for a lot of these teams, and also. Uh for like the mid-table teams it there can still be some uh some changes here and there in the final game so it will still matter so that's where we will be able to expect that in the final game a lot of these teams will still play their best and provide us with the best entertainment possible but before we go on to our final game as usual we'll take a breather here my name is sir clark together with cuckoo we'll see you guys after this break Enter your own home or go to the home shop. Furthermore, we have added home door plates to the social lobby. From here, you can enter your home or visit other players' homes. In home mode, the building feature is accessible to all players. Each player gets their own island, where they can use items and furniture of various styles to build their dream house on the island. If you find the building process to be too cumbersome, you can purchase blueprints of ready-made designs that you like to instantly recreate it, and make further adjustments to suit your preferences. The home also supports inviting up to four players to build together. Apart from building a house, there are also lots of things to interact with in home, which provide a more immersive experience. First, we have the home butlers. Players start off with both a male and female butler. Not only can you manage various aspects of the home with these butlers, you can also check the messages received from visitors, as well as assign emotes and outfits for them. Stay tuned for more upcoming features. Next, we have the home tree. You can plant a magical home tree in your home, which will earn home coins every day. You can also help your friends collect home coins when you visit their home and earn some extra commission for yourself. Home coins can be used to purchase items for decorating your home. There are all kinds of fun and interesting items available in home. There are also special animations when you interact with the sofa, play various music instruments, or play on the swing with your friends. You can also interact with other items such as the bathtub to create memorable moments. As such, we've specially prepared the photo wall. You can decorate the photo wall with the photos taken in the game, or upload them from your local device to show the most awesome and special side of yourself. If you want to showcase your unique musical taste in home, you can also set exclusive background music for it. You can do so by placing a music player in your home and have it play any track that you own to create your personal music haven. In home, you can take photos with custom camera angles or templates. Photos taken can be saved to your device or home album to record your unique home memories. We have also added a messenger feature in home. You can release a messenger from your home and also receive the messengers of others to interact with players from around the world. At the same time, you can visit the homes of other players and enjoy features such as leaving messages, sending popularity gifts, collecting home coins, and other social features. Explore the infinite possibilities of home. 
In Cheer Park, we have also added the Home Shop. Here, you can purchase items for your home and participate in the Lucky Spin to win items for decorating your home. Eager to start building your own home now? Go and complete the various home missions to earn great home rewards. Or complete matches in Ranked Classic mode for a lucky draw chance for home loot when tallying match results to get more items for your home. That's all for now for the new home gameplay. We'll be releasing more tutorial videos for home soon, so stay tuned. What are you waiting for? Invite your friends now and build your very own home. PUBG Mobile's sixth birthday is just around the corner. A merry sixth anniversary to all friends old and new. In version 3.1, we have lots of new content and updates for players. May you have a wonderful sixth anniversary celebration. In the Sky High Spectacle themed mode, the gigantic Nimbus Island appears on the flight path. If you'd like to begin a mystical journey, then grab a parachute and drop on in. 
Nimbus Island is a magnificent city in the sky. The Day Island offers a wide field of view, making it the perfect place to show off your gun skills. The Night Island boasts charming scenery, but veils itself in fog. Extra caution is advised. Eliminate all enemies on the island, harness all the blessings you can from the magic lamps, and collect ample supplies along with an extra respawn card. These are your crucial measures on the road to chicken dinner. Don't fret if you're unable to enter Nimbus Island. You can board the Sky Treasure Ship and unlock crates, or with the aid of the treasure map, find crates that grant extra supplies. The all-new two-seater vehicle, Flying Carpet, is sure to become your trusty accomplice on this adventure. Aside from this, plenty of mystical items will aid you in eliminating your enemies or in pranking your teammates. On this sixth anniversary, the battleground will be full of interesting spots to check out. Treasure lies where fun begins. Hurry and gather your teammates for an adventure. As for classic mode, the Miramar map has been majorly updated in this version. We have integrated two new districts, Truck Stop and Partona. Furthermore, with this update comes a special weather condition, Sandstorm. Players caught in a sandstorm will continuously lose health, so be sure to avoid them. As for firearms, the P90 SMG has received a major revision and will be the first airdrop submachine gun posing a significant threat. The new version of the P90 is available through airdrops, uses unique 5.7。It's time for the main event. Of the evening, Sir Cloud. We are done with the first five matches. We are now down to the one last match of the league. Three weeks of pub grueling PUBG Mobile action. Again, this is yours truly, Kuku TV, together with the one and only Sir Cloud, one of the best analysts in the game today. And right now, we're gonna be less one less of a group. And just a recap again, we're gonna not see any more. The group where Harami Bro is at, which is they consist of Myth Clan, who won two winner winner chicken dinners, and then Enigma, and then APG Esports. And here are now the participating teams group A, C, D, and E. So you still have Austria Esports there, Sir Cloud, Genesis, as well as MFG, and Jan Gun Galacticos. And you can also add PBE there in the list of the top teams playing in this match. Yeah, so for the number one spot of the week, Austria Esports and MFG can still overtake each other, or more like MFG overtaking Austria Esports. So that will be the top guns out there to see who will be the best team of the week and to bring home some extra moolah on top of potentially mm. the chicken dinner too. And uh, in the middle, I mean, the, the points are close enough, so there will be a lot of interchanging happening in the middle of the pack as well. So. A lot of reason for these teams to continue to perform on this last game on this last game or the league. You're right with that, and unfortunately, there's uh, there were fans who was asking at the comment section uh, if uh, Claire uh, would uh, sub in to Dale. Uh, they were missing uh, Claire of Harami Bro, uh, and unfortunately, they won't play anymore. That's their last game, and they won't be able to take over that top number one spot in the league ranking. So we are expecting. A lot of points, a lot of head start points for Genesis Esports coming in the Grand Finals. Now, uh, with that one said, uh, most likely they will be able to take the number two spot in the league rankings and will probably take that uh, 2,000 plus USD. But uh, before we talk about prizes, let's talk about the biggest collaboration. As of this very moment, we have Bentley X PUBGM. Four exquisite Bentley models are available right now in-game. Covering a wide range of vehicle types, indulge in the luxury of choice and find your perfect match with Bentley in the game. Yes, and uh, we have nine different Bentleys. 
to be to be used in this game so it can be applicable to any one of the vehicles that is mentioned on screen either the UAZ the Dacia the Coupe RP or even the Mirado so nine different Bentleys for four different vehicles hmm wow. if I do the math that means you can actually switch Bentleys with those vehicles <laughs> right I'm, I'm not so sure if this works as well with the Bentley we're in you can close you can open and close the the cover on top of your uh, uh, roof of the vehicle but anyways we have the new RPA or RPA 6 available right now and this is available from March to May 17th with total RP perks worth over 80k U, uh, UC and up to 70, uh, 720 UC rebates purchase lead pass plus to immediately get an exclusive avatar frame and ex an exclusive victory dance for RPA 6 which is a special 6th anniversary version and no upgrade required and we talked a lot about, you know, using of the the care package uh, weapons, like uh, the Groza. There you go, the Dread Dock Groza. Uh, you can even uh, wear the Dread Dock set. So the Dread Esports mm. organization is very happy with this uh, RP A6, right? Yeah, even follows their color scheme. So I don't know is that. Uh, a, a deal that they did like behind the scenes that we don't know of but yeah it just so happened to have that red and some shade of grey or black-ish so yeah that will be the one that they must have and you know what if you kind of think about it it would be pretty cool to have like more of these collaborative skins with orcs so Ooh. fans can actually get them and you know right. just feel that you're part of that organization's community alright maybe like a uh like a t-shirt that you can wear in game uh, mm -hmm. maybe uh, Genesis Esports or Harame Bro or maybe uh, uh, in the PMSL we have um, Boom Esports who just got their championship right Ooh. yeah that's a good idea Sir Cloud so if ever uh, PUBGM would uh, do that the idea came from Sir Cloud, guys. Uh, the, the idea came from Cuckoo, all right. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to share the royalty here, okay? We, we, we got to make some dough as well, okay? I, would, right. I wouldn't mind like a 10% out of the entire sales. That's, or 1%, that's good enough. I'll be, I'll 10 be done. 10% is a lot. <laughs> I, okay, I'll take 1% and I can retire. That's it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but anyways, let's try to do a little recap here with the, the, the teams that are not playing anymore. Uh, we have four teams, Harami Bro. So again, like well, we have mentioned, most likely they will get uh, second place for Myth Clan, though. Uh, Myth Clan has uh, 22 uh, league ranking points at ninth place. Uh, week th week three is not yet included, so they might have a much higher uh, league ranking points, knowing that they got two winner winner chicken dinners uh, here for today. And then uh, as for Enigma. Uh, they really got good with the two weeks, first two weeks, but unfortunately, they were not really focused at all on week number uh, number three. And then we have APG Esports. Uh, actually, uh, Sis Jenny uh, texted me earlier that they have specific drop spots. So I, I kind of explained like uh, they're sometimes targeted like when it comes to rotation. Uh, APG is actually a, a really good team. They even won a winner win a chicken dinner before, right, Sir Cloud? Yep, they did. I believe that was back in uh, week one that they got it. But let's see who will get the final chicken dinner today. Still look at you guys, Flash Vision, as we head on to our last game of the league stage, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, it has to be played in Merama. Miramar, the one last game that we need to complete in order for us to, un uh, to know who will be the top 16 teams in the grand finals. And by the way, guys, if you're asking me when is the Grand Finals, it's going to happen on the 29th until the 31st of March. And right now, the flight path comes from Campo Militar until the uh, random areas of uh, or the western side of La Deliera, just right on top north of Valle del Mar. And uh, you can see now uh, Exquisite Esports going to their usual spot at uh, Campo Militar, though uh, they do have uh, someone just down below them, which is God of that seven who will actually go for uh flash vision esports now because I, I believe they're really being targeted uh, by some of the other you know squads uh if you remember from you know last game it was uh, dread esports right 
Mm, yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Uh, it just it just so happened that the rotation, they bump into each other with that sort of circle. So yeah, it was very situational, I must say. And I guess it's dictated by the circle for the most part. And uh, let's see what kind of circle we're gonna get as the uh, final uh, circle in this map. I'm personally, when it comes to Mirama, I'm a fan of Impala Circle. And if it does go there, the happiest team would be Playboy Esports. Right now with the circle. I think it's gonna center around Los Leones, so we're gonna probably have an urban warfare later on. So mm. it's gonna be a long game, uh, Sir Cloud, for this one. But you see now, uh, looks like El Pozo will be. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, the quarter will just run past El Pozo and will probably take ruins. But looks like they're gonna join in the fun with Yangon Galacticos at El Pozo. Well, here we go. Just to stamp who is going to be the king of El Pozo in the grand finals, perhaps. Sometimes it's also about like, okay, if you win the fight in this area, you get to take the spot. So maybe this is a, a, a way to settle the score on who's going to get in right. the grand finals. And one thing, one thing I noticed uh, when I when I casted the PMSL, uh, there were like uh, a few teams who had same dropping points before the start of the match number one. And then when they actually started dropping off, they had their own designated spots. Mm. So, I mean, things might change in the grand finals. I mean, it depends on their coach, depends on their analyst on where they would drop. But if uh, if the quarter would still challenge Yanyo Galacticos in the grand finals, that's going to be so much excite excitement that we're going to be expecting from these two teams because uh, you would expect early on in uh, Miramar that there will be uh, a hot drop in uh, the the city of El Pozo. Yeah, so this hot drops are not too bad, at least from a viewer's perspective, so that you get like that early action to start things off, and they can sort of cool it down a little bit, and then you get a little bit more like uh, stage four onwards. So it's at least it's quite it's evenly spread out, like in terms of action. So it will uh, also encourage uh, the viewers to stay put and watch the game from the start. And uh, I just uh, read off uh, a comment here down on our Facebook uh, live. Uh, they're asking who are the teams that are in the grand finals. <laughs> ah, so, okay. <laughs> so we, we do we do know like Flash Vision won't be there anymore. And then we have uh, APG Esports. Uh, they only have five points in the league ranking, so that's a uh, very very uh, that's a very low score for now. I mean, if they like say get into maybe top five, maybe they they can get like um into the the next stage but unfortunately not uh god of that seven is the other team that that will not qualify and then uh the other one would be fearless esports which is so we have been uh cheering for them actually sir cloud right we've been cheering yeah. for them ever since match number one of day number five of, of week three but unfortunately ever every time that they try to you know engage early they forget the uh, the main objective, which is to get into the circle and get a winner winner chicken dinner. Yeah, and uh, because of that, right now AI esports is ten points away of uh, fearless esports. So we already know that it's going to be impossible for them to overtake or yeah to actually make it into the grand final. So uh, too bad, but it's okay. I mean, all these teams will still be playing next season. And uh, they will have the uh, another opportunity uh, in the summer season when it begins next. Uh, and also, the stakes will be higher by then because there oh, will yeah. be a slot to the uh, PMWC. So they, these teams can take this season as like, okay, it's an introduction season. People getting to know each other. What's the what? How does it feel like playing in this lobby? And then when it comes to the summer season, that is where it is. Uh, the stakes are higher. So gotta be a bit more focus onto that season. Right. And I believe uh, the price pool for uh, PUBG Mobile World, World Cup would be uh, higher than the PMCL. Oh, like, yeah. I think five times higher or maybe ten times higher, right? So a lot of, a lot is at stake for Season 2 of uh, PMCL, but uh, focus on uh, Season 1 will be the kings of uh, PMCL. Will it still be Genesis Esports, which is uh, right now is the trend going in uh, to uh, to the Grand Finals because they will have a lot of head start points uh, starting up uh, before even the match one started. 
But right now, Dread again. Look, look at them targeting Flashfish and esports. We're, we're mm. seeing this trend already, Sir Cloud. Yeah, it's always early, early detection by other teams on the Flash Vision Esports. But we'll look at that later as now we put focus on the Dread Esports against AI Esports. Now on the chase, it's going to be Moy. Together with his other teammates, they could open up the space. Tofi has nowhere to go, he has to fight back! And Moy knocked out by Tofi! Oh, unfortunate for Dread. One goes down already. Lanchu will go down as well. And what a nice gameplay here being shown by... AI, as you can see, Dread is now going to escape the area. But while this is happening, another engagement from the kill feed. It's going to be Yangan Galacticos versus STE. Miner gets eliminated early. This is the first time I've seen this, and Holy Lanju will be dead now. And Dread Esports. I actually called them the, the dark horse of the PH uh, squads, but uh, unfortunately, they can only uh, go until this point. Which is the last map of the day with only one member left remaining. And then we do have another engagement happening. A lot of early engagement in stage number one in, here in Miramar, Sir Cloud. Oh yeah, just when I thought that it's gonna be a chill round because the circle is kinda kinda centered in the on the map. But uh yeah, I guess the excitement is gonna start from now onwards, with teams not willing to let go of each other, even though they're tanking out the blue. And you if you look at like Amura, he only has one first aid. I mean this dog could have been much, and they're about a thousand meters away from the circle. Um yeah, I guess they they are prepared for this. They are really prepared for this, but looks like exquisite will not really engage at all. They will escape the area. As now 214 Akira will join in the fun. And uh, this is not a good idea for 214 Akira. They're, they're just uh, joining in the fun. Higher ground is on the side of AI, but looks like Rankid, Mr. Hot Dog from the Philippines, going for the gunshot here from this angle. But again, I, I don't like this angle here from Rankid. It's a lower ground angle. Smile goes down on the kill feed. What, what is happening, Sir Cloud? They're, they, they just want to finish the match. Oh, yeah, it, it looks like it. Okay. It looks like it. All right. This is real interesting right now. Okay, let's see who wins the brawl. Basically, this is right now a brawl. <laughs> well, they want to finish the, map, uh, the match off. This is the last game anyways. And, I mean, we know already who will be inside the grand finals. Why not? Why not? Let's just... Mm. Uh, kill each other just, uh, if you hear the gunshot just go to where the gunshot is is uh, able to be heard and you can now see here two pro goes for the dbs knocks down one and he, he's not focused on the top ground where then Kofi is fighting oh. Rankin Rankin goes down now but there you go two pro saves the day for him and then AI will have only one player left remaining and I'm pretty sure H2R will be able to spot him. That's Naughty Boy. Oh, Naughty Boy. Naughty Boy just going outside. He's not going to get Ooh, killed. Oh, what one HP oh, left. But the blue, the blue. The blue, the blue. Oh. He just needed to land that one shot. That is enough. The blue will do his work. And good job for 214 Akira there. Able to spot the last member of AI Esports, and AI will be eliminated early in this game again. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, from last game, they were the ones who got eliminated early, right? Or it, was it Flash Vision? Um, it was Flash Vision. Ah, it was Flash yeah. Vision. I, I, I was thinking of match number four, where AI got eliminated early, so that's different uh, game. Anyways, Circle is now centering around the northern side of Los Leones, so we might probably not have a uh, urban warfare, so we still gonna have uh, those high ground meta advantage there. Look at look at uh, the quarter. Uh, same goes with TTQ. They're on that uh, mountain side as Loki now loots up the crate. Ooh, he gets the P90. Nice. Wow. Okay. Let's see how much damage he can dish out with the P90. Uh, now his opponent is still within the city of uh, Picado. Let's see if they'll take this fight. But look at the elimination feed. The John went down somewhere else. So it looks like fight's not stopping yet. Uh, this round is truly like a brawl. It is a brawl. Uh, 
Harambe Bro actually drops in this area, so nobody mm. else will take it. Someone else will have to end this match. Zuki goes down. And that's going to be Fern now looking at Gus. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just three members still strong here for TTQ. It's just that they're like scattered in the map right now. You can see on the mini map that uh, the other members of TTQ is just right behind them on a much higher ground. Gus is just hiding inside that uh, building where he can get pushed right now by uh, Team TQ. And look look at Gus now. 4v1 situation. Liquid doesn't have any view as well. Yeah, so Gus is pretty much all alone right now. He's pull off a big clutch. Oh, Liquid. Okay, some cover fire from the Saiga. But the moment they enter the building, they don't have the, his cover. But Gus will fight back. Needing out one member. Of TQ, Edward comes in from the other angle, but Edward has to that back out quickly, and he's able to evade that one last shot. And right now, TQ realizes where Edward is at. They're now going for the reset here as the top revives Fern. Liquid, ooh, spots Popeye. Popeye, you know that there's already someone firing at the, uh, from the top. You're still going to go there. That's not a good idea. And now Gus will throw in another nade. He overthrows that nade onto the staircase and save. Will get saved by TQ, but now Edward is coming in with his frag grenade on hand. Oh, he sees oh, one oh, with an AUG. Oh, Unfortunately, oh, oh, he gets oh. knocked out by Fern. Nice 200 IQ gameplay coming from Fern. Yeah, just open the door, get the cross, and put the DBS in the space. The moment he heard that footstep, he knows that that's his opportunity. But if I saw it over here in this area, Gus on the other end is being shot at. But the Liquid will they burn down. And now Liquid is going to come in from the outside. He has to finish up the job. Liquid needs to finish the job now. But again, this Longhouse, it's really hard to push if you're all alone. Especially now that the revive is coming. So it's going to be a 3v1 situation. UI gets killed on a kill feed, by the way. As Liquid now throws or cooks up another nade. Zero explodes in the kill feed also. As now the quarter... No, that's a bad idea. Don't put some mollies there. There and oh. there you go. Fern able to eliminate TTQ with only one elimination in their name. And that was Popeye who got killed early. Well, after all that action, we have 47 players left with 14 teams. But oh, the action's not stopping yet on the outside of the circle. Now we have Yangu Gadigos and see you soon. And Yangu Gadigos is interested. Loki is opening up the flank on the left side. But at the same time, the blue will be on top of them. Say Cloud, your child. Ooh, oh, he actually gets hit there. Oh, nice nade there. Able to knock down Lulu T. Then, with a shotgun to the face, eliminates him now. Romeo Boy goes down as well. And that's going to be cute low key now going on a different angle for uh, see you soon. There's only one player left, and that is Kaya. Can he still do it? Can he manage to survive this? The John is just crawling. Over to his teammate, probably. No, he just hides right behind that Murado. As Cute Loki now uses the P90. And this is the disadvantage of a P90. Look at the bullets left. No more reserve left for Cute Loki. But again, it can burst your enemy. Yeah, so he will use it to the efficiency level that uh, he can. And now Kaya being very efficient with the shots. Say Cloud knocked out by Pozo. From fearless esports, but Kaya using his last first aid. Unless if he can loot off something out of Say Cloud. Hoping for first aids in his bag. Let's see if he can get anything out of this. He will secure that elimination point and be on the lookout before he goes in for the loot. The action never stops. PBE versus Dread. Demius cancels that nade. Now Monboy overcooks that nade. Jarrell also overcooks that nade. Two nades wasted by PBE, but now look at the Molotovs being used by PBE. They thought that uh, Demius is actually on top, but he's actually just right down below on the first floor. Jarrell will now oh, try to go. see and check. Jarrell will go Yo. down first. Demius will try to go for the clutch here, but Mon Boy, no! Mon Boy will not oh. be able to get the knockdown and will be eliminated by Demius and two for, uh, two for none trade here. Four Dread versus PBE. Just when I thought PBE will have the chance to bounce back, Demi uh, said, no, I will not let that happen. 
Yeah, but he's still following up onto him. But speaking of following up, looks like Baby Harris. Follow up onto Kaya. Eliminating. See you soon. And Baby Harry spots STE down below. They're really on a bad spot right now. Uh, see, uh, that is because uh, TQ is right over there on the, the left-hand side of, uh, of STE. And Baby Harry will also try to join in the fun together with TQ and STE. Nate's now coming in from the top. Ooh, almost knocking down Newbie. Newbie will have to back out for a bit here. And we'll try to go for that reset heal as the top will just go for that gatekeep meta right now. And as he spots with a red dot, Fearless Esports just upstairs. I'm not sure where the others for uh, TQ. Uh, I think they're getting ready now to get inside the zone. As the top is just securing this, uh, this edge of the circle in order for them to gatekeep Strangers Esports. Yeah, at this moment, the gatekeeping is happening not only because of the zone, but because of the terrain. TQ have them pretty much locked out. But FRL from the side, knocking down 762. SDE, how are they going to get out of this? The zone will close on top of them real soon as well. We're trying to take one now, and there's going to be Scotty now down on his knees. Scotty down on his knees, but on the kill feed, Nathan gets headshot with that mini 14 from. Another squad, while we are still looking at this engagement between STP, TQ, and Fearless, Scotty will most likely die, but then again, STE, 762 got damaged there as well. They need to cover up because they can easily get shot by the top here. Oh, they're tapping, now tapping. able to spot them. Ooh, really get oh. spotted, and at the same time, 762 goes down. Nice shots there coming from the top. Wow, after all that, Stranger Esports out at number 13 without any eliminations at all. Circle time goes to GE. Yanko Gaidi goes 214. Akira entirely in the circle. But let's not forget about Flash Vision. They are by the edge of this circle. In front of them is God of Death 7. That is right. And you can see that just right down below, Sir Cloud, we have uh, Ryman. Very nearby one player. That was that is Demios. And if you remember earlier, uh, Demios was able to fend off two players of PBE. That was Jarrell and uh, Monboy, two of uh, uh, the leader, little fragger of, uh, of uh, PBE. And you can now see as well here with uh, God of Death 7, they are gatekeeping uh, exquisite esports, though they need to get inside the circle. Which is, uh, I think, uh, they're going to have a hard time because someone is already there, uh, right in front of them. As X, Z, X, Y now goes for the fire. Not going to be able to get some hits there, but they need to focus now getting into the circle because we are now closing in, going to stage number 6 in 2 minutes. Oh yeah, this is where all these teams on the outside, including God of Death 7, we need to fight their way through. Flash Vision just beside them, but it uh, looks like they're going to evade that, they're going to hit straight into the circle. But in front of them, uh, okay, this is still a position that uh, other teams, at least in the circle, can't see them. But they need to manage Exquisite on the other side. Exquisite shooting at God of Death 7. And Flash Vision here waiting for that team that will get closer to them. But for the meantime, you can see Playbook Esports not really moving any muscle. They hear Austria Esports just right beside them right now, throwing up some smokes, throwing in some nades. Mitchie and Ryman, just two snakes crawling on the sands Oof. of Miramar. Ooh, nice push there coming from Ryman and Mitchie, able to eliminate one. Oh, to the right. We will now get in, and there you go, jumping shot to eliminate Playbook Esports. And that is a beautiful jump shot shot by Chewie. And now they're overtaking this compound right in front of them. Demios is still there. Nate toss on to the other end. Demios, first nade, not connecting. Second nade will toss on. Third nade, everything is raining down onto Demios. And now we're stage number five uh, with 10 teams remaining. Eraz is currently down. Uh, look at the Flash Vision Esports. They're like far away from each other. No one will be able to save Eraz. As looks like Papa J was trying to go for that risk. Oh, he almost got knocked down there by KS. Potatoes, all of those other sprays. Ooh, Red Bull gets hit. One more HP left. Good thing he was able to prone down. And now it's going to be Demios oh. again. 
Oh my goodness, able to eliminate one by one every each player that who will come right at him. And now Red Bull will now go on, on onto addition. Demios will go actually go for the knockdown oh. one more time. How is he able to do this, Sir Cloud? Wow, that is some amazing stuff. Not only he made it all that nade. But he also won that fight. That is crazy stuff by the Mios. But it's going to get even crazier for him now that he has to cross the road. Yeah, the circle is not within within this reach. This is bad for Demios. I mean, uh, if he does have a vehicle, then he can try to get in. Uh, to maybe right at the middle where the care, pack care package is at. Or pr probably some small shacks right inside that circle. I can see like a little bit few left there. But for the meantime, we see here God of Death 7 on the north uh, eastern side of the map now going for the spray down onto Flash Vision Esports. Ooh, the explosion there. It actually came from 214 Akira instead. It was now on the northern side of the map, gatekeeping everyone else, and Demios just got eliminated there. With all four eliminations on him only. Oof. Ooh, and the unfortunately for Flash Vision, Papa J goes down. And now goes for the oh, push. Yes! KS, oh, nice shot there with the UMP. Able to knock down Eraz. And that last guy from Flash Vision cannot really get a bullet over to KS, who has only one HP left. Oh, man. Cuckoo is looking bleak right now for Flash Vision to score this chicken dinner. Only Shaquille left all alone on the outside of the circle, and there are other teams waiting inside. I don't know how he's going to overcome this. If only they want to fight against God of the Seven, then maybe. They stand a chance, but now speaking about God, that's some of the next challenge is going to be Genesis Esports. Right now, Justin Bieber now throws in a nade. He needs to also revive his teammate. Though ooh, the smoke actually came off just right at the right time. Not at the right time. At God of that seven is now eliminated, and now two one four Akira will have to uh, survive here with a sandwich gameplay being done by uh, by Flash Vision. And this team that is on the right hand side, while MFG gets spotted by Genesis Esports. Unknown is currently down right now, but the, the revive or the rescue will be done by Yakta. And let's see if he can actually go towards to that location. Ooh, who, who threw Ooh. that name? That was that was a, a, a long throw of, uh, I'm not sure who's down below uh, Smile though. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's a long shot. It's a long shot. I'm not gonna lie there. Unless if he does a jump toss, then maybe. But yeah, I I just think it's just too far. But anyway, it's the last game, and just as esports find out, doesn't really matter for them. Um, probably the only thing that matters for them in this last game is if they can get the extra hunger bucks. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. They can get another one in this uh, matchup. This is the final match of the league. So, for me, I would, you know, be inspired because of the price pool. I will try to get that 100 USD. Mm -hmm. But uh, Smile got spotted there. Got hit. As Mernot actually goes down on the kill feed. Yatka confirms oh. right away. And Ooh. 2 Pro almost got hit. I mean, he got hit, but uh, just low damage on 2 Pro. 2 Pro will just drink some energy. And then the circle actually shifted away from them. We are now in stage number six, 40 seconds left before we close again onto the next stage. MFG has the circle here, but if you look at Genesis Esports, they have a much higher ground. Yeah, Genesis Esports again, but okay, let's see. Let's see here. They have to overcome MFG and MFG, obviously, they are one of the top contenders. If any team on paper here that can beat Genesis Esports, it's going to be MFG. Well, let's see if they can do that. Uh, there's actually two care packages. They, they can also loot up for them to replenish their helmets and vests. Ooh, Wako goes down. That's coming coming from the top of the quarter. And now Rankid successfully was able to get inside the zone. Not so sure if they can go for the revive for Wako, but Rankid will cook up a nade and will throw randomly that nade. That's uh, one less of a nade. 4214 Akira, but now you can see here the top actually focuses even more uh, compared to what uh, Rankid did. Much safer thing to do. 
But uh, you can see now that he spots uh, MFG right over there. And then we have Yangon Galacticos still outside the zone. Uh, this is so unfortunate for Yangon Galacticos, Sir Cloud, because you can see it's very open whenever they try to get away from this uh, compound that they have right now. Yeah, the moment they leave, all eyes will be on to them. They'll be walking targets by the time. So, I don't know. Um, Smoke Bridge, perhaps, look away at, at their utilities. Loki has nothing. And, oh, it's starting right now. Romeo Boy knocked down by Fern. Loki, save a Romeo Boy? No, time won't be enough. He has to move or he will give himself up to the blue. And the top there throws the nade. But uh, looks like he actually over, uh, overcooks the nade. The top now, who spots? Oh, I think he doesn't know where Loki is. Just random shots through the bushes. But unfortunately, that's it for Yangon Galacticos. And that was Yatka who spots uh, them from MFG. We're now down to the last four teams remaining. MFG, The Quarter, Genesis Esports, and 214 Akira. Now the circle updates again. And look at that. It benefited Ooh. only MFG Esports. Oh, this is huge for them. This is huge. It's basically that game to lose right now. And look at the airdrops on top of MFG. So, uh, extra bonus for them. But I uh, don't know. Don't not sure if they have the time to loot up the airdrops because right now TQ will be coming onto MFG. And right now, MFG does have a really good ridge here, and also the hill that they have as well. Uh, they're they're actually just waiting for Genesis Esports to come in. And in 10 seconds, you will see them going out from that compound. I mean, they're all set with their vehicles as well. And by the way, this is the final circle is what we're having right now, Sir Cloud, because we're now going to stage number nine. Now the nades are coming from MFG. Looks like they are now ready for action for GE. Smile now comes in right through the middle. But again, that's a risk that he got to take. He goes down. And now 2Pro will probably try to steal the kill. Oh. And there you go. He stole that kill from MFG and TQ. Nice play coming from 2Pro. Yeah, no choice for Genesis Esports. Like what you say, they have to move forward anyway. And uh, now Rooney Master Ichi left. MFG exit now down on his knees. TQ seems to be overtaking MFG. 2-1 for Akira. Obviously got right here together with 2Pro still alive. Edging into the circle. They should be able to slide into it. They do have that one shack for them to utilize. Well, Wes eliminated by Yaka. That point is going to go to MFG. As we got MFG now, they have six elimination points looking for their seven to try to take out EG on the other side. The one for Akira has some vehicles as well. They can try to use that as cover because we are now closing in in five more seconds left. This is again the final zone. Ooh, two pro goes down as Ichi will get eliminated. GE is out of this game, and now it's going to be TQ versus MFG and 214 Akira. Just ah. still have that one last guy that's too pro together with Ran Kid, and they're now out. It's a 3v4 now. Will MFG confirm this uh, winner winner chicken dinner? Let's find out. Well, if they do, they potentially will be able to overtake all star esports. Now they have to do the business, and they will! They will not let this one go! MFG Esports secures the final chicken dinner in the league stage! Wow, what an ending for week number three, day number five. As we are right back at it again here, we, uh, we are your English casters, Kuku TV, together with Sir Cloud. And uh, if, you, if you've done the math already here, Sir Cloud, Looks like MFG will take over that number one spot just because Ostja didn't survive that long in this matchup. Yes, uh, that is that is actually really true. I mean, you think about it, right? Ostja Esports have been holding that spot for like the longest time. There was probably like one or two games where it interchanged, but that's about it. And just to be overtaken by MLG at the last game, that is heartbreaking. They could have been the best team of the week. Right. And the MFG, I'm actually surprised that they came from uh, week number one, which is uh, a really subpar performance. And then week number two and week number three, they came alive. I'm mm. not sure what happened to them. It's kind of like uh, what Ostrich did in the first week and then second and third week. They basically just dominated all throughout. But looking at the highlights here, it was Say Cloud with that beautiful nade 
and the shotgun finish. And then here's what Demius did to Playbook Esports. Dissect them, them one by one. Unfortunately, he didn't he wasn't able to, you know, dissect the last two members of uh, of Playbook because it was Austria Esports who, you know, finalized Playbook Esports. And then we have uh, TQ, and this is what uh, what I'm talking about, where in GUI mm. went for the jumping shot, eliminates the whole squad of Playbook Esports. And then look at this, Sir, Cl uh, Sir Cloud. Oh. Demius with those clutch performance, but again, it's hard to survive if the circle is not around you. Yeah, yeah. It, he had to cross the road and everything, so uh, it was a tough one. But still, for him to be able to pull off that uh, win against Oja Esports, that was. That was arguably the biggest highlight in this round. So lots of good stuff still, even though it's the final round. And uh, towards the end, it was pretty much uh, MFG. Terrain-wise, circle-wise, control of whatever area that they still have at Stage 9, it was them to lose this round. So they just needed to finish off uh, the uh, final members of DQ. And that's it. They will get the chicken dinner. And for sure, they will be able to overtake Austria Esports. Yeah, that's big for MFG. Uh, this will be a lot for them but for the meantime we have the mvp now goes to fern we have four eliminations for him 1152 damage five total knockouts one assist 660 uh 663 heals with survival time of 27 18 this guy got a lot of knockdown uh, I, I think he got knocked down as well because look at the damage on him 663 heals total for him so he survived too much of engagement, and uh, we'll see now who, what will be the the stats here for the winner, winner chicken dinner team. Man, gotta gotta see how big this is. This round is for them, but I I don't think it'll be that big uh, because they, for the most part, they got the circle, like especially towards the end. So the stats might not be as big, but it doesn't matter as long as they do enough to overtake Austria Esports. That is objective done for them. So yeah, and I guess that extra hunger box, of course, not to forget about that too. Uh, the final hunger box of the league stage uh, before we move on to the grand finals. At the grand finals, ladies and gentlemen, for your information, we'll have a different set of prize pool. So what will it be? How much will it be per chicken dinner? How much will the uh, champion take home? We'll need to wait for next week. Yeah, wait for that. Uh, the start of that will be on the 29th. Here are the stats now for the winner winner chicken dinner team. 10 elimination for this quad with 15, uh, 93 total damage. 4 knockouts, 5 assists with total heals of 685. 27 27 survival time for MFG Esports. This, this squad, Sir Cloud, just came out of nowhere. Started in week number 2 and then continued in week number 3 and Let's see if they can continue on with this momentum going into the Grand Finals. Yeah, now that they have booked that ticket in the Grand Finals, that is the Grand Finale. That is the three days that they will need to do everything they can to score as many points as possible to take home the trophy. But the uh, competition is definitely going to be tight. I mean, uh, teams like Harami Bros, Justice Esports, Austria Esports, um, Young Gugaticos, even PBE, a lot of these teams have been showing amazing stuff throughout the league. So the competition will be tough, but only the best can beat the rest. Ooh, nice, nice one for that one, uh, Sir Cloud. But we'll see and find out in the Grand Finals. Again, those who has the, those uh, head start uh, points at the very beginning, before even uh, the matches will start, Again, those are going to be important, especially for uh, Genesis Esports later on. We'll, you know, talk about that because that will be shown on our screens later on. But the overall stats here, 59 elimination, 67 total knockouts, 9109 total heals, 22 revives, 250 throws used, 288 kilometers drive distance, 372 meters longest distance elimination, 12 headshot, 2727 27 survival time and three airdrops looted. So that is the overall match, uh, or overall stats for match number six. And if you notice, it's kind of like they just wanted to finish the whole map itself. Because it's like action started from match or stage number one until the end of the stage number nine, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Even like stage one, but you have like what four or five teams fighting on the outside of the circle, not le- not wanting to let anyone go. When the circle is not a tough circle, it's like oh, it looked like a lost in the circle. It, it looked like a decent circle. Like there was a lot of land in it. It's not like something that's tucked at the corner or something. But yet still, teams just do that. But I. I, I kind of can understand, right? Like it's the last <laughs> game, and you know this is—it's really common in most PUBG Mobile tournaments that that happens. Well, uh, it didn't happen actually with the the, the final match of PMSL. If you watched oh, that, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, ga- it came down to the wire. Uh, if you watch uh, Rosemary uh, get those kills, but anyways, we are now in the final match standings. MFG gets 20 points, TQ gets 18, 9 for both 214 Akira and Yangon Galacticos, GE will get 8, Ostia will get 5, same goes with God 7, Flash Vision with 4, uh, Dread with 4, STKE with 3, 3 for AI, Fearless with 1, same with PBE, TTQ with 1 as well, and uh, Donut for SQ, uh, Exquisite and uh, STE. Uh, this only means one thing as well. Hmm. Uh, Sir Cloud, that uh, we might see Yandun Galacticus go over a PBE. Wow! And, uh, overall, right? Because they got more points in this in this match. Oh man, that is a possibility. And if that happens, if you remember what happened in week one, like on the final day, Yangu Galacticus overtook uh, PBE as well to claim the third spot and pushing PBE down to fourth for that week. So if it happens again now, it's almost like Yangu Gaitikos is the uh, kryptonite of PBE. Oh, <laughs> so basically they're, they're having some type of uh, rivalry within the, you know, within the group as well. Hmm. Uh, I mean, for GE, there's uh, Harame Bro, and then for Yangu Galacticos, there's PBE. And then for uh, Ostja, there's a rivalry between them against MFG. So... Uh, I, I love rivalries, uh, to be honest with you, Sir Cloud. But here's the overall rankings now. Looks like uh, Yang and Galacticus won't make it. <laughs> they uh, lacked uh, six points uh, in that regard. But uh, you can now see that MFG goes on to number one spot here. Ostia will be second. GE will be third. Haramibro will be a fourth. TTQ would be fifth. PBE would be sixth. Yangon would be uh, seventh. Uh, 8th place will be Dread Esports, See You Soon will be 9, uh, STE would be 10th place, 11th will for Myth Clan, SQS will be uh, 12th, 13th will be uh, TQ, uh, 14th will be uh, 214 Akira, AI would be uh, 15th, 16th for God7, uh, Fearless will be 17th, Enigma will be 18th, APG would be 19th, and then Flash Vision will be the 20th spot for the overall. And uh, this means that uh, Yangon Galacticos won't be able to go on top of PBE for, uh, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, the league ranking points. We're going to find out very, very soon. They're probably just calculating it out, Sir Cloud, right? Yeah, we'll get to know in a little bit more for sure. That's where we can stop our math. But looks like uh, we are going to be uh, given uh, more time okay all right uh, no, uh, okay we're still going to see the uh, weekly standings okay here we oh. go here we go this is the anticipation now Ooh. all right mfg for this week scores a uh, 20 points as expected actually this this part is kind of straightforward right like mm-hmm. we just replace like their placements with whatever league points that they have like from 20 to 1 and you're right with that one and it goes down from 20 down to, n- to number one at the 20th spot, and this just uh, shows that GE will most likely get the number one spot. There might be some uh, tiebreakers, Sir Cloud, which we're gonna explain uh, later on, all right? Because uh, there will be tiebreaker uh, like points here. I mean, not really, not really tiebreaker points, but uh, the difference maker would be how many ch- uh, chicken dinners they got, right? Yes, so we'll explain that later, ladies and gentlemen. So, in other words, we cut.
I don't know. But with, okay, no spoilers <laughs> because we we don't know. To be honest, we don't know. We only have that one update from Prod, and that's about it. Okay, we don't know the numbers and everything else. But we will know together with you guys at the same timing as you watch this broadcast here, and uh, we will find out soon who will be exactly at what and what will be their starting points. Perhaps uh, we'll. Wait and see. But what we'll definitely see first is going to be the league standings, and here it goes, ladies and gentlemen, the league standings, and it is official. Genesis Esports is your league champion. Wow, the league champions for PMCL season one, Genesis Esports, just one point uh, away from uh, Harami Bro. Fifty-five points for Harami Bro. Forty-eight. Oh, it's Yangbin Galacticos. Eventually, we'll get the, the last smile here. Even mm. though that they lost the, the overall for week number three, they got the league rankings to them. Uh, PBE will get top four. MFG will get top five. Austria will get top six. SCE will get top seven. 214 Aquila would get top eight. See you soon. We'll get top nine. TTQ would get top 10. Myth will get top 11. Dread will get top 12. TQ will get top 13. Exquisite will get top 14, top 15 will be Enigma, top 16 will be AI, and then uh, the rest from 17th to 20th. Unfortunately, Sir Cloud, they won't be able to make it to the Grand Finals. So GG well played for Fearless, God7, APG, and FVE. Yeah, and uh, as the great gaming saying goes, come back stronger next season. Next season shouldn't be too far away, and they should have... Uh, ample time as well to practice and to prepare themselves for the upcoming summer season that will have a lot more stakes in it in the following season which we'll talk about that later but congratulations to our finalist teams here we have it genesis esports mfg esports see you soon next tiger ke the quarter Harame Bros, Austria Esports, Time to Quick Esports, Exquisite Esports, Young Galacticos, Stranger Esports, Meth Clan, Enigma, Playbook Esports, 214 Akira, Dread Esports, and AI Esports. Wow. The finals is going to be a banger of the finals. Three days of non nonstop PUBG Mobile action. I can't wait, Sir Cloud. I can't wait who will be the champions for the finals. Will it be a surprise or will it be the uh, one that is expected? Because we know for a fact that Genesis Esports is the, the team that we are looking out that will have the most experience on this one since they have a PMGC experience. But who will try to uh, the crown the kings a PMCL. Will it be yeah. a Rami Bro? Will it be MFG? Will it be Austria? Will it be Yangon Galacticos? Who knows? We'll find out this coming March 29th to March 31st. And I believe uh, everyone else here in the live comment section would love to see that. Yes, uh, so yeah, I just want to point out that all the Filipino teams made it onto the Grand Finals every single one of them so congratulations to the filipino teams as well uh, they will definitely put up a big challenge to some of the uh, staple names in uh, this stage of the tournament right so all seven uh, ph quads i actually kind of like i was thinking on the first week that dread esports may not uh, get into the finals but they actually bounce back going in week number two and then week number three they were actually much better and uh, the week number three, they were at their probably their best, and maybe they can try to polish it even more. Try to utilize, uh, in my opinion, uh, Demios. Demios showed us that uh, in the last game that he can frag out. He can, you know, be alone. He can try to uh, sustain himself in one place, and you know, maybe try to be the dark horse of this uh, whole grand finals. Yeah, and he won it against not any team. He won it against Austria Esports. So that is a big flex there. That is a big flex there. But uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this will be it for the league stage. Uh, it's a pleasure casting with you, Cuckoo. But we have to wrap up the show. We'll see you guys in the Grand Finals. Bye!